Hey guys, this is Katie with Vintage and Vinyl, and I have my little snowman helper here, Louie, in her polar bear outfit. I thought it would be fun to do a late night live, and we are going to be setting up my aluminum pom-pom Christmas tree that I got from Misty over at Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter. Yes, I got an aluminum Christmas tree, and I am so excited. But of course, I have to give a big shout out and thank you to Cheryl Hoskins, who actually won it on the live and was so kind to give it up and give it to me. And I just am so thankful for that. I am very, very excited about doing this with you guys tonight. I think it will be lots of fun. And I see Karen Radford is here. Hello, Karen. I'm glad you're here tonight. And I've got old stuff, Beth. Hello. And Tia Fain. And Carrie is here. Hi, Carrie. And there is Louie. And we have uh, Randy. Hi, Randy. And Jamie and Vincent Tree Wasted. And uh, Frenchie Mom. Hello. And Carol D is here. And of course, we've got TC in the house. Hi, TC. And oh, yes, she's got a little outfit on tonight. This is her little polar bear outfit let's see if she'll show it <laughs> there's her polar bear outfit because i'm wearing a polar bear shirt so we have little matching outfits <laughs> and susan hi i'm so glad you like louie yes of course and linda is here hello linda and i'm sure that i missed some people and i'm sorry if i missed you in the chat i see janetta lpn and angela marksberry and Paulie's Projects, and Don Maserati. Happy Saturday, of course. And, uh, oh, I'm so glad you think she's adorable. Beth is saying, oh, thank you. I'm so glad. Yes, hello, Melissa Lynn. So, yes, this is my Louie. She is a little feisty. She didn't want to put on the sweater, but I thought you guys would enjoy it so much that I thought, I might as well do it. So Louie was uh, taking a little bit extra time to get in the sweater. That's what took me so long to get on tonight. So hopefully I didn't lose anybody that was coming from uh, Pamela's sale. She was so nice to actually shout me out and say that I was doing this later. So it was kind of a last minute decision, but I thought it would be fun. And Louie is having none of the sweater. <laughs> Hello, Stephen. I'm glad you're here. And Dana's here and Maria. Hello, Maria and Cajun Boots Reseller. So many great people here in the chat tonight. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I think this is fun. Louie, I'm going to set you down <laughs> because I think Louie's had enough of the sweater and sitting here. She <laughs> is done. But if you guys come in late and you want to see Louie again, I'll go grab her and pick her up. Hi, Tina. I'm so glad you're here. So I'm going to take Louie out of the sweater. You can see it one last time before she goes bananas. Louie, I know you're hot. I'm not going to make you wear this much longer. So we'll take this off of you and you can go run around. <laughs> Louie says, no, Mom, I'm done with this. Pugs get hot easily like I do. And so I, I don't uh, do very many sweaters here, particularly in Florida. So this was sort of a fun thing. All right, Louie, we're going to take off that sweater and get you all back to your normal fur self. Say bye, everybody. I love seeing you guys. Bye. Okay, Louie, go have a ball. <laughs> all right. Well, that was fun to do for a little while. Hi, Dane. I think I said hello to you and, and Empty Nesting, Maria and Dawn. So, yes, yeah, so many people here. I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit now. And uh, I think the lighting's a little funky in my kitchen, the way that I, I'm looking a little bit dark. Hopefully you guys can see me okay. And I'll shift the camera when we get into doing the Christmas tree. Hi, Dee. Thank you so much for coming this evening. I think that's so much fun that you guys are here. I'm going to talk a little bit about my pin. This is a Christmas tree pin or brooch. I don't know the difference between a pin and a brooch, but hopefully this will show up for you all. There it is. It's got uh, green and red rhinestones, 
And of course, it's uh, Trafari. It's vintage Trafari from the 1950s. So that's what I've got on today. And Carol D is saying, I had a rescue dog that was named Mr. Pirate. And I thought it was fun to dress him up as a pirate for Halloween. And two minutes after putting it on, he peed on my foot. Oh, no, Carol D. Yeah, Louie, I, so I had a, a Santa hat for Louie, and she just wasn't going to wear it. So that didn't work out. I thought that we would have matching red hats. So I have the sweater, too. But she's she's not like Doug the Pug. If you guys follow Doug the Pug, Doug the Pug loves to dress up in clothes and gets very excited. And Louie just is so wild and crazy. Like, she settles down and naps and is really cute. But she does like to run around and she's still at that puppy stage where she just will not have anything on her. She's like, nope, I just want to be free and naked and run around. <laughs> Carrie's saying, oh, sweet pen looks like my mom's. Yes, I'll try to get you a closer image of it if it will show up. I don't know why the lighting in my kitchen is so funky. I've got all the lights on in my house, but uh, something's a little dark over here. And actually, I might be able to turn on the lights on the buffet. Let me do that and see if it's any better. Uh, see if that helps a little bit with the lighting. Oh, that might be 10 times better. Let's see. Yeah, that's a little better there. Oh, thank you for the, the comment. Yes, I do love copper, and I have a vintage jello mold and copper candy scoop collection. I have those are antique uh, candy scoops from a general store that are behind me. And brooch has a clasp and a pen. Brooch has a clasp and a pen has the solid piece, which I forget. Oh, Melissa, thank you. That's a big help. Yeah, so this would be a brooch because it's got the, the uh, long pen part with the uh, safety clasp. It does not have just the straight back pen. I see what you're saying, Melissa. That's really helpful. And Dee, I can't believe I won your prize. I guess the you are. I was born, LOL. Yes, I never win anything. So I'm always shocked when I win something. All my fur children are rescued. They rescued me. That's right. Who rescued whom? I like that saying. My mom has a rescue dog named Riley. And uh, he's such a cutie. He's missing an ear and missing some fur, but he's just the most adorable little guy on the planet. Question, I have a Bloody Mary that I made too strong. Keep as is or add to it. Oh, Dawn, uh, let's see how you could remedy that. I'd add a little bit more to it. You, if you, It's a Bloody Mary, so you could add some more uh, tomato juice and maybe another stick of celery. That would be my best guess. I'd go for it. Why not? You know, it's Saturday night. You're inside. You don't have to worry about anything. Hi, Nate. I've been missing you in the chats today, but welcome. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Dawn says, drink enough to make room for three. More tomato juice. Yeah, add more tomato juice, Dawn, and see what happens. Uh, tack is a pin back. Okay, that's so helpful. You guys are so smart. I am still learning a little bit about brooches, but I do love to wear them. Hi, Christy Garza. Hey, I was rooting for you tonight to win that uranium. I wanted it too because I do love that anchor hawking cameo pattern, or I should say hawking. It's not anchor hawking because it's older, but uh, hopefully you'll find some in the wild. And if I find any more of the hawking teacups, because I've got several, I, I'd love to send one to you. There's a local antique mall that had a bunch of them for a dollar which I couldn't believe. So if I find more of them, I might go back to that antique mall. I think they had a lot. I'd love to send you one because I know how much you love the uranium. And you guys can see if I move out of the way, you can see my uranium collection back there. Um, I've got probably not as much as Christy, but I do love it. Uh, Cindy, oh, the chat just jumped on me. I see Cindy from Mini, Mimi's Treasure Cottage is here. Cindy, I got your package with the uranium glass in it and uranium glass. I'm talking two things at one time, you guys. Uh, I got the mercury glass pick and I love it. It's fantastic. So yes, I'm so glad you're here. And uh, oh, great guess for the person that won on the sale today. Nate, yes, he is here in the chat. I'm so glad Nate is here. Nate, who is the other Texas, huh? Yes, there are tons of Texases. Uh, so Carrie, A -C -A Carrie is uh, KCATX. And then we've got Vintage Uprising Texas, who is Tammy. And there's a few other Texases in our chats. 
Uh, Don says maybe some moisture tire might help. Yeah, Don, try that. <laughs> just just keep adding to it and see what happens, or just remake it. You know, that's always an option. Posted the sales schedule on Discord and Insta. Yes. So if you guys do not follow Angela Marksberry at a Marksberry on Instagram, you need to be because she has a great sale calendar that she works really hard on and it keeps us all up to date about what's happening in the community. So please go check that out. Also, Trisha at Sandy and Otto is a great channel to check out. She sent an epic mystery box to Kim. If you guys did not see Kim got the mystery boxes from the Just One More Dachshund sale. And she opened them today on a premiere video at five o'clock, Kim at Oh My Vintage. She's got a great channel too, so you guys can check that out. But uh, Trisha Sandiato sent a great box and she does a live sale calendar on her channel as well. So check that out. And for all of you guys that have been missing my Instagram stories, I apologize. Instagram has been really having some issues lately like YouTube and it won't let me post my own stories. If I share a story that someone has tagged me in, I have no issues. But when I try to post and I took a screenshot of it and uploaded it today on Instagram, because finally I think it was working, it says that I am not, it, some error message comes up about unable to post, retry, I don't know what's going on, but something crazy. So I'll get back to that soon, I promise. Uh, and let's see what's happening else in the chat. Polly's Projects is saying, Nate, hello, honey bunny. Yes, Nate, I'm going to start saying hello, biscuit, because Nate always says hello, biscuits, and I think that's just darling. So I'm going to start calling Nate hello, biscuit. Yes, Instagram has been weird, and he's been saying, yeah, they got a new layout, and ever since the new layout on Instagram and YouTube, I don't know, it's just been really funky lately. I don't know what the deal is. I can't post music to my Instagram stories no matter what I do. Yes. Jamie, I was having trouble with that the week before all this Instagram uh, story junk started happening to me. It wouldn't, it would, I'd have to spend like 20 minutes just going back and forth with that little white bar trying to get Instagram to do a story. It, it's weird. I don't know. Maybe after the holidays, it will get itself together like the post office. <laughs> uh, Sandra is here. Hi, Pink Elephant Parlor. Welcome. I'm so glad you've joined us tonight. And if I missed any other chatter happening, I'm so sorry. Uh, Dana is here. Hi, Dana. And Trisha saying, I received my Viking green bowl today and I am in love. Good. That's wonderful. I'm so glad to see in the chat when all of you guys get stuff from other people that have, have worked really hard to curate something for their sale and you guys like it. That's fun. I enjoy that. And, uh, oh, yes, thank you, Angela. Angela's been my stand-in person because she does the calendars every week and does a great job. I try to post daily things too, just as a reminder of what's happening. And it kind of helps me keep track too. And I'm glad Angela and other people, Christy Garza is great. Uh, Christy at Tippy Wings Vintage has a fun channel and she's been sharing a lot on Instagram too, which I really appreciate. It's so helpful. And if I missed anybody else, I am so sorry. Karen says, Indiana in the house and my PJs. Oh, that sounds nice and comfy. Well, guys, yes, pour yourself a drink. Get some hot chocolate, some spiked eggnog, or uh, uh, whatever it is that you're drinking tonight and settle in, because we're going to have a real fun time putting this tree together. So I got it uh, a couple days ago. I got uh, the notification. I got a package, and I went down to our parcel locker place, and there was a lady, we have a shared locker. So we have individual cubbies. And then if those get full, they take them to the shared locker. And there was a lady that was in the shared locker and she was just sort of piling packages. I mean, it looked like Christmas morning for a large family. I mean, there were packages everywhere. And I, this lady was going through all the packages and I'm standing there so excited. I can hardly stand it. And she's just taking her time, reading the label, setting setting them down one by one. I'm like, hurry up. I want to get my tree. <laughs> I was just so excited. And I couldn't wait when she was done so I could go get it. Uh, Jamie says, I could go for a white Russian. That's my holiday drink. My good friend, Jamie, uh, loves white Russians. He's a big white Russian fan. So, yeah, I know that. Um, Nate says he's going to crack a beer. Awesome, Nate. Okay, so we got people getting comfortable in the house. That's wonderful. And uh, LaVisha 
I'm sorry if I said your name incorrectly, uh, in Southern California with her cat on lap. Awesome. Cat on lap sounds pretty cozy. Louie's over there being mischievous. I don't know what she's up to. She's got her toy, but she might be trying to chew on the blanket. <laughs> no worries, Jamie. You're not going to miss a beat because I'll, I'll uh, start setting up the tree in just a little while, but still want to say hello to some people in the chat. I don't drink... I don't drink my hangovers last a week. Yeah, some people do uh, have issues, and that's fine. You can grab a hot chocolate, a cup of eggnog, some water, tea, whatever it is, soda. You just get whatever it is that's nearby you enjoy and get uh, some popcorn and get cozy. It's 4.30 p.m., and where you are, Nate, that's awesome, on Sunday. That's right. It's always a day ahead. And uh, Annie P. says hello. Hi, Annie P., did you buy your tree? I just lost that comment. Uh, did I? Did you buy your tree from one of her sales here online? Yes, Susan K. I bought my tree from Misty over at Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter. And let me tell you guys, Misty has a fantastic channel. She is just wonderful. She finds just, I think, some of the best vintage because she always gets the rusty, crusty advertising tins. And those are things that are really near and dear to my heart. I love. And she's one of the channels. I mean, there are many people that do fabulous sales here on YouTube. I love everybody. But Misty does find the uh, rusty, crusty, which I really like, and I've bought quite a bit from Misty. I, I love her sales and how much she does for this community. Misty is awesome. So if you haven't subscribed to Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter, please go do that. And I have to say, I bought this tree from Misty, and when I was in the chat, uh, I was trying to get it. That was the day that everyone was having issues with the store, the, not the stories. Instagram's been having tons of problems lately, but with the feed, it kept freezing. And it was the worst day to freeze because it was aluminum Christmas tree day. And I really wanted it. And I was bidding and the chat was freezing. I was having all kinds of problems. And Cheryl Hoskins actually won the tree. She won the tree fair and square. And I was a little bummed, but, you know, she won it. And then lo and behold, Cheryl said, no, Katie, you can have it. And, I mean, that just goes to show you how wonderful and kind our community is. I mean, aluminum Christmas tree is like the holy grail of vintage Christmas. And I know that Cheryl would have really enjoyed it, too. But she was so nice to give it to me. I have always wanted one. And I am so glad I have it. So, I mean, Cheryl, thank you. Your kindness is amazing. And tonight, Dawn, I know you're in the chat. Big thank you to you who got those ornaments for me, those shiny brights. I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you. All of you guys are so kind and wonderful. I love our little community. I love how we have made a little family. We all know each other. We know our dogs' names, what's happening in each of our lives. We know, I mean, just everything. And we keep up with each other. And it's so great. You guys are awesome. So thank you for being so kind and wonderful and a little fun community. And again, a big thank you to Cheryl Hoskins who gave me this tree because I, I just can't believe it. It's amazing. So let's see what chat I'm missing here. Uh, Christy says, I have 14 packages to open, including my mystery box from D. Lord willing, I will film that tomorrow. Yep, I think my postman here is probably wondering what in the heck I'm doing with all these packages that come to me. And uh, he, he must be really surprised. Misty is doing a sale Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I know Misty's amazing. So, yes, Misty is doing a sale Monday with Jeffrey and Barb at Real Nifty Vintage. And they'll be having a Christmas sale. And then Tuesday, she is having her four seller recelebration event. Recelebration, I think, is what they're calling it with Michael Todd, the maker of those awesome. Christmas wreaths and Michelle at Comfy Cozy Living and Alex from Chapter 2 Vintage Co. So lots of great people on that sale. That is going to be so much fun. And then Wednesday, she's also having her sale. So Misty rocks it. Man, I don't know how she gets all those orders out, but I tell you, she's amazing and a bright light to our community. And Dee says, yeah, can't worry about the social networking will drive you nuts. Yep, sometimes uh, social media is a lot to uh, keep up with, that's for sure. My husband just made popcorn for my daughter. Ooh, I love a good, good pop popcorn. My dad, he makes popcorn from the jar, you know, with the kernels. 
that's what I do at home when I do popcorn is I do the kernels and I do uh, hot melted butter. My dad made the best popcorn. He'd always get popcorn for me and uh, get a movie started when football was on because I never cared for football. So I always got to go watch a fun movie with good popcorn while that was happening. Big glass of Chardonnay and my male English Bulldog is by my side. Life is good. Sounds good to me, Dana. That sounds really great. Uh, I think I've been missing some other chats, but I'm sorry if I have. The chat moves by fast. I have my Gatorade as I have too much meds. Well, Gatorade is good. It will get you all squared away there, and uh, you can't go wrong with that. Uh, hi, Katie. I'm sorry I'm late. I had to clean out my puppy pen. Oh, Christina, you didn't miss much. No worries at all. And uh, Carrie, what's the wall tree? Carrie, were you saying something about a wall tree? I saw an aluminum wall tree, which was weird. Carrie, I've never seen one of those. You'll have to explain what that is. I'm very curious. And uh, you're very welcome, Katie. I think they'll be great on your tree or wherever the side. Yes, Dawn, I'm going to display them proudly on my aluminum tree. I don't have that many shiny brights, so I'm really, really excited about that. Uh, Mimi, my husband makes good popcorn. Unfortunately, no one asked if I wanted any. Oh, no, Mimi, I'm sorry about that. Well, you got to get in there and say, hey, <laughs> I want some. Uh, nice, Diane. That's not okay. Diane, I missed your comment. Oh, you're having a frozen margarita. All right. Well, it is five o'clock somewhere in the world and we got some Jimmy Buffett going on, in my opinion. So enjoy that. Hi, Nancy. I thought it was so great that you were in the chat while you were at work. That cracked me up. I'm glad you're here. Don, I lived in southeast Pennsylvania and I have a brother in California. And yes, I'm so glad your brother is doing slightly better, Nancy. We've all been thinking about him. And if you do not subscribe to Nancy at this overstuffed house, she has a phenomenal channel those live sales on Thursday at 11 p.m. Eastern. She has some really cool vintage, so highly recommend checking her out. And if I missed anybody in the chat, I see Mimi's Treasure Cottage. Cindy is here. She's also got a wonderful channel. Uh, it's hard to keep up with everybody. Nate is here. He also does fantastic uh, vintage uh, live, uh, not live, he's not live, but he does fantastic vintage videos. He's got some pretty fabulous displays and very knowledgeable. So go check out Soul Nate. And I've got people in uh, moderating. So if anyone wants their channel link thrown in the chat, please feel free to do that so we can all subscribe to each other and check out each other's channels. That's always fun. Lots of great people here. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Christina, I'm sorry. I'm reading comments incorrectly because the chat just moves so darn fast. Check out the day I killed Frosty. Yes, if you have not heard Nancy's video on how she killed Frosty, you guys got to go watch that. I cracked up laughing. I was just dying so much. I mean, that was the funniest thing I've heard. Nancy, when you said, for the love of heaven, don't murder Frosty in front of a kid or something like that. You said at the end, I just lost it in hysterics. It was so funny. Hi, Vintage Vinny. Was wondering when you were going up. Uh, yes, uh, I had to get Louie in her Christmas sweater, Vinny, and it was an ordeal. Louie was having none of it, so I'm sorry you missed Louie for the few seconds she was in the, the, no, I did not show the tree yet, but I'm about to, so I'll jump into that in just a second, but I'm glad you're here, Vinny. You didn't miss the tree. You didn't miss anything if you're just joining. Uh, still saying hello to a few people, and we'll get started on the tree. So, yes, it does. It's really great. You got to check that out. Katie, uh, Christmas. Christina Aguilera posted her first video. Woohoo, Christina. Awesome. I see you in the chats all the time. So I am going to have to check that out and watch your video, Christina. I try to make it to everybody's channels and I am so behind on content. So uh, that is something I need to get doing is watching some content, but the lives take up a lot of my time. So I at least get to see everybody in the lives. But yes, please go subscribe to Christina Aguilera Resell Gal. She is uh, posting her first video. It went up today, and I know that you guys are going to enjoy that. So I will be watching as well, Christina. No, Blake, I know we're all excited about the aluminum tree. I mean, after all, that's why we're here. So don't feel badly about that at all. Not at all. Uh, okay, guys, so let's get going on the aluminum tree, because that's what all of you guys have been dying to see. 
And I think I, I pulled out some of the branches. So here is the first branch of the aluminum tree. Yes, this is a pom-pom tree. It is so magical, you all. It came in this big box, and I've got several of the aluminum pom-poms here that I've already pulled out, and I'll have to pull out the rest. I mean, my kitchen's got a lot of vintage Christmas right now because I'm in the process of doing it. But here is the big aluminum honeycomb uh, thing that the, the aluminum sticks are in. The aluminum branches, not sticks, these lilies. And then we've got the part where the aluminum branches stick into. So there's two pieces here that connect. So we've got this that connects. And then you put the aluminum inside the little holes here. Now, this is what I unpacked, and hopefully you guys can help me a little bit in the chat because I am a woodworker, and I should be able to figure this out, but for the life of me, I had been struggling. This is the base that came with it, and I know I think I've got this right. Almost, I'm pretty sure I do. I could be wrong, but I think if I've got this right, this bottom part see the end here goes in here like this right and then you you screw these uh eye eye screws into the middle to hold this up right yes Vinny, the pole is going in the hole <laughs> what would Vinny say i know but anyway i think i have this right but for the life of me i just cannot get this to stay so that it doesn't wobble about so am I doing something wrong? Am I crazy? Do I have this right? So I hope it's right. I mean, this is how I've got it going. This looks like these would be the bottom pieces. And then you've got this part here that seems like it connects to these. And then you've got the holes for the, for the eye hooks. So is this right? Does everybody think that I've got this together right? And am I just totally off kilter? And really is going to totally eat this sweater that just fell on the ground. So I got to get that away from her. Sorry about that. Let's see what people are saying. Hi, Karen. Tina's saying, yes, that's right. Hi, Pamela. Your sale was great tonight. Pamela is awesome. And Kelly, Michelle, you did a great job keeping up with the chat, too. Just comment on my video that says thrift you. Yes. Okay, great. Uh, yes, uh, let's see, Joanne's, hello, hello, it's not the original stand, yes, I know, and I bought, I bought that knowing that it's not the original stand, yes, Katie, okay, so everybody's saying that I think so far that that's right, uh, Blake says you have it right, the base is for a real tree, but it will still work, yes, I know, Misty did say that it wasn't the original stand, but you know what, that is okay, because I am just thrilled to have the aluminum Christmas tree. I mean, we don't get vintage Christmas at all in Florida. I am convinced it doesn't exist. And the other day when you saw my live, or not my live, but my video that I did from Fans and Stoves Antique Mall, they had a knee hugger, but they, it was like $35 just for the little Japan knee hugger. And I just, that's a, a whole heck of a lot for some vintage Christmas. So I didn't go for it. Uh, this is heartbreaking. I tried to win this tree. Oh, Vivian, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I hate that for you. I know everybody wanted the aluminum tree. Okay, I think everybody's saying that's right. Just add some bubble wrap to the bottom of that sucker or paper or whatever. Okay, Dawn, I will do that. I'll put something down there, shove it down there and make it work. <laughs> uh, you might have to wrap something around the stick to make it thicker. That's a great idea, Randy, and I, I uh, saw Don was saying the same thing. So I'll get something here. I've got some bubble wrap just sitting across the way here. Uh, Nate, you are doing a fabulous job putting in people's channels. Thank you so much for doing that. Uh, Katie, read Trisha's message. Okay, what did I miss? I'm going back up to read Trisha's message here. Hang on. You have it correct. But the stand is for a real tree, not an aluminum tree. And put a band around the tree where it meets the screws. Great. Uh, thank you so much, Carrie, for pointing that out. Uh, yes, uh, Trisha, I think that's a great idea. Yes, I know the screws aren't screwed in all the way because if I do that, it still doesn't reach the pole in the middle. So 
Uh, and Beth is saying the same, the same thing. It's, it's for an original tree, for a live tree. You need to add some small wood pieces or plastic. Yep, so I've got lots of things sitting right next to me, so we will make this work. Uh, no worries there. Mary Scott said, add some duct tape to make a larger pole. Yeah, duct tape fixes everything, right, guys? That's just the best thing in the world. Maybe because I'm not a mod. Oh, Mimi, I can fix that. No worries. Let me see here. And uh, I'm going to get that right now fixed. I'll add mods, uh, make some people some mods here. Uh, Mimi, let's see. Uh, add moderator. Great. Um, they can keep the knee hugger for 50 more for 50 more years at $35. Is that what Vinny was saying? I just saw the chat. Why can't I see all of the chat? There it is. Uh, oh, Vinny. Yeah, I know, right? That was just so expensive, I thought. Uh, okay, D, I'm going to make you a moderator. And Dawn, let's make you. I mean, I'm under the impression that you guys need lots of moderators in the chat. That's just my thing. I'd rather have a whole army of moderators than none at all, because we got to keep the trolls away. Kelly, uh, Nate was saying, sorry, I missed another sale, had a family thing. Nate, no worries. We totally understand. So I think we've got plenty of moderators now on the channel. Uh, so if you are a moderator, awesome. Thank you guys for looking out for the trolls in the chat and keeping everything all handled. Hi, hi, hi. I see uh, Dottie Lynn is here, Triple S Mercantile. I am so glad you joined us. Dottie Lynn, thank you so much for being in the chat. Uh, look at me, I'm a tool, Benny. <laughs> Benny's comments cracked me up. I was dying during Pamela's sale. I actually decided to go through the Starbucks drive through and get some coffee for the occasion. And uh, I was just cracking up laughing. And I'm sure that the guy at the window was like, what is wrong with this lady? <laughs> uh, Kelly saying, no worries, Nate. We miss you. Yes, that's right. We always miss Nate when he's not there, but we totally understand. That's exactly it. Okay, guys, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put something thick around this pole, and we're going to get this so that it stands in the tree, and then we'll get the tree set up, So, because I know all of that's what you guys came for. Oh, hey, Christy, that's a great idea. Aluminum foil? Absolutely. Was your guy there? <laughs> Everyone knows about my guy now at the Starbucks. Yes, and it's so funny. So there was a new guy working the drive through window, um, not my regular guy that's at the drive through If any say, don't worry, Nate, we didn't say anything bad about you. Yes, so my normal guy wasn't there, and then I saw him come from around behind the corner, and he peeked out the window, and he saw me. He's like, hey, I'm not working the, the drive through window, so there's a new guy. And bless this guy's heart, it was his first day on the job, and there was a line of over, like, 30 cars in the drive through And he was just, when you got to me, because I was, like, the last car in the drive through he was like frazzled. The poor fellow was just, he's like, but I guess it's good training. I got to learn somehow. And I'm like, yep, you wait until the morning rush at Starbucks and man alive, are you going to be scrambling? So I, I told him not to worry about it because he asked, he said, well, did you get the Frappuccino? And I'm like, no, I don't get Frappuccinos. Uh, I had the, the peppermint mocha and he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, don't worry about it. You had enough going on in the drive through uh, mom, we are done and on the way home. Oh, great. Uh, let's see. Yeah, great idea is to blend the foil around the tree base. So, yeah, let me get some foil, guys. I've got foil right here. I'm sorry to step off the camera for a little bit, but I've got uh, a big, big thing of foil. I've got some, uh, some bubble wrap. So, let me try this. Uh, now I'm going to move my shiny brights that I do have out of the way so that I can get to some of this bubble wrap. And let's get some bubble wrap here. Now, for any of you guys that don't like noise, I'm very sorry. Just hang with me. For all you guys that don't like loud noise, you can turn the volume down for a minute. Just give me a loud noise warning. And uh, let's, let me get some tape here so that we can make this happen. Uh, packing tape I have handy. I also have a big roll of duct tape, but let me get the packing tape first. 
and gives this a try. I should have been a little bit more prepared with these things. And oh, my word, Louie just destroyed the Santa hat. <laughs> she pulled it off the table and there's things all over the place. <laughs> Oh, Manal is here. Yes, for all of you guys that are wondering, Manal changed his name. So this is Manal's new name. So please go follow Manal. I don't know if you have a YouTube channel or not, Manal, but please go check out Manal and give him some love. He's great. He's our resident elephant lover along with a lot of other people. And what am I missing in the chat uh, here, guys? I'm sorry. I, I love being in the chat. I feel like Miss Pamela when Miss Pamela says, that she's in the chat too much. And Kelly's like, no, you got to get out of the chat and actually do something. <laughs> I feel like that. Uh, Kelly, Kelly is done making kissy face. <laughs> All right, is there any shopping going on out there? <laughs> For all of you guys that were on Alex's live, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I caught a tiny bit of Pam's sale, but had to do online training, so I missed it. Oh, well, hopefully you can go back and watch it for some fun laughs. Yes, your favorite peppermint mocha is your favorite holiday drink, Carrie. Mine, too. Mine, too. Oh, that poor guy. Being new on the job on his first day is rough. I know. And I see Victoria H. is here. Welcome, welcome. Okay, guys. Uh, so, oh, good. I'm glad you got to see Louie. So let's try this. All of you guys that are still watching me just kind of put this together on the fly here. Thanks for sticking around. So I'm going to use some foil over the bubble wrap to match the aluminum tree. Is that what you guys were saying would be the best? So I've got these little scraps of bubble wrap here. And I think what I'll do is let's see if this, I've got the bottom piece here. I grabbed the wrong piece. Well, what I'll do is I'll just wrap this around the bottom, and I've got uh, some packing tape, and this ought to do nicely. So I think this will be great. Yes, Nate, if you can add the channel link, that would be fantastic. So I'm going to add this down to the bottom. Yes, Vinny, you are probably watching saying, oh, Lord, she's wrapping something around a big stick. And you betcha I am for this aluminum Christmas tree because we got to get it all decked out. That's for sure. So I've got this wrapped up. Let me put some, uh, some tape on it. And that should work. And then if I need to, what I'll do is I'll add some. This is going to be loud for a second. I'm sorry about that, guys, for all of you who don't like loud noise. But I'm going to wrap this up. Really nice with some packing tape. And then if I need to, I'll go back and add some duct tape. So, yes, thanks for sticking around with me while I'm uh, doing that. <laughs> Benny's saying, uh, let me select Benny's comment out of the chat here. Benny's saying, have I tainted all of y'all's brains? <laughs> no, Benny. I think, like I've said before, we're all just thinking it. But, Benny, you've been brave enough to say it in the chats. And I'll tell you, we're grateful because we all need a laugh. And, man, it cracks me up. I love your pants. I love seeing all of you guys' comments. It's just so much fun. So we're going to do some more uh, tape here, right? My impression is if you put enough tape on something, it should work out fine. <laughs> you can add tape. Now, hopefully this will be enough to work out for the tree stand. So I'm glad to know that I'm not crazy because yesterday when I started opening this up, I thought to myself, okay, this is not working in there. I must be absolutely out of my mind. I do woodworking. I work with tools and mechanics every day, and I should be able to figure this out. But <laughs> I'm glad to know I'm not crazy. So, yes, this should be good. So let's put up some foil around it. We are, we are really doing this up with the aluminum foil. And it is an aluminum tree, so this is going to be just perfect, I think. So I'm going to wrap some foil. What I might do is fold this edge over so that it's nice and, and presentable looking, you know, like you would with a package. So I'll try to get that all nice and smoothed out there. So we got a nice edge, and we'll start off at the tree. Good idea for the foil, guys. I, I think that's great. And uh, what did I miss here in the chat? They have aluminum tape. 
Yes, they do. And it's for piping. And I have some of that, but not here. It's in my workshop. So I might have to go get that eventually from my shop. Uh, I don't think, I think it now, even when Benny isn't in the chat. Yes, uh, of course. Um, for any of you, I saw, uh, why are we wrapping bubble wrap around the tree? So, Jamie, if you weren't here at the beginning, uh, I'll show you the tree stand. This is not the original tree stand that came with it. This is a for a actual tree that, that you get like at the Christmas tree lot. So basically this will not fit down in there without being a little wobbly. And so what Blake and other people have been suggesting in the chat is that I wrap some something around it basically so that when those eye hooks, those eye screws go into this, they'll stick without because I don't want the aluminum tree to go up and then all the ornaments come crashing down in the night that would be just like tragedy so this is what I've got for right now so we're going to make this work I'm going to shape this kind of to the bottom uh hello Misty Twifter Junker Vintage Hunter you are watching the aluminum tree fun that I've got happening tonight I'm glad you're here uh let me turn this off before I accidentally use my my wrench and uh, time somebody out. Man, I felt so badly the other day when I was on a live. Louie accidentally uh, stepped on my phone and timed somebody out, and I felt terrible about it. But she dive bombs me. She was just running around, and she's full-fledged jumped on me and jumped on the phone and time people out. <laughs> and I felt so terrible. I'm like, Louie, you're going to get me in trouble here on this live. So I will eventually at some point tilt the camera around so that you guys can see this. Uh, make sure it's on tight and snug. Otherwise, <laughs> it's an effect of any. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, boy. This is just too much fun, you guys. So I'm going to put this in here now. I think that I might have a little bit too much wrapped around here because, Benny, I'm going to say this and you're going to laugh and we're all thinking it, but it doesn't fit in the hole. <laughs> so let, let me see if maybe I need to. There we go. I think if I do it this way, it will be a little bit more secure. Hang on. Okay, guys, let me do one piece. I did two pieces, and that's not working. So let me let me just do one piece here and do it kind of small so that it's not overbearing or too much on the, the bottom here. So stay, stay with me. <laughs> no, Polly. <laughs> I don't. I think we've all been thinking it. I think it's already been been here. <laughs> So we've got the tape going on. Misty, I'm glad you joined us. I'm so excited about my aluminum tree. And uh, we're going to do this just to keep this, uh, <laughs> not just Katie's mind, everybody. <laughs> oh, hi, Vintage Craze. Sarah, I see Sarah's in the chat. Let me put your comment up on the screen here. Yes, hello, Nate Biscuit. I love that. And Nate saying, hello, Sarah Muffin. <laughs> Uh, too many ways to run around in this combo, <laughs> Don Maserati. Don, I'm so glad you're on my chat, and uh, I know that you've been having issues with other people's chats and that weird YouTube thing. I don't know what's been going on with that, but we sure miss you, and we're glad that you're here. Okay, so I've got this. I think this will get it nice and tight. And working uh, next year, I'm challenging you to do a live aluminum Christmas tree decorating contest. Jamie, you're on. You're on, Jamie. I'm, I'm all game for that. <laughs> uh, I'm in awe you have multitasking challenges. Uh, challenges? Well, oh, I'm in awe of your multitasking. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Pamela. I, I like to multitask if I can. I'm not always the best at it, but... I try. Okay, so we're going to go back with the aluminum foil just to make this nice and secure. Hopefully this will fit in there now and it will be all good to go. So we're just going to do the foil to kind of match the tree. Whoever suggested that, thank you. I think it's fantastic. Hopefully this will fit. 
Oh, I got a lot going on over here. All right, I better get rid of some of this bubble wrap. Uh, and in the meantime, you guys can say hello to little Japan Snoopy. That was my grandfather's ornament. And we're going to put this in the, the tree base. Okay, this is working now. So we should be all good to go, I think. I just have to get it to fit down in there. Wow. This is interesting because it's still a little thick. So you guys are on live watching me figure this out. <laughs> so you guys are being so patient while I get this. I should have had, I should have thought about this earlier, but it did not occur to me. So let's see if this works better. If I can. Here we go. Well, geez, Louise. So the foil is a good idea in theory, I think, but it doesn't want to stay. So let Let's see what else I could do that might work a little bit differently here. There we go. I think it's the bubble wrap. Perfect. We'll do it. So we got the bubble wrap. Okay. There we go, guys. I think that's going to do it perfectly for this. And I just got to get the screws in there now. And that ought to work. Keep it nice and, and secure. Okay, guys, let's see what I'm missing in the chat here. Uh, oh, what did Vinny say? Come on, Katie, just jam it in there. Oh, Lord. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Okay, here we go. So we've got the top on. And I think this is going to be secure enough. Uh, I think, let me show you guys. I'll, I'll move the camera so you guys can see what we've got here. It still needs just a little bit more coaxing and coaxing, coaxing. Jeez Louise. Okay, here we are. Let me move the camera so you can see what we've got. And uh, hopefully, I should have set this up on something higher so you can see this. Let's see what else is in the chat. Man, I couldn't get into YouTube for the last 10 minutes. Sheesh, I'm back. YouTube has been having some real issues, Debbie. They got to get it together. Uh, Vivian, I have worn SPF 30 sunscreen since my early 20s. That has helped. Uh, my bones creak, my aches and pains show up. Well, you know, I do believe in sunscreen, especially down here in Florida. <laughs> uh, no, yes, Vinny's in Maryland. I got kicked out for a little bit too, Debbie. Really? Uh, what kind of stands do they come with? Um, I, they have a specific stand for the aluminum tree, and I'm just not entirely sure, Diane, uh, what they look like because I've never actually had an aluminum tree. This is my first one. So, all right, so we can move this out of the way. Let me uh, get this foil off the floor because Louie is going to sit here and eat every last bit of foil. She is an eater, and we don't need a repeat of the Christmas light incident. Louie Louie ate Christmas lights last year. Yep, she's okay, but she ate it. All right, so the first branch of the tree is going in, which is very, very exciting. So we've got the tree getting set up here. Uh, I just love this. My gosh, guys, this is incredible. So we're going to put all of these in the hole in the hole oh boy everything's gonna sound super bad on this chat <laughs> oh i love it uh my stand screws directly let's see into the pole yes yeah into the pole so the the screws just uh the eye hooks screw right into the wooden pole yep exactly misty and let me get all of this set up here so we'll go one by one. And this is my first time setting up an aluminum tr Christmas tree. So you guys are seeing it live. You're learning with me as I'm learning about aluminum Christmas trees. I think this is just amazing. It is so phenomenal. I've got to move some stuff out of the way here because I've got too much over on this side of the counter. And I really need more space. Okay, so we're going to pull some more of the strands out of this little honeycomb thing, which is just so perfect. Ooh, we got another one. Look at the pom-poms on this, you guys. Yes, this tree was from Misty. It was amazing. 
Uh, the branches are all the same size. Yes, they are, Randy. They are all. Uh, just jamming in the hole, it says and stiffly. <laughs> oh, boy. Penny, thank you for the laughs. Really, thank you. Uh, okay, so I've got more of these. Let me see, you guys. Would you like to be set up a little higher so you can see what I'm doing here? Maybe you can see this enough. I don't know. Hopefully, you guys can see what I'm showing you here. Let's see. What uh, chat am I missing? No, the branches are all the same size for you guys that are wondering. Uh, oh, no. You didn't have a Christmas vacation moment. No, I didn't. I love Christmas vacation. Uh, if I have a spare span, uh, stair, holy moly moly. I have a spare stand if you need it. It's a little loose, but I'm sure there is a way to tighten up the legs. Vinny, thank you. That would be awesome. That's awesome, awesome. Uh, the three legs, they have three legs, at least mine does. Yes, for the aluminum Christmas tree bases. You're good, Katie. Okay, great. That's wonderful. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's see. What am I missing in the chat here? Anything? I'm so old, I grew up with aluminum Christmas trees. They are awesome, I'm telling you. They're just amazing. So is everybody still happy here in the chat? Can you see what I'm doing and you don't need to be up any higher? Let me know because I'll be glad to move the camera. And again, I'm sorry for any of you guys that don't like noise, but here are the branches up close. We've got this fabulous aluminum pom-pom tree pom-pom on the end with the aluminum branches. I mean, they are just phenomenally cool. I just love this, man. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So let me let me put these, I'm, I'm putting them in. Oops. I'm gonna have to stand up, guys, for part of this. So let me bring that up a little higher so you can still see what's happening here. Um, this is great. And I got a, I've got so much sitting over here. I've got this little mat, this family of mice, so I think they're so cute. I usually hide them in the Christmas tree somewhere. I love them. So they're sitting out over here. More of these little mice fella friends. I've got him, or she's a she probably. And then I have this little fella here. These were all my grandmother's ornaments, these little mice guys. I got lots of them. They are just adorable little fellas. I love mice. And then we've got, she's got a little uh, flocked wreath. So there's her. And then I've got a little uh, chimney sweep fella from Mary Poppins. He's Germany, West Germany. And then look at this guy. He's German too. Now we've had him forever and ever. This was on our Christmas tree growing up. He's a little German guy. And look what happens when you press his top. <laughs> his little tongue comes out. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> so we've got him. And then I've got the whole, oh, I've got another little mouse here with her little uh, kerchief on. And then we've got the Snoopies. So I've got Charlie Brown. He's made in Japan. Charlie Brown from 1950. These were my grandparents. And I've got uh, Lucy. There's Lucy, and we've got two Snoopies, and I've got another Snoopy. This is the golfing Snoopy, also made in Japan, and we've got Snoopy with a stocking, Japan, but I also have a Snoopy somewhere that's tennis, because my grandfather loved to play tennis, so we have that. Oh, let's see, what am I? Katie, do you have a pickle? No, you know, I've never done the pickle uh, tradition. I have not. Bye, Nate. If you're leaving, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, Katie. Just open the floodgates for Vinny in the comments. <laughs> Vinny's hilarious. He really is. He cracks me up. I die laughing all the time. That's hysterical. What am I missing? I agree, Misty. What is Misty saying? I'm missing so much chat. Holy moly. I got to catch up in the chat here. Don't do that, Melissa. What is Melissa saying? Putting up an aluminum Christmas tree is much more fun than a regular tree. Yes, I agree, Misty. It's just magical. It is so magical. Be careful. I'm going to be the bed. I know. Vinny has me rolling all the time. 
Don says, I had a huge pom-pom tree and the branches were all different sizes. I'll be honest, I hated putting the tree together. It took hours. I sold that on Bizzle or Etsy. Oh, you know a man's favorite toy is an erector set. And no, I'm not talking about the metal pieces you build cars out of. Holy moly, Benny. <laughs> you kind of kill me. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, let's see what else I'm missing in the chat, you guys. Uh, my childhood friend used to have an aluminum tree, and we would use the tree limbs as wands. Fond memories. Oh, yes, all those good mom memories from when you were a kid. No, I don't have a pickle. The person that was asking me for the pickle, we don't do the pickle tradition. Now, for all you guys that don't know what that is, you hide a pickle in a tree, and then you guys have to find the, the person that hides it. I don't know if they play or not, but then the rest of the group has to find the pickle in the tree. And we do uh, Santa Mouse. So I will be reading the Santa Mouse story to you guys on my channel, part of my Christmas reading series. And so that's why I probably have so many mice is because we would hide mice in the trees and we would leave cheese for Santa Mouse and then Santa Mouse would leave us little presents in the tree. So that's what we did. My granny had an aluminum tree in the 60s. Wish I had it. I know, Diane. Wouldn't that be amazing? Um, Nancy says, I know I'm missing so much in the chat. I'm going to have to do like I do for my live sales and go back and read. Yes, Nancy, I know. I, I love being in the chat so much. Interacting with people is the most fun. I love reading your comments. So, uh, you know, forever and ever and ever, I will spend reading comments. Uh, you need one of those round stands that are in kitchen cabinets with spices on it and see if a stand fits it and twirl around. Yes, to make this a twirling aluminum Christmas tree, it can be. Uh, a showgirl. <laughs> I have my bird Lucy on my tree. Oh, you do? Yes, that's so fun, Sarah. I love those. Uh, vintage and vinyl. How old is your son? I don't have a son. I'm not sure who. I have a Louie. Louie is two years old. That's the closest I've got to a kid. The last thing you need is uh, to shoe Vinny right now. No, Vinny's great. Vinny's not a, a troll. Don't, don't take Vinny out of the the chat. Uh, uh, Debbie's saying, oh, wow, those peanut ornaments are awesome. They are. Yeah, my grandfather loved peanuts like I do, and uh, he's just awesome. Pam, I don't know. I don't have a son. I'm not married. I don't have, I'm, I'm not seeing anyone currently. I don't have kids for any of you guys that are wondering. Hi, Joanne, and no worries if you thought that. Don't feel badly. <laughs> uh, Christina Aguilar, uh, yes, I said hello to you. Um, we never had an aluminum Christmas tree, always a real one that dad would get on Christmas Eve, cheap as possible. Uh, yeah. So, um, my, my brother showing me a pickle and I carry one every day. Of my <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Thanks, Don. Didn't know it would just by the looks of the branches. Yeah, all of these look the same size to me. I mean, I think they all are the same size. Uh, so, but so I guess different aluminum Christmas trees do different things. Okay. Oh, Carrie. Okay. I thought she had mentioned a sun before. No, Pamela. No, no, no. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, Christina is laughing at me. <laughs> You guys are great. I love your comments. Oh, this is fantastic. Yes, uh, my dog name, my dog's name is Louie. And so that is uh, equivalent to a small child running around the house. You mean Katie, right? You said vintage and vinyl. And I know I don't have children. <laughs> uh, let's see. Polly's saying uh, Santa hides it, Katie. Oh, okay. So I, I've heard different friends of mine that do the pickle tradition say that they hide it. Now, what we did growing up is we had baby Jesus and in the manger, and my dog actually ate the real baby Jesus. Uh, oh, gosh, that came out so terribly wrong. No, 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 no. My dog ate our baby Jesus from the manger, and the, the plastic one. And so we had to get another one, and he never quite fit the manger. But what we would do is we had this wonderful tradition. 
Oh man, I said that so wrong. We would hide the baby Jesus. We take turns hiding it, right? And then on Christmas Day, because Jesus was born and put into the manger on Christmas, we would find Jesus and put him into the manger. So I was never very good at hiding him in a clever spot, but my brother wins the award because he hid him in our family computer. Yes, that's right. He took apart the computer and put baby Jesus in the computer and we, no one could find him. And Carson had to reveal where he was and he had unscrewed the um, hard drive of the computer and stuck him down inside. It's a miracle he didn't melt, but we, we have a large baby Jesus in our manger. <laughs> Let's see, Don saying, I have a son. If any of the 20 or 30 somethings want to marry him. <laughs> well, right, Don, we were talking on Pamela's sale about this being a great place to, to meet uh, singles. No, I have not, Joanne. <laughs> I am not. I've just had my coffee, my peppermint mocha. Oh, thank you, Tarnished Treasures, Karina. I'm so glad you joined the live. It's great you're here. Uh, you can't take him back, Katie. I know I can't, Dawn. Oh, my, my words are just so crazy. I can't believe I said that my dog gave the will to baby Jesus. Oh, oh my Lord. Oh, my gosh. No, no, no. <laughs> my dog, my dog wouldn't have even been around then. My dog wasn't even born yet. <laughs> oh, boy. I've been up since 4 a.m. I'm heading to bed. Bed, Katie, I can't wait to see it all set up. Make sure to email pictures. Sweet dreams. Bye, Misty. I'm sorry you probably already left, but yes, I sure will. My my mother had a very old nativity scene, and the baby Jesus was made of wax. <laughs> I ate its head. Oh, no, Diane. That's horrible. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Night, Misty. Yes, I'm hurting from laughing. I'm glad I could make you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get some more aluminum tree branches. How about that? So I love this little honeycomb thing. I think it's great for storing these. So here's another pom-pom. You're going to put that on the tree. So this is just so much fun, you guys. This is awesome. And I may not be actually tall enough to do this. So I'm going to have to... Uh, we, well, let's see, I'm only five feet, and this tall, this tree is five feet, and it's up on my counter, which is also pretty high. So I'm going to work on that. There we go. <laughs> I'm glad you guys all are laughing. That's fun. <laughs> okay, so we've got all these branches going in. And uh, this is just so much fun. This is just great. What chatter am I missing, you guys? Hi, everyone. Been a little, uh, let's see, bought a little mini one today. Oh, how awesome, Mary Rose. That's so much fun. I love those. And uh, hi, old stuff, Beth, Texas. I think I said hello to you earlier, but if I missed you, hello, hello. And uh, there's more uh, branches that need to go down here at the bottom. These... Let me see if I can get this in here. I'm learning, you guys, about how to put this together. So uh, these are definitely a new a new uh, endeavor for me. Let me, uh, would you guys like to be put up a little higher so you can see what I'm doing? Let me see if I can set you up on something. What do I have that you could see the whole tree? Let me move these shiny brights out of the way because I am afraid they're going to get broken. These are two of the shiny brights that I have for the tree, the flying. I think these are the spaceship ones. They are marked Made in USA on the top, shiny bright. But let me see what I can do to adjust you guys so you can see this a little bit better. So let me scoot the tree down here. Yeah, maybe that's better. Can you guys see this? Let me move this so you can, there we go. You guys can see that better, right? I think so. Let's see what's in the chat. Higher, please, Dana says. Okay, great. Uh, what are you going to do as lights? Well, for you, if you don't know uh, Precious Lavender Buttons, Joanne, which you probably already do, you can't put lights on an aluminum tree because it will cause a fire. It's very dangerous. So what I did was Misty had this 
available with the tree and I did tell her to go ahead and send it. It is an LED light that uh, will be plugged in and make a really beautiful color design on the tree. Uh, I don't have a vintage color wheel. The color wheel uh, makes lights as well on the tree, but the thing with the color wheels from the 50s is they get really, really hot, and you got to be careful about that. So, yes, uh, atomic shape, yes. Misty sent her uh, the rotating light thing. Yes, Misty did. Katie, we are even now. I killed Frosty and you're talking the real baby Jesus. That's right, Nancy. We're even now, except for I don't think any children are watching me, so I don't think that I made a child cry. Let's hope not. No kids watching this back and they go, Mommy, they ate baby Jesus. Let's hope not. Oh, Lord heavens. <laughs> ah. I probably should have pulled all these branches out in advance, but I, I didn't think about that when I decided to do this. So you guys are getting a real live, up-close look at me decorating the tree here. So this is fun. I love hanging out with you guys. I'm glad you're here. My aluminum tree, not so happy with it this year. I did the new shiny bright picks that I brought for doing assemblages, and I'm too lazy to go any further. Yeah, you know, with decorating, uh, it does take some time to get everything all set up. And if you're not happy with it, sometimes you just decide, well, it is what it is. So I'll just keep it that way. Yeah, I think we've all been there. <laughs> so this is fun. This is great. Oh, hi, Mary Beth from Fat Bird Finds. I'm glad you're here. Hey, thanks for making me a wrench. That really made my Christmas. I'm glad I'm a wrench on your channel now. Play some Chuck Berry in the background. I'd love to if I could, if I could, but I don't want to get in trouble. I got in trouble. I played 12 seconds of Chuck Berry once, and I got in big, big trouble with YouTube. So I don't want to do that. But I wish, I wish I could play some Christmas music, you guys. That would be fun. Hi, Susan K. Think about way back when candles were on trees. I know. Isn't it amazing that more people didn't end up in the ER or more people didn't have house burning down because of the candles on the tree, uh, the old wiring and things, and kids just being able to play with all kinds of things. I mean, Jamie at Mid-Century Wasted does the Sunday at Sears premiere, and she's in the toy section. And my gosh, some of the toys that kids were just allowed to play with were sharp. I mean, even some of the stoves, like, actually plug in and work. Like, can you imagine giving that to a kid? Nowadays, you wouldn't. I just think that is so funny to see some of that stuff. Hi, Thrift You. Thanks so much for joining. Is it Sam or Sarah? I'm so glad you're here. I have a super cool tree light, but it's super loud and gets way too hot. I agree. I don't trust it. Yeah, I don't. I don't trust it either. And I have a vintage lathe light uh, from the 1930s from a factory. And I don't leave that on when I'm gone because I'm just afraid that something's going to happen. So even with the new wiring. So this is fun. Uh, to to have it, but it's definitely something that I wouldn't do personally. I wouldn't leave it on like when I'm not around. Uh, what else am I missing? Hi, Tammy. Uh, is your aluminum Christmas tree up? Yes. If you guys have aluminum Christmas trees up in your house, please, please, please tag it uh, on Instagram. Tag me on Instagram because I want to see. I'll be watching Blake and Jamie take jabs at each other, knowing they're like two feet from each other. That's right. <laughs> I love I love that you love vintage things. I actually grew up with. Yes, Mama J. I am a big fan of vintage. I always use the hashtag on my Instagram. Vintage is life. Uh, they are all death traps. Every last one. <laughs> yeah, those color wheels. Holy cow! And then the vintage toys is like whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, we all survived somehow. That's true. And without seat belts, my dad was telling me that he would go out with his uncles in their car. And they would sit down in the back seat and their uncles would go flying without any seat belts. And they would, thought it was so much fun to bounce up and hit the ceiling <laughs> and come back down. I'm like, oh my gosh. Come on, Carrie. We were a whole six feet. <laughs> uh, Tammy, I think from Vintage Uprising Texas is here. Welcome, welcome. Where's the tape measure, Blake? <laughs> 
Uh, I have an aluminum tree. I've just been too lazy and grinchy to put it up. Yeah, Venny, when you work in retail, I can imagine how that is. You just don't want to do it. I don't blame you. Uh, I want one. You want an aluminum tree for a few? Yeah, they're awesome. I have been wanting one for years and years and years. And now I finally have it, and I am just beyond ecstatic about it. It is so much fun to have this and see the branches going up. It's just awesome. Uh, so this is great. Let me get some more out of the, the package here. I'm going to just pull a whole bunch of them out at one time. Can, can you guys see okay, I hope? Let's see if I need if I need to raise it up some more, I will. Yeah, I sure will. All right, Louie's asleep on the couch, which is good, so she won't be getting into any of the boxes. All right, I've pulled quite a few of the branches out, so we should be good to go. And this is fun. You guys are hanging out with me just uh, while I'm doing this. Hopefully you can see me. Oh, yes, yeah, so fun, Katie. Dawn, what happened? Oh, hi, Melody. Yes, it did arrive. I hope your date was good with your husband. Uh, I have an aluminum Christmas tree that doesn't want to come out of the box. Sadly, I must cut the box. Oh, no. Yeah, that's the worst when you get vintage things and they're like that. I know what you mean. I've had that happen with other things that I've bought. So this is looking really good, guys. I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, this is amazing. Now, it will be on my counter. I am not putting it anywhere else. My dog will not get this. <laughs> It will be nice and safe up here on the counter. So that's going to be awesome. And I think so far this is working out well. Everything's fitting nicely together. I've never set up one of these before, so I am learning as I go with these uh, branches here. What else am I missing in the chat? <laughs> Good night, Mama J. Thanks for being here. The tree does. Have fun, Katie. I can't wait to see a home tour. Going to bed. Yes, I will be showing a home tour. Hi, Randy. Uh, my grandmother said, and while the house was burning, people said they will hold their thing that doesn't burn. Grandma never got her stuff back. Oh, no. Uh, that's, that's horrible. You're still looking for a tree? Yes. Uh, trees, aluminum trees are just hard to find. I was just so grateful that I got one. Like I could not believe it. And of course, Cheryl Hoskins was so nice to gift, to, to give this to me when she actually won it. She was like, Oh no, Katie can have it. And that was just the nicest thing. I mean, I, I am still in awe for someone to give up their right to buy an aluminum Christmas tree is just amazing. So yes, this was so great. Christina, you did a really good job with your first video. Yes, Christina did a first video. I have not watched it yet because I just found out today that she did one. But I will be watching that as soon as I get a chance. And I will leave a comment, Christina. I'm really looking forward to that. That's going to be so fun. We are almost at the top, you guys. And this is coming along really well. Let me see. Can you guys see what's happening here? Um, I don't know. I might have to raise you up higher. Let's see. Can you guys see okay? Would you guys like to go up higher? Let me know. Oh, she had candles on the tree. Oh, Randy, I am so sorry. Yeah, those candles can be really dangerous. I am so sorry. Oh, you were sick? I'm sorry, Carrie. Let me see what I'm missing here in the chat. Uh, Carrie says... Hi, MB. I was grumpy at flipping and sipping last night. I had a terrible migraine. It was trying not to cry or vomit. Oh, Carrie, I am so sorry. I deal with migraines, too, and I know how horrible they are. So I am really, really sorry. That's awful. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Turn us more towards the tree, please. Okay, will do. Let me set you guys up here. Hang on. Let me get some things moved, and I'm going to set you up higher so you can see what's happening and get in on the action, all right? So hang with me two seconds. I'm going to move, move the ornaments out of the way and set you up high so you can see. So don't worry, you guys. I'll be right here with you uh, to get you more in the action. So let me move all of this out of the way. And we'll get you up nice and high. I think I've got a box here that I can set you on. And you'll be able to see a little bit better. So let's do this. Let me get you up high. Oops. 
Got shiny brights going everywhere. That's no good. And, okay, can you guys see? Let's see if this is better. That's better, right? Can you guys see? Hi, my friend uh, Chelsea is here. Hi, Chelsea. Welcome to the chat. I'm so glad you joined us. Chelsea's my good friend. She's a very talented artist, and she is wonderful. So welcome, Chelsea, uh, into the chat. That's Ace of Spirits. Yes, I'm so sorry to hear. I remember having a real crappy week, and I felt like a grouch at flipping and sipping, and I just stayed silent. Yeah, Venny, I know. Sometimes we just have horrible weeks, but it's so good to be able to be in the chat anyway and just hear people's comments because it does brighten your week. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I get migraines, too, and they start with no warning. I know. Me, too. They're awful, aren't they? They just leave you flat on your back. It's better, Melissa. It's the kind of back of my head, but nowhere near last night. I'm sorry. Yeah, I get them too, and I get the lines, and I get uh, the nausea, and I, I know how that is. It's awful. So anyway, let's get back to some happiness here with the tree. Venny, you can never be a grouch. <laughs> yeah, Venny keeps us all laughing. Venny is a resonant jester in the chat. Venny and Kim and all kinds of people. So I've got more branches going on the aluminum tree. And uh, let's see, this one needs to go in a little bit farther. That's what Benny said. <laughs> so let's shove that down in there. And then, um, let's see, lots of branches still to go, which is great. So let's get this on here. I've never set one of these up before. And what's interesting is you do have to push the branches kind of farther down in there than you would expect. So I'm learning about that here. And this is a beaut, guys. This is just absolutely gorgeous. My goodness. This is phenomenally cool. Oh, my word. This is coming together. And you've just got to kind of really push the branches down in there. But they are, they are really in there nice and tight. Okay, let's get some more branches here. I'm going to reach up high, so hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing in the in the video. Can you guys see that okay? Does it need to go higher? Katie, can you tell I said hi and we'll be back? Yes, I can. Don't you worry. Uh, you get to doing what you need to do and I'll see you. Yes, thanks, Chelsea, for popping in. Uh, are those branches, are the branches metal poles? Yes. So, so let me show you guys that up close. Hang on one second. Let me, let me show you guys this up close here. So these are the branches. They are metal here with this little thin pole. And then you've got, of course, the aluminum like tinsel here and then the pom-pom at the end. So that's what this looks like. Good. Okay. Everybody can see me and looks great. Yes, 100% metal. Exactly. That's what the beauty of these trees are. I just think they're so cool. I can't believe that I got one. <laughs> I'm still in shock, you guys. So we're just going to put this together. Okay, that's in there. Let me get some more branches out. So the branches come in this, like, honeycomb package like this so you pull them out um and this is kind of nice because it keeps them in there so I'm, I'm liking how this this is at first i was afraid that i was going to pull off the shiny part of the branch but i've gotten pretty comfortable now just pulling them out so love you katie i'll hop back on when i get home no worries chelsea i'm just glad you popped in um and i love you too very much we'll talk soon Kelly Blanchard. Hi, Kelly. Hey, Kelly. I just wanted to say you do a great job at the live sales. Thanks so much for writing everybody's name down and for being awesome. You are fantastic. So thank you, Kelly, for all your work and for helping your mom. That's what she said, Melissa. What did what did Melissa say now? <laughs> of course, Vinny. Let me see. I'm missing some chat here. That's going to be funny. Nice shiny pole. <laughs> Oh dear Lord. Oh, this is fun, you guys. This is great. 
So, yeah, I know this is going to be loud for a little bit because the microphone is sitting right here, my little vintage-inspired uh, microphone, but i got to pull this out. So hopefully for all of you guys that are here, none of you are sound sensitive because I know that can be a problem. I'm just going to try to get as many of the branches out as I can so that we can get to, to decorating faster. So this is great. Okay, so we've almost got all the branches out of the honeycomb. This will be nice, too, for storage, I think, when I go to put the, the tree away. But I'm telling you guys, I am so excited about this tree that I don't think I will be putting this away anytime soon. I probably will have it up all the way through January. That's probably what's going to happen at my house. <laughs> Because I am like a kid on Christmas morning with this aluminum tree, man. I, I am excited. And every day up until the tree came, I would go and I check the mailbox. Is it here? Is it here? I was just so, so, so excited. I think, you guys, that's one more. One more branch. And we are all out of, of the packaging. Let's see what I've missed here in the chat. Like a kid in a candy store. That's right. That's what I always say. Like a kid in a candy store. Uh, as Katie is doing, you have to be careful to pull out the branches not opposite of the pom-poms. Yes, Southern Buckeye. That's right. You don't want all the aluminum to come off. That's it. This week has been terrible, Dawn. I've not had, had a week like this in a long time. I hope not to have another one like it again. Oh, Vinny, my gosh, I'm so sorry you've had such a terrible week. Uh, to just heck with it, right? That's what you got to say sometimes. And hopefully next week is better. Hopefully these chats make you laugh and keep your spirits up. I know we've all had bad weeks like this. And this year just has been one heck of an awful year. But we're going to get through it together. And one of the things that I love, you guys, is this little community we have cre created here on YouTube. I tell you what, this has gotten me through 2020. I've been in my house a lot. I haven't been able to see friends. I can't go out. The pandemic's been really bad here. And uh, I've loved getting to know each and every one of you and be on this uh, live chat with you today. And of course, every day on all the chats and just get to hang out. I love how we have become this tight knit little family. We all know each other. We all support each other. And you guys are just so kind and so awesome. So thank you, thank you, thank you for this. And thanks for the last Benny, as always. Yep, nice shiny. <laughs> this shoves into a hole. Oh, my goodness. Holy moly moly. <laughs> uh, Angela, we already know that based on reactions of Sarah's singing. What did I miss? Uh, well, I'm discovering the, that I'm sound sensitive. Uh-oh, Angela, that's not good. <laughs> oh, Katie, I was talking about that one week. Oh, this week is fine. Okay, whew, Vinny, I'm glad. But that one week, man, you were having a heck of a time, and I'm glad it's better. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Vinny, steer up, steal up for Christmas and retail. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, bad year for sure. Uh, I am in Florida, Tammy, Vintage Uprising, Texas. Uh, I'm the same way, Katie, living alone and isolated, yes. And this chat has just, well, this chat, but of course all of the chats, I just feel such a sense of community. And it's so great, like on Thanksgiving, that you guys joined my live and I was able to get on other sales. And it just felt like a really wonderful day. Even though that I couldn't be with family, you guys were my stand-in family. And I just can't thank you enough for that. It was wonderful. And I love getting to meet new people and interact with all of you. It's so much fun. This is the most terrible year, but YouTube has been fun shining light. I agree, Jamie. It has kept me laughing every day. It's kept me involved in something really fun and uh, definitely been great when I can't go see my friends in, in real life. It's been wonderful. Uh, yes, it's a great community and it's therapeutic. It is. And we get to shop. That's the great thing, too, is since I can't go to the vintage and antique stores right now, or at least not very many of them because of the pandemic, I've been able to get things that I would have never dreamed, like this aluminum tree. You know, I don't find that here. Vintage Christmas is pretty much non-existent in Florida because I, I really think people move here from cold weather states like New York and they get rid of all their stuff because they're clearing out their house and it just doesn't go. Listen, if you want her to 
if you want her to stop doing anything, don't tell her to stop or she'll do it 10, 20 times worse. Oh, it's Sam. Yeah, it was Sarah. I, I get what you're saying. You guys are hilarious to watch. The tree looks terrific. Can't wait to see it decorated. Yes, I'll be decorating it here just in a couple of seconds when we get the last few branches on. Uh, you're right, Katie. You can say it so much more elegant than I could. Oh, thanks, Southern Buckeye. But yes, I do agree. This community is wonderful. I was in a bad place five years ago and met a group of resellers that mean the world to me, as cheesy as it may sound. No, Dawn, it's not cheesy. I tell you what, I'm just having a great group of people with like-minded interests really do a lot for you, especially when you find someone that understands vintage. Like I'm the only one in uh, my group of friends that likes vintage. And of course, my friends are so super supportive of everything. And, they're, and they always listen as I listen to them talk about their video games, which I don't really understand, but they, they you know, I still listen and try to learn. But it's so nice to get a group of people to actually understand what I'm talking about and share the same love and passion as I do. Because uh, my friends, they, they support me, but they don't really, you know, look at a graphic like on an old advertising tray, like the Coca-Cola trays or the aluminum Christmas tree and light up with joy. You know, they're just like, oh, that's cool. You know, it's from the 50s. All right, that's awesome. But I mean, you guys know the joy and excitement of it all. And it's fun to share that with you guys. Uh, Beth, can you show us where you'll place the tree? Yes, Beth. So can you guys see at the end of my counter? Let me bring this down a little bit. See at the end of my counter, and I'm going to have to move some of my glass, but I'm going to put it right at the end of my counter here. That's where it's going to go. It's got to go up on the counter so it stays away from Louie. We can't have any issues with the tree. No issues. 2020 jumped up on YouTube plans by a year. I wasn't going to start a channel till 2021. Glad I did, but I feel like I'm scrambling from diving in head first. Yep, I just decided to jump in. My friends, uh, I, I mentioned a channel to them, and they said, oh, yeah, you should start YouTube. You should go for it. People might want to see that stuff that you collect. And I did, and I'm really glad I did because I met a great group of people. It's been so much fun. I'm missing chat here, and I'm sorry if I do. I'm trying not to miss everybody's chat. Oh, you're back. Hi, Chelsea. Uh, oh, man, I was in Florida a couple of weeks ago when I saw George. I know I want to meet George next time he comes to a Florida show, and I'd love to meet you sometime, of course, Tammy. Oh, glad you're back, Cindy. Uh, Melissa, I haven't been in the chats a lot because my computer charger. Yes, Vinny, I am glad you got a new computer, but that thing needs to hurry up and get here. <laughs> I know you're probably thinking the same thing. I know when you get those delayed messages and they're like delayed, or slow down after you've ordered something. It's the most aggravating thing on the planet, but you'll get it and it will be fun. And like you said on Pamela's chat, at least you've got your iPhone or, or phone and uh, a tablet to keep you to keep you uh, in check while you're waiting for that to come. At least you can still see YouTube. That's a good thing. Uh, you could have managed for dinner. I know if this pandemic weren't happening, I would have loved to have come. I wish I would have found you all sooner. Miss Pamela was the first to randomly come up for me, and she's awesome. Miss Pam is awesome. I found Miss Pamela because I was in another chat. I didn't even know she existed. And someone said, hey, Pam Blanchard is having a sale right after this, all vintage. And I thought, okay, cool, another sale. You know, I love joining in on the sales and chatting with all of you. And I just fell in love. It was like, oh, we're in Miss Pamela's kitchen. And it reminded me of being in my elderly neighbor's house. Uh, and just because my elderly neighbor is just so sweet, like Miss Pamela, and she's funny and she's just, you know, herself. And it just reminded me of sitting down at the table, having a really good conversation with her and being cozy and at home. And I just loved it. And I, it was just so delightful. And I, of course, have been attending sales and videos ever since because Miss Pam and Kelly are awesome. Uh, Bash, she is uh, leaving it there. Yeah, well, here, mine's kind of in the middle of the table. So I don't know if you can see, but my counter is kind of long. So I'm going to be moving it to the back of the counter here. So it's not going to stay here. But yes, YouTube has been my savior since I was taken out of work seven years ago at 47. Oh, Polly, I am so sorry. Can you guys see the tree? Let me try to, there we go. 
so you guys can see that. Mimi's saying, I agree. What a great community. And I love all the friends I have made. Me too, said he. And I met all of you as a new group of friends. Yes, lots of great people here on YouTube. Uh, Randy saying, so true. Uh, Angela Marksberry. Yes, it's like cheers, but online. It is, Carrie. It is. And we see each other every day in the chats. And it's just so great. Miss Pamela Blanchard, I tried so hard to get you, to get to your sale. The kids were uh, the stars of our recorded video tonight that took a lot of time. I can imagine. Man, when you have kids and you're trying to get them to, to do something, sometimes, man, it's hard. But your kids are so cute, Sam. I love when you're on live or on a video with them and you're instructing them about the vintage stuff. Man, it's just so great. And it's great that you're getting them into all of that. I hate using a tablet and a phone for these events. That's why I've been MIA. Oh, yeah, Vinny, I use my phone because I can type faster on my phone. I am as slow as a turtle on a computer. I, I just, you know, we never took typing class. We had a computer class. We had to learn how to do Microsoft Office Suite, and we had to learn how to edit videos and do that kind of stuff in high school. We never were taught to do typing, and so I am just not very fast with typing, but on my phone, I can be pretty lightning fast, so I, I use my phone. And I do. I'm able to stream it to the TV, but I don't often do that. I just kind of sit with my phone because I think it's easier. But sometimes I have to admit, I've got the two thing going, two devices going like Nate does. Nate said he does that sometimes. And so I'll have my tablet and my phone going if there's two sales or two events I want to catch that are on at the same time. <laughs> yes, Katie. And we encourage and you're encourage and support each other. Yes, we do, man. This is a great community. Don, we love you. You know that. Absolutely, Don. We love having you in the chats. Uh, Angela says, uh, you guys are hilarious and legit love Miss Pam. Me too. I love every one of you guys in the chat. And of course, all of you guys that have channels are just awesome. My primary spelling collecting is Lucite Purses, which ironically is made in Miami, but I source from New York people because they re locate to Florida. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, Dawn, and Lucite purses are amazing. I've seen some fabulous Lucite purses, and I am missing. Hi, Sue. Hi, Sue. I'm so glad you're here, and uh, did Vinny say something that I missed? I see, I see comments that I'm missing, so let me see here what I'm missing here. Oh, Lucite purses. They're, uh, Lucite is a material like the candlesticks, and uh, those Lucite purses are so fragile, but they're beautiful. You ought to look them up online, Kelly. They're really awesome. Vinny's saying it's long and hard. <laughs> oh, man. This is great. Yes, Pam is super authentic. Yes, I, I love that. Um, I started watching these sales in July, and my mom is the one who was watching first. Honestly, I thought you all were bananas at first, and then I kept watching, and I'm here. Yes, it is so great to find a community that just is so kind. I mean, it is amazing. The other day on Sandra's sale, the Pink Elephant Parlor, people were gifting each other hankies. It was a late night sale, and it was just like the nicest thing in the whole entire world. I was like, oh, and one person did it, and then two people did it, and before you knew it. I mean, everybody was saying, this hanky reminds me of you. Bill to me, but send the so-and-so. And it was so sweet and absolutely wonderful. And then tonight, Dawn, you sent me those ornaments or you got those ornaments for me. And I, I, I just can't thank you enough for that. That's so kind. Everybody is really, really wonderful. Dawn, don't forget, I'm probably the only one that can type or say your Greek last name five times very fast. Yeah, Dawn, I don't know that. I, I know your last name is Maserati. I think I'm saying that correctly. Maybe I am not. Who knows? I am horrible at pronouncing people's names, and I'm sorry. Some of us are bananas. <laughs> Benny. <laughs> We all have a little bit of our own brand and uniqueness, right? And that's what makes it fun. We're all hashtag stay weird, as Misty would say. I thought we were all bananas. Well, at least I am a little bananas. <laughs> uh, 
yes, I love that video with the girls at the thrift store, Sam. I'll have to watch that again. I'm sorry I'm behind on everybody's content because I watch so many lives that I need to actually watch physical videos. <laughs> I like to think that we're all here because we're not because we're not all there. <laughs> Well, see, we're a group of like-minded, fun-loving, vintage-loving people, right? I like only using my iPad. You know, everybody's different with what they use as far as devices. Kelly's saying, Lucite purses are made from early plastic material before they had plastic. Yes, they come in all kinds of colors and shapes. They're very collectible, and they can be worth quite a bit of money. Uh, yes, we adore Vinny so much. Vinny is an asset to our community. He is awesome. And Kelly, uh, yes, I just read that comment. Typing was the most useful class I ever took in high school. You know, I always say this, but I think in high school, they really don't do enough of practical learning. Uh, we, we spend so much time on like solving for X and doing uh, complicated chemistry equations when really I think it would be more useful if we could all learn how to change our oil, take typing, and balance a checkbook and just really do basic life things. I think that would be just so much more incredibly helpful, but uh, that's just my little rant for the evening. <laughs> Maria says, well, I have to work to tomorrow. It's a lovely tree night, everyone. Yes, good night. And I will get back to decorating the tree because I have been in the chat. And if Kelly were here, she'd keep me in line. Kelly Michelle would say, uh, that I need to just get going <laughs> and focus on the tree. Did Katie just say <laughs> she isn't far from the truth, <laughs> Benny? <laughs> if school if school were like that, we'd we'd want all. Benny, could you retype that or or let me know if, if school were like that, we'd want all. We want all the useless garbage they shot instead of all the, yes, 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 Benny. I majored in business and art in high school. The heck with algebra. Yeah, I mean, you know, I do, I do uh, woodworking. And even though there's some math required, I don't even use any of those high level equations. And I have an app for it. Math is not my strong suit. So I use my, uh, it's called measure tape is the app and it figures out every kind of equations that I need uh, for when I'm doing complicated joinery and stuff. So, I mean, you know, really, we, we really could be doing something different. Uh, gotta go to sleep night all night, Cindy. So yes, the tree is coming along, Dawn. Thanks for the great comment. I'm going to go around here to, let me turn it so that I can get some uh, more branches in it. We've only got a few more branches to go, guys. And then I can start putting some decorations on this puppy. So let me get this out of the way. And I will turn the tree around so you guys can see the other side. And we'll get decorating this last side of the aluminum tree. If I don't knock it over first, because I really got to get some of this stuff out of the way. Uh, unfortunately, my counter has all this beautiful glass. So I got to work on that. So we got that going and let's see what else I can do. Uh, okay, we got another branch in and well, let's, I see, I don't know that I'm going to be tall enough to reach the top of this. So let me see if I am. You know what I could do? And I didn't think about this. But how about I just do this to get the last of the branches in? Wouldn't that be smart? There we go. Let's work smarter, not harder here, folks. And we'll get this going. I'm probably missing some chat, and I'm sorry about that. I'm trying to watch the chat and put the tree up. And if I would stay in the chat, we'd be here all night long. <laughs> Let's see here. This is great. This is just looking so cool, you guys. This is amazing. All right. I think we got the very, oops, the very top branch on here. I think, so I think this is all decorated. So I'm going to set this back on top. Oh, now I can't see the hole. Yes, that's what Penny would say. <laughs> okay, so we got the top of the tree 
I think we've only got a few more branches to put in. And then I think there's some extra branches that came along with this, which is good. It's always good to have extra or something in case you need it. That's one of my biggest pet peeves when you buy a new piece of furniture is they never send extra bolts and nuts. And then you end up with a massive problem if one's missing or you lose it or it strips out or something. So that's frustrating. <laughs> okay, almost done. We got the last two branches going in, I think. And then I'm gonna sure this tree up a little bit on the bottom because I think it's leaning one way. And then I'll get back in the chat. So let's see. All righty, guys. Woohoo, this is looking great. Okay. It's leaning just a tad, so I'm going to get this all tightened up here on the bottom so that we don't have any issues because I don't want the tree or the ornaments to fall over. That wouldn't be good. And I just saw that I missed a branch here, so let's put that in. Ooh. Okay, that's down in there nice and tight. I'm going to look around, make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think so. Guys, let me set you back a little bit. What do you think? There she is. She's a beaut, isn't she? Holy moly. Merry, Merry Christmas to me and all of you guys, right? This is just great. <laughs> you missed the hole. <laughs> yes, I did. That is super cute, Katie. Yes, it is beautiful. Yes. And Jamie says it looks great. Thanks, Jamie. It's looking really good. Where do you find a live sale schedule? I thought that had stopped. Yes, so originally Corey the Thrifted Artist was doing the sale calendar. And uh, of course, when you're scheduling anything, it can get to be quite a bit of a job. And so she worked so hard at that and then gave up the job. And Angela is now doing it. So Angela Marksbury is doing the, uh, the sale calendar now. So it's a Marksberry at a Marksberry on Instagram. She does the sale calendar. She also has a great YouTube channel. And then Trisha from Sandy and Otto is also doing a sale calendar on her YouTube page. And she has links to everybody's channels down below under that video. And then I do a daily post on my stories on Instagram with all the stuff happening for the day that I know of. And I am human. So sometimes I miss somebody and I'm sorry. And that concludes the poor, the talent portion for me. <laughs> Where do I find? Oh, we answered that. Suspension is easy these days. You don't log on to Zoom. Okay, I'm missing some things. Yay, she got it in the hole. <laughs> what would Vinny say, right? What would Vinny say? I know how to say prepares dinner in Latin. <laughs> I flunked Latin too. I didn't have to take Latin. Now my brother is super, super talented and smart with Latin. He took over six years of Latin and studied it all through college. He's got a degree in classics and he is really knowledgeable on ancient Rome and Greece and all of that. So his, his knowledge of Latin is way above my head. I, I took Spanish for three years and I speak only a little bit of it, barely enough to get by. Vinny's asking something about Sherry Lynn. Yes, uh, Ace of Spirits, my friend in the chat, um, she does some great video game art. She is just really talented. So maybe uh, when she gets a little bit more ready to share some of her art, she will. One strike on you, Polly's project. Next is a referral. Polly Projects, what's happening in the chat here that I'm missing? Uh, Tammy says, next year, start at the bottom and work your way up on the branches. I Well, I started at the bottom, but I should have done the ones that I missed. Did I miss one at the top? I don't think that's Well, I'll be. Maybe I did. Holy moly, you're right. Whoever said I missed a branch, you have some eagle eyes, because look at that, I sure did. I missed a branch. Shame on me. Let's see. No, I think I got, yep, I sure as heck did. Look at this, you guys. I missed a branch. Wowza, wowza. Well, we're going to put the last branch in now. <laughs> Holy moly, you guys have some expert eyes. Look at that. 
I'm probably doing too much at once, right? Setting up the tree, chatting. I'm being too much in the chat. <laughs> Algebra hater, me too. Math is terrible. Math is terrible. Sam, who bought me the the hanky again? Was it Sherry? Yes, Vinny, I think it was Sherry Lynn. That's right. And Sherry does sales as well. Tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock. Joanne, what is tomorrow? Uh, yes, uh, I learned woodworking. So my grandfather, my mom's dad, was an electrical engineer. He worked for IBM for many years. And uh, he turned... Uh, all kinds of things on the lathe. He, I have his chest set he turned when he was in high school. His dad owned a radio station that he started from the ground up. And uh, they were both very good. My grandfather is very good at math and all kinds of technical things. And I spent the summers he would come to my house. And I spent the summers learning from him everything I could about wiring and woodworking. And, and he would get me. I was the, probably the only little girl I was seven years old when I started getting uh, tools for Christmas. And I was probably the only girl that wasn't getting a doll or some sort of doll clothes. <laughs> I didn't, I wasn't interested in all of that. I wanted a craftsman uh, a socket wrench set one year for Christmas. I was probably 10. And I remember getting the 72 piece socket set. Uh, from Sears, Craftsman Tool Socket Set, and thinking that was the most wonderful thing in the world. So I, I've always loved tools and mechanics, and my grandfather taught me all of that. And then I wish I had gotten a chance to know and, uh, my dad's um, father's father, um, and he, Noel Alrich, he, he was amazing. He, uh, dad's father's father. What am I saying? I've got to get things together here. My dad's mother's father, my great grandfather, he did um, engineering sort of in his own way, but he had a refrigeration business and he actually did a lot of refrigeration for local businesses in Illinois. And he would invent all kinds of things. And dad tells me he had a huge workshop down in their basement. He built a cooler for apples. So they had year round apples in the cooler. He would um, invent the cover for buffets at restaurants he in his area I, i'm sure that he was one of the first to invent that he put that in at one of the local restaurants that he serviced for the refrigeration and he made all kinds of things my grandmother still has tons of things that he invented and he would just if, if there wasn't a tool in the shop to make to do a specific job he would just make one my dad said it was amazing he learned all kinds of things from him and i probably got a lot of my skills too through him because he was amazing as well. I wish I could have gotten to meet him because we would have been talking a mile a minute about tools and woodworking and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I've learned a lot from different family members. So that's where I learned that. Then he's saying, what does my life depend on the quadratic formula or what happened in modern world history? It doesn't. No, Benny, it doesn't. And the thing is you can get a calculator. You know, you can get your phone. It's always on you. We don't go anywhere without our phones these days. There's a calculator right there. You know, there's no need to worry about learning how to do that if you've got an app. And to me, being smart is you being resourceful and using the app to help you figure out how to do some of these things. It's, <laughs> you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Katie, my uncle was a woodworker and had his own business, created wooden, wooden instruments like dulcimers, sold them worldwide. He retired with my aunt in Florida. Oh, that is amazing, Carrie. Yes, and I know you all are here for the aluminum tree, but since you all are here, I'll show you something while you're, while you're all here on the live, since a lot of you guys are going to want to see. Let me show you. Oops. And all that noise, I'm sorry, guys. But these are some of the things that I, I make. So this is a wooden bottle opener. And I've got, this is spalted tamarind. And this is something I turned on the lathe. And then I also do bottle stoppers. So I've got this one here out of walnut that I made. I don't know, the camera's probably not going to pick that up very well. So I've got this one here. And I don't have any of my pens sitting right next to me. But, yep, 
That is so interesting, Katie. Thanks for sharing. Oh, yes, I love sharing family info. Benny is saying, some of the customers I have are tools, and I wouldn't mind if they rusted and rotted away. Benny, I can imagine you must get some people in customer service that make you want to pull your hair out. I know, I've seen people like that with my own eyes, and I, oh, man, I know. I feel you. And Angela works in customer service, so she's saying, oh, my God, Benny, the same. Uh, my workshop, I'm, I'm currently in the process of moving my workshop. So I work out of a one-car uh, garage that I rent from my apartment building, and I've got to move to some place with air conditioning. I, I just cannot be in the Florida heat without AC anymore, and I can't put in a portable AC unit because there's not enough power. Basically, my garage... Uh, is ha hooked up to all the other garages. So it's like Christmas lights. It's not a, uh, a regular old house circuit. So basically if one garage goes, they all go. And that's a, with the power. So that's a big problem when you're running tools that have 15 amps. So each one of my tools is probably about 15 amps. And then you got probably an amp or so per light. And then you've got to run my dust collection system, which is really, really important. So that probably runs about 10 amps or more, depending on the dust collector that you get. And then, you know, you've got air filtration to worry about as well when you're doing, especially when you're doing woods like spalted tamarind, you really don't want to be breathing that in. It's real toxic. And so you got to wear the face mask, the face shield. I mean, especially when you're turning, because if that tool uh, gets right out of line and it flies, the wood can go flying and hit you in the face. So you really got to take those safety precautions with turning and you got to be careful. So I really need more power basically in my shop and I got to have air conditioned. So I'm in the process of actually moving to another spot when I find it. I'm still calling places and finding a shop that's going to be a little bit bigger and we'll have AC and power and all that. But you guys don't, you're not here to hear about <laughs> all the techniques of uh, woodworking. Uh, more power in our phones and in our computers that got us to the moon. That's right. Uh, Venny, what kind of retail business? Yeah, Venny works at Marshall's for all of you guys that don't know. He created wooden spoons called cat paws. Oh, that's amazing, Carrie. I bet you'd love to have one of those or do you have one of those? That's neat. Uh, I love seeing the beautiful cursive handwriting on old postcards and Valentine's. Yes, me too. Aren't they amazing? So true, Carol D. I remember learning in third grade. We did it for a while, and then one day we just stopped. Yeah, doing cursive, we had to learn cursive, and I could sign my name in cursive, but I don't think I could write a whole letter in cursive. Uh, we still want to see you work on the tree. Yes, that's right. I'm talking about all kinds of other things. I will be doing a video of my shop, Randy. Don't worry. Yes, I need an industrial garage space. Okay, let me get back into the tree because all of you guys are here for that and not any of my woodworking or other things. So let me get going on that again. So we've got all the branches on the tree and we are going to decorate the tree. Let me just put this in the drawer so that it's out of our way. And then I'll get some ornaments to start on the tree. So I've got my box of shiny brights here. Now I don't have that many shiny brights, but I will be putting some on the tree. And I think that it is sturdy enough that it's, ooh, that was loud. I don't think this is gonna go anywhere. So I think we're good here. Let me just make sure that it's nice and sturdy because I would hate for it to fall over. That wouldn't be good. Yeah, I think we're good here. Okay, so let's start on some of the ornaments, guys. How does that sound? Uh, yes, so I, I need to get some ornament hooks. And you guys are sitting right on top of the ornament box. So I'm going to hold you up for a minute. And I'm going to flip open the ornament box here. And uh, yes, oh, Vinny, there's the tree, guys. Can you see that back there? It is a beaut. So I've got a whole box, a whole thing of ornament hooks here. This is the ornament box that I'm using. Let me show you guys that. I've got this, this uh, ornament box here. And we'll put the first ornament on the tree. How does that sound? Yes, ornaments. I do have a tree skirt, and um, I will be using it. Let me set you guys up here 
like this so you can see. How's that? Is that good? Can you can you guys see the tree well? Uh, yes, I use a tree skirt, but I don't have it out at the moment because I wasn't sure if it was going to fit on the tree or not. Yes, my father was a master electrician, but also a jack of all trades. I can imagine the problem with the power and the amperage. Um, also invented things. Yes, yeah, you, you, when you have a shop, you got to work on that. No, 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 you're not Don Maserati. No, I'm not leaving. <laughs> I'm not leaving at all. I'm here with you guys having fun. Uh, but yes, I, I, I know when you have a workshop, you got to work really hard on, on the power because you got to have everything running. And it's not so much that I need to run multiple pieces of equipment at a time. So it's not like I'm running the table saw and the band saw at once. It's just that I need to be able to run my dust collection system uh, with AC and my lathe or my drill press or my planer jointer, you know, stuff like that. So in honor of celebrating the big aluminum Christmas tree, I'm going to put my favorite ornament on the tree first. And this is this ornament here. I love this shiny bright. It's got the spaceship design with the green, the gold. It is just so pretty. It's got the made in USA shiny bright so it is an older original shiny bright it's not the christopher radco and it's going to be so fun carrie what did you post i see you i just held my thumbs up like you could see it <laughs> that's funny that's funny carrie okay so is everybody saying that they can see the tree okay are we all good uh yes okay here we go first ornament going on the shiny bright going on the shiny bright. Well, the tree is shiny. So going on the aluminum Christmas tree, here we are. Woo! Oh my word, you guys, this is just too much fun. Look at that. And let's cut that red string off of this ornament while I'm at it. It does not need to be on here. All right, there we go. How does that look, you guys? Can you even see it? Probably not. Oh, man. Hopefully you guys can see this all right. Can you see it all right? I'm sorry. The uh, lighting is just so funky in my kitchen. All right. And now we have one of the lantern shiny brights going on. So I've got this ornament here. It is a lantern shiny bright, and it's going to go right on the tree. Let's put it up here. I think it will look good here up top. So we've got that, and I've got lots of other shiny brights. Let's do a bell. Would you guys like to see a bell? Let's put a bell on the tree. Now, I love these little shiny bright bells. I just think they are so beautiful. But my favorites are the spaceships, I think. What's going under the tree? Oh, Christina, that's a good question. Well, since it's just me and Lily here, let me show you what I plan to do under the tree. So I am going to be decorating with my shiny bright boxes. And look at this one with the starburst, you guys. Is that not fun? So I've got this one. It's going to go under the tree. Big, whoops, it's upside down. Shiny bright box. And I have this shiny bright box going under the tree. This one here. And I will be putting, I've got this to go under as well. So I'll be putting, oh boy. I've got, I've got this shiny bright box. I've got a whole little collection of shiny bright boxes that's gonna go under the tree if the camera will ever focus. And then I've got this 1930s Noma Christmas light box. And it doesn't have the Christmas lights, but what's cool, you guys, is it advertises Bakelite plugs. So Bakelite is an early form of plastic and it advertises the plugs, but the graphics on this are super cool. And look at the Santa, you all. So let's see. Where's this? The stream mirror camera is so backwards, but look at the Santa graphic. Is that not amazing? And then you've got Santa here up on the roof. Come on, camera, get your stuff together. And then it says approved Bakelite plugs. Isn't that fun? So this is awesome. 
And I'm probably going to be putting some of the little mice guys under there because I've got lots of mice that need a home. So I'll continue on with the tree. We've got this ornament. Now, I love this. Now, I don't know. You guys can tell me, uh, for all of you guys that are big, shiny, bright collectors, I don't know if which one is technically the spaceship. I always call this like the spaceship, but this also kind of looks like the flying saucer. So I don't know which one is what and what is the official name given to this by collectors. Let me know in the comments uh, in the chat if you guys know, because I don't know exactly what its official name is. But this is the one that's going to go on next. One of my favorites. I love these. The ones that are shaped are just so cool. And yes, Kelly Michelle, this tree is going to be one heckin' awesome tree. <laughs> It's going to be one for the ages. Yeah, they really are. The boxes are everything. I am a sucker for vintage graphics. I really, really am. Definitely big on the vintage graphics, as I know all of you guys are, too. And, you know, does this happen when you're decorating? Look at this. Does that happen to y'all? This big old mess of ornament hooks? That always ends up happening. And you got to untangle them all. That's just a big mess. All right, so we've got this bell going on. Look at it. It's so shiny. I just love this. The gold and the silver. Oh, it's so amazing, you guys. So, so amazing. And uh, <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do is hide this guy in the tree somewhere. The, the little tongue fella. <laughs> he's great. And he's been on every single one of the Christmas trees I've had since I was a little kid. So he's got to find a home on the tree. And this one's going to go up next, this beautiful one. <laughs> Vinny. <laughs> oh, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> so we're going to hang this guy here. Now, here's one thing that I noticed with aluminum trees is a lot of people like to do them where the ornaments are kind of like this, where they're not all bunched together. And that may be something at one point that I do, but I want to see what happens when I put some more shiny brights on it. Like what happens, I know you can't really load the tree up because it is, it is a, a, a thinner branch, you know, it can't handle tons of weight. But I want to see what happens when you play with layers a little bit. So we're going to try that. Everybody's laughing at Vinny, of course. <laughs> oh, my God, the tongue fella. Yes, he is so funny. He is a little uh, wooden made-in-Germany ornament. I just think he's so funny. So we have, my mom has the larger one for her tree, and I stole the little smaller guy last year because I just love him. And we've had him on our tree for years and years and years. Never seen the tongue guy and biting my tongue for dirty thoughts. I know, Sue, we're all thinking it. We are all thinking it. Maybe Benny will be brave enough to put it in the chat. <laughs> yes, he is. He's, he, he's very special, Susan says. I know, we're all thinking it. He doesn't look right, I know. But he's just, he, you got to love him, right? <laughs> Don saying, load that sucker up. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to load it up with some vintage ornaments. And then we've got the another like lantern style one. Uh, so this is fun. And it's pink. Now, I don't do tons of pink, but it's special when you do find shiny bright. So that's going to go on the tree. So we'll put the pink one on. And then I have some of these. Now, this one is not, I don't think that it's shiny bright necessarily. It is made, I read this the other day because I got this out and I was looking at it. Yes, this is not shiny bright. This one is Poland. It's a Polish indent. So it's not, but now I don't know, shiny bright did things. Oh, boy. Let's drop all the ornaments and break it. Uh, he's okay. Thank goodness. Um, this is Poland. And I know that Shiny Bright did things for in conjunction with Germany and I think Poland. So this could be Shiny Bright. I don't know. But it is Polish. Let's see. I'm missing chat here. 
Uh, Katie, I and everyone I'll be watching on TV. Love you. Keep up the fun. Okay, great, Victoria. Best ornament of all time. Yes, it is. I like the pink one. Uh, I need to come source at your place. What is Kelly? Okay, y'all. I uh, have got me wanting to go view Crazy Four Retro. I'm extremely OCD about all the organization, and I love Pyrex, so it's much to view tonight before bed. Yes, Kelly, Crazy Four Retro is awesome. She's got an aluminum tree and some fabulous co collections, so enjoy that. Uh, Chrissy, do you have an aluminum tree? Never store ornaments in the attic. That's right, Southern Buckeye. I don't. I keep these all in this ornament box that's made for ornaments it's one of those special ornament containers and i keep this up in my closet um, and it stays by an air vent so everything is nice and, and safe our old stuff is in old cardboard boxes newer stuff is mostly in cardboard boxes too yes katie you missed my comment okay i gotta scroll up Vinny. let me see what i missed <laughs> I don't want to miss a Vinny comment because Vinny keeps us all laughing. What did I miss, Vinny? Okay, I'm scrolling up. <laughs> ah, Vinny. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm going to be laughing so hard I'm going to be crying by the end of this, you guys. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh, this is great. I just gasped. I know, Jamie. I was like, oh, no, I dropped this. <laughs> my parents stored everything in the attic. Yes, I just talked to my mom the other day. We were on the phone, and she said, oh, I've got some old Christmas books, but I think they're in the attic. And I said, oh, boy, I think we better get those out of the attic. And my mom said, you know, come to think of it, I think we ought to take them out of the attic, too, because the, those can't be safe up there. Kelly, their organization system of all their vintage and how they use it really in their everyday lives is amazing. It is, Christy. It is, Christy. They, uh, crazy for retro is amazing. The aluminum trees look so good when you get the bulbs on, or I'll send you a picture of mine. I have it set up in the garage. Oh, cool, Randy. Uh, yes, my email is in the description of all my videos, so feel free to send me an email or find me on Instagram at vintage underscore and underscore vinyl, and I will get back with you. Uh, I seen a tall aluminum tree at an antique shop with three ornaments spaced out per branch, and it was beautiful. Yes, well, that's what I'm going to try to do, Tammy. Crazy for Retro makes vid makes videos that I drool over all their vintage stuff. Me too. Well, I first discovered her through Nesting Havens. Uh, challenge they did on vintage Halloween and I just was like holy cow this is amazing my mind can't wrap around how much it's not hoarding I well I know and when you have vintage and you have collections like my grandmother BB was saying where do you store all this stuff in the one bedroom apartment I display it I like that kind of layered look I like having a bunch of interesting things to look at. So I just display it. Now, the Christmas and holiday stuff, yes, I, I do um, I put, you know, out when it's holiday time and I store it the rest of the year. So we've got more ornaments going on here. It's so hard because I want to be in the chat and I want you to see the tree too. So I'm doing both. I hope you guys, can you see the ornaments okay? What if I tilt this i'm trying to be in the live too because i don't want to tilt it so much that i don't exist <laughs> night bath okay no worries beth i know we've been talking yes i'll be posting lots of pictures of this once it's finished for sure and we've got this ornament going on this looks pink on camera guys but it's kind of a cranberry color cranberry glass color and it's really beautiful and so this is going on We'll put this up here, I think, because it hangs longer than the other ornament, so it's perfect on a higher branch. So we've got that, and then I have the matching one here, but it's in, it's in this blue color with yellow and pink and white, so that's fun. <laughs> what is Winnie saying? Oh, I don't know. A lot of people who like a layered look. <laughs> oh, Vinny. <really? laughs> 
even this all laughing. Uh, thanks, Picasso Cat. I'm glad you've joined us. And I bought my daughter a four-foot tree this year. She is mostly pink on hers. Perfect for a small apartment. Yes, I've always had the little Charlie Brown trees in my apartment because I can't have large trees. I just don't have room for it. Uh, I guess not. I can only see small areas of stuff where it becomes visual noise to me. Then again, my house is a cracker box. Yeah, I don't, I mean, I'm very careful about how I display things, but as you can see in the background of this video, like I like things layered out, but I'm, I like things to be in a very methodical, organized way. So like everything has to be even. I know the decorating style, a lot of times, as they say, if you put threes together, it looks really good. And I, I totally understand why, but I like things like in groups of four. I know that's just totally against all decorators' rules, but I just, I like things to be even and organized and spaced. And if it's organized and spaced, the layered look can look really good. Uh, I have that one. It's an early ornament from the 1940s. Oh, that is awesome, Nancy. I can't wait to see more of your collections because you've got some fabulous things. So I'm going to put this one, I think, down here on the tree. Yeah, that's perfect there. And then I've got some more of these uh, lantern styles. So we've got the lantern here. I got these off of eBay and you guys won't believe this. I got the whole lot for like five bucks. It was incredible. The guy clearly didn't know what he had at all. Not at all. So that's going on. And uh, <laughs> everyone's laughing at Vinny, of course. Yes, Vinny the monkey. <laughs> Vinny's very cheeky, but we love it, right? Vinny, Vinny is our resident jester. I keep saying that, but it's so true. He keeps us all laughing in the chats. And we all need laughs right now. And I just, I, Vinny, Vinny has some very great humor. I love it. Uh, I can't wait to see him either. Some things I have not seen in 14 years. I know, Nancy, I can't wait for you to get uh, everything all unboxed and cleared out because you're really going to love having your living room back. I'm a three person too. How weird yet yeah, awesome how we're all so different. Yes, Dawn, that's the beauty of things is we can all appreciate everybody else's styles and learn something different. Like even though I'm not the biggest fan of planters for myself, like they wouldn't be something I collect. All of you guys really love the vintage planters and I have learned so much and I appreciate how cool they are. Like they're really awesome looking and it's not something that I would buy from my house because I like the rusty industrial look, but they're so fun when I see those and it's neat that people get excited about things that they love. I love that. And it's cool how we all know what each other collects, you know? And so in the chats, like when we see Uranium, we all think of Christy Garza or Randy Heilman with the poodles or Misty and uh, Michelle with the Scotch tape tins, and, and of course, Carrie and Kim with the owls. Like, we all know what each other likes. I think that's so fun. So I've got this one going up here. This is pink. Uh, there's green at the bottom, but it's a little bit worn off, but I kind of like that. So we're going to put this one here. Are you guys able to see the ornaments okay? I really hope so. I, I don't know how well the camera is showing it up because there we go. That shows up. And then I've got my last lantern style. This has the gold, the pink, and the orange. And uh, yes. Let's see. Okay, now I've got this big mess of uh, <laughs> ornament hooks, or Vinny might say hookers. <laughs> And we're going to put this together on the tree. If I can get this mess untangled, holy moly. I, you know, there's got to be a better system for these things. I, I got to figure out some way to store them better. Hi, Cindy's Thrifting again. Welcome. I'm so glad you've joined us. And yes, they do look awesome. I have too many collections. We all do Picasso Cat. Believe me, I totally get that. We all collect so many different things. I love when people are in the chat saying, what do you collect? And someone says, well, everything. <laughs> that about sums it up, man. I love vintage advertising, and I'm a sucker for the graphics, as I've said. So anything with a good graphic, man, oh, I can't pass up. It makes my heart happy. <laughs> okay, so we got this lantern going on. I'm going to put it up here. We're going to do two of ranch, I think. And I might do more eventually as I get them. 
Now, I do have two other shiny brights, and I'm going to show these, and I'll put them on the tree. Ooh, let's see. I'm reaching over, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, I have this. Now, I don't know. This is shiny bright Germany, so it is German. Hello, light. Can you focus? Thank you. And this is really beautiful. It is like the striped ball. Now, I don't know if they added this, like, snow effect after or if it's, that's how it came. It kind of looks like there's glue on it. You know, it doesn't look like that was done originally, but it is still beautiful. It's got its Made in Germany shiny bright top, and, man, it is just awesome. Let's see what is on here. In the chat, I'm missing some things. You need silver hooks next year. Green hooks are for green trees. Yes, I do. Well, I thought I had a whole bunch of silver hooks. And you know what? I could probably steal them out of some of the ornament hook boxes that I've collected. I'll show you guys in just a second my other Christmas display that I've started working on because it's really cool. So let's put this one up high. I think that it's going to look really good right here. Okay. Let's get that going. Well, I don't know. That one needs to go up higher so it actually hangs. Yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Jenny. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I'm not afraid of putting a nail on the wall. If you like to hang it, life is too short. My walls are full of things I like. Randy, I am with you. I do not mind putting things on the wall, and my wall has tons of stuff. I like to fill the wall up and just enjoy looking at it. That's just some of my favorite. All my vintage ornaments are in the shed. If anyone still has Facebook, I'll send you pics. Yes, Don, I am still on Facebook. I don't check it that often, but I'll look for you. I collect vintage snowmen, but not frosty. Vintage red pixies, fairies, not all, but most resin stuff. Black cats and vintage Halloween. Yes, I love the vintage Halloween. That sounds awesome, Nancy. And the tree is looking amazing. When you are done, can you put up... Can you put on your Xmas records and snuggle up with hot cocoa or just look at it? Yes, I can. And I've got some amazing vintage records I can't wait to show you. Yes, I'm glad you like that one, Kelly. That one's beautiful. And let me show you my favorite ornament. Of course, Vinny's going to ask if I've got any blue balls. <laughs> Oh, Vinny, keeping it fun in the chat. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to take you off the ornament box, but that's okay because I'll give you an in-close look at the tree. Holy moly, look at this vintage goodness. Oh, my gosh, this is amazing. Okay, I'm going to take you off the tree. Off the tree? You're not an ornament. Holy moly, get back on the tree, ornament. I'm talking about getting you off the box of ornaments. Wow. Okay, let me get you in and show you some of my favorites. So I should have done this uh, before the live, but it just didn't occur to me, <laughs> which would have been great if I would have thought of this. So let me take you off, and then I'll show you my very favorite ornament. Now, I tried to read the ornament itself. Now, I've had this since I was a little kid, and it's always been my very favorite. And I've been very, very protective of it. I have not let anything happen to this ornament. And now I have it. Oops, you're going for a little bit of a ride. Sorry about that, folks. Let me get you set back down on this so that you guys can see the tree and me. Okay, this is my very favorite. Now, I think that this is Polish. But we have had this ornament since I was a kid. And it is my very, very favorite ornament in the entire world. Look at the colors on this. Is this not just the most magical thing you have ever seen? It is amazing. So this is going to go on the tree. And I'm very excited about it. Oh, it's swirly stripes. I like that. Yes, you had that one, Southern Buckeye? How cool is that? It was your mom's. Yes. And always the way you think it after the fact. Uh, Venny's saying, make sure those hookers keep, 
keep those dangly balls and oddly shaped ornaments from getting damaged. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm dying over here. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. Okay, I'm gonna start <laughs> start laughing, crying. Holy moly. <laughs> Polly says looks like stained glass. Yes, it does. Isn't it beautiful though? It does look like stained glass. I mean, it's just really gorgeous. I love this. So the, of course this is going on the shiny bright tree. Uh, beautiful. Yes, it is. It's just gorgeous. Uh, tell him those walls will be there long after he's gone. Yes, Paulie's projects. If you if you are not able to hang stuff, uh, just say, hey, I'm going to hang it and put it on the wall because I like it. <laughs> uh, you might as well surround yourself, yes, with things that that make you happy because at the end of the day, life's too short to worry about some darn holes in the wall is how I feel about it. You know, like I, I probably will be in this apartment for a long time. I love where I live, but if I ever move, you know what? They can putty the holes. It's not that big a deal. I love, love, love putting things in, in my apartment, surrounding things that make me happy and make me smile because life is too short, right? Wowza, check out that ornament. Yes, I've never seen one with so many colors. And Joni at Vintageous had a whole set of these the other day. And I tried to get them, but I couldn't because my chat froze. But this is just gorgeous. And I think that they are oh, Polish. Vinny, yes, definitely reminds you of a beach ball. Is that what Vinny was saying? Let's see. Uh, Katie will always protect her balls. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> yes, Trisha, I will, because these are my precious, uh, shiny, bright children, in a way. I love shiny brights, and they are going to be the most protected things in my entire house. Because you know what? When when uh, Thrift You said the other night that if you just look at a shiny bright the wrong way, it breaks, they are 100% right. These things are so gosh darn finicky. <laughs> Oh, yes. Uh, Trisha, everybody's laughing at Trisha. Uh, hello. Love the tree. I remember the aluminum well. My mom would put them up. Yes, 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 yes. They are so magical. My boyfriend sent me 12 days of Christmas ornament box. If anybody is interested, going to show them. Yes, I am interested, Dawn. You got to share those. Uh, let's. You have to let us see how the light looks with the tree. Well, Susan, I can do that. She loves her shiny color of her balls. I do, Vinny. <laughs> oh, boy. Vinny, I'll message you something I was thinking when I said that. <laughs> uh, that looks beautiful. Yes, cool bulbs. So let me get this one up on the tree now. I am very protective of this ornament. Like, I'm almost afraid every year to put it on the tree. But then, like, my motto is that it's too, life is too short. And you might as well enjoy it. You know, there's a poem about that. Uh, I think the lady was, um, you know, going through some stuff. And she said, you know, something about I wish I had. Like, I wish I had used the candles just once and gotten out the good dishes and the good china. I wish I had done all this stuff, basically, at the end of her life. And I just think that's so true. You gotta, gotta love the ornaments. And you might as well just enjoy them. So... I'm going to give it a place of honor right here, I think, it is so beautiful and so perfect. A wide variety of colors. Yes, lots of colors on the tree. I like things that are colorful and shiny and happy. You know, that's what we all need right now. Your antiques are friends that make your house a home. Yes, they are. They are your friends. I walk by uh, every day in my door. I've got a Mr. Planter peanut jar from the 30s that was belonged to my uh, great-grandfather's cousin. And I look at that every day, and it makes me smile. I'm like, I, I don't know. This might make me sound crazy. But you guys ever talk to your, your items or, like, your dog? I walk by, and I'm like, hi, Mr. Peanut Man. How you doing today? <laughs> it just makes me happy. And, and Venny sent me a, a Mr. Peanut cup, and it just I, I love it. I put it next to the jar, and I got my two Mr. Peanut things, and they're so happy, you know. It just makes you smile. So I'm going to put some more ornaments on. I'm going to hang on with you guys. Now, I want to show you. I have a whole set of these, and these were my grandmother's, and she got these, and now I have them, and they're beautiful. And I don't know, I think it will look good on the shiny, the 
shiny, I keep wanting to say shiny white tree, aluminum tree. So these are Fabergé eggs. Yes, Fabergé eggs. And they are just gorgeous. I have a whole set of them. I probably have about 12 of them. But I think they would just look gorgeous on the tree, especially with the light. So I'm going to hang some of these up. <laughs> and I think they're going to be really beautiful. <laughs> Venny. Katie, you should go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls and get a soft tree skirt. That way, if one falls off, it will fall on a surf sur soft surface. Yes, Benny, that's what I need to do. That way, nothing breaks. Because that is my biggest fear, is like something's going to happen. This will topple over in the night. I don't know. I'm just a, a worry word about that stuff. Yes, it is beautiful. Oh, shiny. Yes, it is. Holy moly. Those will be so sparkly with the light. Yes, so I've got... I think about 12 of these, and they are just gorgeous. Fabergé eggs. My my grandmother, she was awesome. She loved ornaments, and she would get ornaments every year. Let me see. I've got another one right here. Oh, hey, I forgot. I had another shiny bright, you guys. Whoa, how could I miss this guy? I also have, oh, boy. Okay. Can you guys still hear okay with the microphone being like it is? Hopefully that didn't just give you a big burst of thudding in your ear. She collected Spode, too. She loves Spode, and so I, I'm lucky. I have all of her Spode dishes. And um, here is this little bell. It's a Spode bell. And it does ring, and it's got the spode. It's got the clapper on the inside, and then it's got spode. So this is really beautiful. And I'm going to hang the last ornament up that's shiny bright. And i got to cut off this red string because that just doesn't look very good, I don't think. So I'll cut that off. How could I forget that I had one more of these? This is just beautiful, this one here. And this little top just came off. See, I tell you, you look at them the wrong way and something happens. But I've got this one, too, which is a really beautiful ornament. So I'll hang that up. Let's see. Uh, wow. Those are expensive, Katie. Yes, my my grandmother collected. She was, she was wonderful. She collected Spode, and she collected... Uh, not much of Fabergé. We, we just have the, the eggs. But my grandmother was under the impression that if you buy quality things, they will last. And she was really big into buying quality. And I really think that's so true. So she was really great at buying really good quality dishware and china and things. And we are so fortunate to have that because I tell you, it really has lasted. The spode that I have. She probably got that back in the 50s, and it looks like it was never out of the box. And I've used it every Christmas since I've had the wonderful pleasure of having it. I drink hot chocolate out of the Spode mugs. I mean, you know, hey, this stuff is just amazing when you buy good quality. It really does last. So I'm going to put this on this side of the tree. Oh, yeah, that's perfect right there. Okay. Now, I'm getting used to putting these on so that they don't break. Okay, so let's put on some of the Fabergé eggs. Oh, uh, by Tammy, Vintage Uprising, Texas, no worries. And last time we had a real tree, a long time ago, when I lived with my parents, uh, our cats kept climbing up the tree and knocking the whole thing over. It was a nine-foot tree, and he broke so many ornaments. Jamie, I have a story for you. When I was uh, younger, we had a Christmas tree. My mom would go get one from a local uh, school that did Christmas trees, and we'd always go support the school. And we got this Christmas tree one year, and our stand just decided to give out. I don't know what happened, but I was sitting in the living room one morning, and I saw, you know how you see something out of the corner of your eye, but you can't react fast enough? I saw the whole tree just go whomp and thud it hit the floor now luckily all of our favorite ornaments did not break we were really fortunate because i would have been sad if this ornament broke i would have just died but uh we were so lucky but so many ornaments got broken i mean it was really really a tough time when that happened so yes uh night to everybody that's heading out 
I know it's getting late. I'm so glad you're still with me. Oh, no, not a 65-inch TV. Holy moly. That's awful. I'm dying for pizza right now. I don't know why. Like the cheap Totino's pizza. You know what I love, Carrie? Um, that sounds so good. I love Red Baron's pizza. Just the inexpensive $2 pizza you get from the Publix or the grocery store. Those are so good. Yes. Ornaments on the back of the tree. Yes, I always put ornaments on the back. I deck the whole tree out. But when we had a tree at my mom's house um, one year after we got our dog, and he was a puppy, my mom's rescue dog, Riley, we stopped decorating from about here on down. So the lower part of the tree had no ornament, so we wouldn't eat it. But now with having this on my counter, I don't have to worry about Louie, so I'm going to deck the tree out. You better believe it. We always tied our tree to windowsills. Really? That's clever. Oh, yes. We had a big Red Baron pizza fans in this house. I am, too. Their crust is just really crunchy, and they have the best cheese. I'm a big cheese eater, man. I got tons of cheese in my refrigerator. We like Red Baron, too. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Some people don't care for it, but I love it. So I'm going to take you guys off, again, the ornament box. Here's what I need to do is get the rest of the ornaments out of this box and then set you guys on top. So let me do this. You guys can get a little tour of my kitchen here while I'm doing this. I'm going to plop that on the floor. And we're going to take out this box. Now, these are not breakable, the ones in the top. These are just plain old, plain old ornaments. And probably these won't make it on my tree this year. So I probably won't do those. Because, like, you know, I have some things that people have given me. Like, I've got this, um, ooh, boy, boy, uh, Coca-Cola polar bear. He probably won't make it on, but I'll set him somewhere. And uh, I've got like a Coke bottle that I got from somebody one year, Coke bottle and other things like that. But the, the real breakable ones are on the bottom. So I'm going to sh pull out a few others. Like I've got this little Linux bunny here. He was my grandmother's. But I think what I'll do is on the shiny bright tree, shiny bright tree, aluminum tree, I only am going to put shiny ornaments. So um, we've got that. That's one of my favorites. This is one that I made. I took a workshop uh, class at our local woodcraft to make ornaments. And I made this at, with my grandfather at that workshop. So I haven't put that up on the tree, but I can do that. Uh, oh, I love this. This is phenomenal. This is a little carousel ornament. I believe this is Christopher Radko that my grandmother gave me years ago. So I've got that one that's really beautiful. And uh, let's see what's in this. More, oh, <laughs> I got this. Um, my friend, I got the matching one for her last year. We both love oysters. So we each got a little matching oyster ornament for our tree. So I've got that one. That's kind of fun and different. And I'm looking for more of these eggs. I've got all of these eggs in here. Um, I wonder if I can set you down. Let me see if I can set you down, guys, right here. Hi, Patrick. For If you're just joining us, welcome. Oh, I don't know about this. You guys are going on a ride with me, and I'm sorry about that. I should have gotten these ornaments out earlier. So let me just pull a couple out so that we can finish decorating. Um, I don't want to put any on the tree that aren't shiny. Oh, and I have this one. Now, this is not vintage, but look how pretty this is. It's a leaf. It's a gold leaf. And it's just really beautiful. My grandmother got that for, for me a while ago. And I've got more of these Fabergé eggs. Look at them. Aren't they just beautiful? These are just spectacular. They're going to look great on the tree. I've got probably, I think, 12 of those. And, huh, 
So when I first moved into my own apartment, this was the first ornament that I got from my tree. I went to Target because I didn't have any ornaments, and I got these in their dollar section. <laughs> these little pine cones. I don't know why I've kept them all these years because I never put them on the tree, but I guess they're kind of sentimental. I also got these uh, red and green jingle bells. <laughs> so I got those. And oh, here's a little Louie's ornament. Louie, Louie for her first Christmas got a little Louie ornament. There's Louie's ornament with her name on it. I bought that at a, at a craft show. And uh, yeah, I think, let's see what else is, oh, this is the tragedy that happened last year. My grandmother got me this beautiful Christopher Radko ornament. It's a gumball machine. And as you can see, the bottom broke off. So that's unfortunate. It had an oopsie doopsie last year. So I still have it. I don't know why it, it's still around. I mean, you know, it broke, but that's unfortunate. Okay, let's see. Now for Patrick, Patrick might like this because I just saw that he jumped into the chat. I have a Delft egg. And I won't put this on the, sh the aluminum tree, but it's just pretty. This Delft egg here. Can you guys see that Delft egg? It's really gorgeous. And it's all porcelain. And I've got a little, um, this is, it's from, oh, oh, this is so sweet. This is from Ann and Ed Callender. That's my cousins from 1985. And this is, a uh, little, you know, bunny ornament, bunny rabbit, probably from Peter Rabbit, I'm guessing. But look at that from Ann and Ed Calendar. And uh, I mean, I've got gums of ornaments in here that I haven't seen in a while. Let's see what else. Oh, <laughs> I also got a little Brussels sprout. <laughs> Simply because I like to cook and Brussels sprouts are my favorite, roasted Brussels sprouts. So someone gave that to me one year uh, just because they know I like the Brussels sprouts. And, and of course, I love a good hot dog. So this is kind of whimsical and fun, but yes, I have a hot dog ornament <laughs> that's shiny. I do. I've got a shiny hot dog. What else? Is, oh, hey, I found the other Snoopy. Okay, guys, this is made in Japan. I've got several of these I showed, but this is the Snoopy. I've got a whole set of these made in Japan peanut ornaments, and this is the one with the tennis racket. My grandfather played golf and tennis, and those probably won't make it on the aluminum tree, but they're beautiful, and I'll put them someplace. I have lots of Coca-Cola cola ornaments. Let's see what this is. Oh, yay. Okay, these are what I'm looking for. Fabergé eggs to go on the tree because I think those will be really pretty. So we're going to add those. Oh, and looky here what I found. Now, my grandmother got this for me, and this is a vintage typewriter. Well, it's modeled after the old royal typewriters, and this is going to be really great. Look at that. So that's fun. So I've got that. So, okay, we've got some good ones here. Let's see what's happening in the chat. I'm missing some things here. <laughs> oh, Vinny. <laughs> okay, let me go back up a little bit. The egg is beautiful. Yes, it is. I, I love that egg, Patrick, so much. Let me move you guys up so you can still see the tree. Um, you never forget your first Christmas decorations. You don't. That's so true. Maggie! Hi, Maggie! Oh, my goodness, you guys. This is my good friend, Maggie. I haven't seen you and talked to you in a long time. Oh, my goodness. It's so glad to see you. Just popped on YouTube. So happy to see you live. Such a wholesome video. <laughs> Well, uh, Maggie, I'm so glad you're here. Oh, my goodness. Yay. I'm so glad you've joined us. I'm sorry, guys, to get excited. I just haven't gotten a chance to talk to Maggie since the pandemic. So this is just exciting for me. Uh, Katie has different clocks on the wall. What are the times? 
Melissa, yes, I have different clocks and I have New York, I have Paris and I have London and I will be adding a New Zealand clock in honor of Nate. So we're going to have Auckland, New Zealand. Uh, I just haven't had a chance to hang it on the wall. I love unpacking ornaments and remembering something about each one. Special memories. Yes, my most of my ornaments are from Dollar Tree. Nothing wrong with that. You know, if you like them, you like them. And Donner, Dollar Tree does have some great ornaments. That can be your pickle. Oh yeah, the hot dog. Wouldn't that be great for the for the pickle tradition? We've got the <laughs> hot dog. I I love the the hot dog ornament. I don't know. It's just sort of whimsical. Yummy Brussels sprouts. <laughs> yeah, you know, not everybody likes Brussels sprouts, but I do. But you got to roast them. I roast mine with blue cheese and bacon, and I do the whole bit. I'd want to throw up every time I looked at your tree. Brussels sprouts. <laughs> well, Patrick, we both, are, that's funny you say that because you don't like Brussels sprouts and you don't like green bean casserole. And I love both of those things. So that's kind of funny. <laughs> we, we have things that uh, we like that we, you know what I mean? You know, you have things that uh, I'm sure that I don't care for. And then I have things that I like that you don't care for. Anyway, uh, yes, lavish mango. Dollar Tree is some amazing ornaments. Very Chicago, a hot dog ornament. Yes, it is a Chicago dog. <laughs> uh, Diane, I was thinking the same thing. Depends on what hot what's on the hot dog, Angela. Yes, I take mine for all of you guys that don't know, with mustard, ketchup, and I love sauerkraut, big sauerkraut fan in this house. Uh, that is one of my other collections. I want all of the Snoopy stuff. Yes, I love Snoopy. Ketchup. Oh, you don't like ketchup, Angela? Yeah, I only like just a little bit of ketchup. And Vinny, <laughs> we're all laughing at Vinny's comment. Vinny's really funny. I know, Vinny keeps us all laughing. Uh, today's Dollar Tree ornaments will someday be the vintage ornaments people are looking for. Hey, that's probably true, Nancy, because stuff does come around. Fun, a New Zealand clock. Yes, I will be adding one in honor of our sweet Nate. Of course, Nate is so wonderful. Uh, Shiny Bright was sold at Woolworths. Yes, I love uh, vintage Woolworths stuff. So let's see. I only like Brussels sprouts roasted. Yeah, that's how I do my Brussels sprouts. I roast them and they're really crunchy and good. Patrick, ready for another shipment to New Zealand? <laughs> Patrick ships a lot of stuff, including lots of breakables to California. Me too, Katie. Delicious. I'm making you guys hungry. Well, hopefully you guys are settled in with some popcorn to munch on. Angela, did you see the videos of him opening the plate? That was so sweet. I know uh, that was so wonderful, Patrick. I just, I thought that was delightful. I'll do that. I'll have to put it up first. Yes, Patrick, it was awesome. Susan, I love the sauerkraut too. It's made locally in my area. Oh, good. I love being green, being green. <laughs> I love being green. So tonight on the live, I have coined two new phrases, apparently. Being green, and then apparently my dog ate the real baby Jesus. <laughs> so I have a real way with words, don't I? Oh. <laughs> uh, I like hot dogs. Yes, I love a good hot dog. I got to say, nothing like going to the ballpark and getting one of those dogs. And I know people say, oh, something's in them. Well, yeah, I'm sure something's terrible in them. But you know what? I love a good hot dog. Sue me, right? Okay, so let's get on to the decorating of the tree because that's what you all are here for. And I'm going to pull out a few more special ornaments and then we'll add those to the tree. I know that I've got more of those beautiful eggs that you guys seem to really like. And, oh, I've got Peter Rabbit right here. Here's Peter Rabbit. We love Peter Rabbit. My mom always read Peter Rabbit to us. So I've got that. Oh, and then I've got the sheet. Now I have a set of two of these because I love sheep. I'm a big sheep gal. And these are wool sheep from Ireland that my grandmother brought back when she visited there. And so these, this one's the black sheep, like Baba black sheep. And then we have the white wool. So I've got two of these guys. So they're there. And then let me see what else is in the box. There's lots. Oh good, I found another egg. 
Oh, and this one's gorgeous. You're gonna love this guy. So here's the other egg. I found another Fabergé egg that's just beautiful. And then, let's see, let me show you this one. Uh, oh boy, I'm dropping things here and I don't want Louie to eat it. This is, I, I think my grandmother got this from Saks Fifth Avenue when she was in New York. And look at this. This is just gorgeous. It's like this kind of starburst uh, ornament here. And there's the Saks tag. It's really beautiful. So we've got that. And, um, okay, I think, I know there's more egg ornaments, guys. I just can't find them uh, right at the moment, but they're here. There's just so much in this box that, are, that is wrapped up. Oh, and I have a Paris ornament. I've got a little Eiffel Tower. And I know I have somewhere, I've got, yeah, here it is. I've got the Statue of Liberty, too. I have Statue of Liberty. So I've got a little travel theme going. And, ah, I found another egg. Good, we need the eggs. Oh, and I got, I, I've had this forever. I found this in my grandmother's box of ornaments. This, and someone was just selling this on their life tonight. I think it was Pamela. Here's another egg that we all know and love. And then look here, I've got Wedgwood. So this is a Wedgwood tree ornament with the blue jasper ware with the white. So that's gonna be really lovely somewhere. Um, may not put it on the aluminum tree, but we'll see. And then I know I'm missing some chat. So let me just grab a few more ornaments out of the box here so that we can get decorating on the tree. I think, I think I've got all the egg ornaments. Oh, and <laughs> I've got this too. I'll show that in just a second. Um, well, oh yeah, these are beautiful. Okay, let me show this. You guys are gonna love this. And let me see, I think, okay, I've got all the egg ornaments now. Then I can find, there are more, but at the moment I can't find that. So let me set you guys back up where you were so you can see the beautiful tree for all of you guys, because that's what you're here for, right? Not me, you're here for the tree. So let me set this up where you guys can see me in the tree. Can you guys see that okay? Good. Let me see what the chatter is down in the comments. Uh, let's see. I sent Nate a picture of the Wedgwood ornament from Pam's sale. You did, Angela? Oh, that's fun. That blue piece was the only part of Miss Pamela's sale I got to see. Yes. Um, Patrick says, I'm struggling to watch to still get ready for my sale tomorrow. Yes, Patrick is having a sale uh, in the morning at 11 a.m. with a live from the Rustic Fox Antique Mall. So that's going to be really awesome. Uh, my IG name is different. It's the same, but it's different. So it's vintage underscore, excuse me, vintage underscore and underscore vinyl. That's it. Vintage underscore and underscore vinyl. Yes, that's right, Patrick. Aaron only lives a few towns from me. Really, Melissa? So you're in Canada too. That's awesome. Hi, Superior Girl Vintage. Welcome, Rachel. I'm glad you're here. I had to go get a cup of tea and do the dishes while waiting for the water to boil. I need to pack and do emails to clear my desk for Thursday's live sale. No worries, Nancy. Uh, good luck with all of that. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, need to do st to stream garland on your ceiling and hang your ornaments like that. Uh, little tree you have going to hold. Is it going to hold? No, it's not, Randy. I'm just um, probably not going to put all the ornaments I normally do on. Katie, you are a gem, and we are only half here for the tree. The other half is for you. Oh, thank you guys so much. We're making buttons that say Katie's dog killed the real baby Jesus. Oh, Lord have mercy. I know that came out wrong. I'm glad I realized it when I said it. <laughs> the chat has been fun. Okay, glad. I'm so glad, you guys. 
the, tr the tree looks great, but I've enjoyed hearing your stories and seeing you unpack your ornaments. Good, Susan. Hey, I hope so. You know, I try to, to tell stories. And here's another story I've got for you. I got one for my dad and one for myself. This is just a Target ornament. Ooh, Lord have mercy. We got to make sure nothing falls on the floor over here. Uh, that's not going to be good. All right, hang on. Okay, here we go. So let me show you this ornament. I got one for my dad and one for myself. It says Merry Christmas, and it's got the crossword puzzle on it. Now, why did I get a crossword puzzle? Well, because my dad would sit with me all the time growing up and do we would do crosswords together. And when I was really little, he would put me on my on his lap and he would hold the paper and uh, I'd get to write in the letters on the crossword puzzle. And we always had the best time doing that. So I got this crossword puzzle in honor of that. And then, of course, also related to my dad is when I was really little, he had the best Christmas lights in his apartment. He had uh, peppers as Christmas lights, like real peppers. Well, not real, but they were. Okay, so now we've got the, my dog ate the real baby Jesus. And we've got, my dad had real peppers for lights. Holy moly, Katie. <laughs> We had a heck of a night. So this is a pepper ornament in honor of my dad because he had those really cool pepper lights. So I've got this really cool pepper. And uh, I also have, again, I'll show this one because it didn't show up very well, but this Wedgwood ornament here. Wedgwood ornament with the Wedgwood made in England on the back. And for all of you guys who are looking for Wedgwood. Wedgwood is not spelled with an E. I always thought it was spelled with an E, but it's not. So true Wedgwood pieces will be marked Wedgwood without the E, and it will always be marked Made in England. So that's a little Wedgwood tip for you guys. Katie, Misty said she taped the tree to the table when she displayed it and covered the tape with a tablecloth. Oh, okay. That's so perfect, Christy. Thanks for letting me know that. Yes, Patrick's sale is at 11 a.m. Eastern tomorrow. I can't wait to have an aluminum tree. I hope you get one soon. I, and I have something for you, Rachel. I can't wait to get it out in the mail. I hope to get it out Monday. I think you're really going to like it. It's some vintage Christmas that I think you're just going to love. Aw, crossword puzzles make me think of my grandma. Yes, I know. So many wonderful things. I have so many ornaments. I don't think I can fit them all on a full-size tree unless it was huge. That's right. Tape the base to the counter. I'm going to be doing that, y'all. You better believe it. I will be making sure this tree ain't going anywhere. <laughs> yes, it was neat when I buy something from her sale. I didn't have to pay shipping. She had come into Ottawa and was just down the street from my hubby. So my hubby picked the bag up of goodies. Oh, that's so perfect, Melissa. Okay, so let me put some of these ornaments on. I'm going to rotate the tree. But we're going to be real careful because I don't want a thing to happen to this beauty. Not a darn thing. And I do not like that it's leaning a little bit. So we are going to be extra careful, you guys. Don't you worry about this. This is not, oh boy. Okay. It is not going anywhere. I'm going to, I'm going to lock this baby down to the counter. Ooh. Okay. Here we go. We're going to rotate. Uh oh. I don't like that this is leaning. I got to work on this, you guys, first before we do anything else. Because that this tree it is starting to lean a bit. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Hang on. Let me get this secured, guys, so it doesn't go anywhere. Stay with me. <laughs> Whoops. We're going to have a, okay, there we go. I think it's, it's all sturdy again. Yep. Okay. We're all good. I, I put, uh, I'm going to put some more of this bubble wrap down there. So for all of you guys that are wondering, this aluminum tree did not come with the original stand. So I'm using a Christmas tree stand that's actually uh, for real live Christmas trees. So that's why I'm just doing a little bit of extra security so that it doesn't go anywhere. So we're just making sure that it's nice and sturdy because I don't want anything to happen. 
to it. So we're just, I'm just going to add a little bit extra padding down there, like a lot of you guys suggested, so that it's real nice and sturdy, because I don't want anything to happen to it. Yep. Tape, tape, tape. Everybody's saying tape. I'm holding my breath. Yikes. It's making me nervous. I know. I was like, oh, no. What's going on here? But we got it. It's not going anywhere. See, guys? Uh, let me move you. Whoops. It's nice and secure. Like, it's not going anywhere. It's fine. So believe me, I'm being extra careful with this puppy. You better believe it. <laughs> I am not letting anything happen. So we got this all shirt up at the bottom. Yeah, this is nice and sturdy. I don't think that it's going anywhere. Yep, nice and together. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so we are good to go. Now, I've got these. These are the beautiful egg ornaments you guys seem to be uh, loving. Yes, Louie seems to not mind. Let me show you guys, Louie. Oh, hey, Maggie. Uh, I said hello to you. Good night, Katie. I love the stream. Thank you so much. Love to you, Maggie. We will talk again soon, and we got to get the group together for a Zoom chat at some point. We really do. Uh, I miss you guys so much. We'll, we'll talk again soon. For all of you guys that don't know, that's my Jacksonville friend, and we like to have uh, dinner parties, but we can't because of the pandemic, so I'm so glad she jumped on. I haven't gotten to talk to her in a while. Okay, Thrift You was in the evening. Katie made comments that I could do a live sale on Wednesday, but there is no way I would be ready this week. Okay, Nancy, I understand, but any week, that you want to do uh, Wednesday sales in the month of December because Thrift U is not going to do uh, Wednesday December sales. I think they're only doing Sunday sales. Just let us know. Angela Marksberry and I can go later. We don't even have to go on on Wednesday. The only reason we started doing that was as a way to really uh, fill the time between Thrift U and the other stuff that was happening. So if you want to go live, Nancy, just let me know. That's no problem. Uh, night, Maggie. Yes, yes, yes. Miss you more. Oh, yes. Miss you, Maggie. So, so much. Uh, Katie, just be grateful you don't have a cat. Oh, I know, Tia Fane. My brother got a cat named Clyde, and I took care of him for a little while while my brother was out of town. And all of my friends were saying, well, doesn't uh, Clyde come over and stay at your house so you don't have to go over to your brother's house? And I, and I, I love Clyde so much. He's the best cat in the world. But I thought, Clyde with all of my vintage and antique glass? I don't think so. That might not be a very good idea. So, yes, I'm, I'm grateful that uh, I have Louie because she can't get on the counter. So let me show you Louie because I think Patrick is wanting to see Louie. She is asleep right now. This isn't going to work very well. So for all of you guys that get a little dizzy, I'm so sorry about this. But Louie's on the couch. See, she's taking a nap. Hi, Louie. <laughs> she just looked up. She's finally settled down for the evening. Here's the aluminum tree. So there's all of it and all of its glory. And then down here, so this is what we've got down at the bottom. So see, I've had to kind of shimmy this a little bit because I don't. It's made for a real Christmas tree. So I don't want it to, you know, wiggle and wobble. So see, it's very secure now. See how I'm moving it and it's not going anywhere. So I've shoved the bubble wrap in it like you guys suggested. So I did that and it's really nice and secure. So I don't have to worry about that. And I'll set you guys back up so we can put more ornaments on. What a cutie. Yes, I know. She's precious. I used to have three cats, and when they were young, they destroyed every lamp and house plant I had. Oh, no, Tia Payne. Uh, yes, Louie's adorable. I have two cats, two little kids in a live earthquake land, live in earthquake land, yet my house is filled to the brim with breakables. I live my life dangerously. Yes, you do, Jamie. Kids, uh, especially, and then cats, but your cat, Oliver, I think it's Oliver, right? Oliver is so adorable, and that little stuffed cat that you got looks like Oliver, and that was hilarious, that video you posted. Hilarious cat story. Cat sitting, granddaughter's cat, and she pulled out of the central air vent and got into the duct system. 
Oh no, Diane, I saw a cat the other day on Instagram that had gotten into a wall, like behind the drywall. They had clawed their way through the drywall and got stuck back there. And they actually had to call the fire department to get the poor cat out. Luckily he was okay, but I was like, oh my gosh. So we're gonna put on the Fabergé eggs. And oh, see, I just have, a lot over here, and I gotta be careful. I don't want any of y'all cringing in the chat, going, oh no, we don't want something to break. And we don't. But there's the Fabergé egg. And I'm gonna put on my favorite ornament, one of my favorites that's a figural ornament. This is a London telephone booth. Now I love all things British. I love to travel. And my mom brought this back when she was in college studying in London at an overseas study program that her school had. So this has been in our family for a long time. And I'm going to hang this in a place of honor on the tree because it's so, so special to me. I love the telephone booth ornament. It is just wonderful. And I think we'll also do this ornament as well. So we'll do the carousel ornament. Now, this carousel ornament is special because, like I said, my grandmother gave it to me. But also, when I was a kid, there was a carousel in St. Augustine. It's not there anymore. In fact, this year, they just took it down because the guy that owned it passed away. But he, he would give free rides to all the children that came through the area with a disability. And it was the best carousel, and they had a horse named Petey. And Petey was my horse. That's what I named him. I would ride Petey when I was a kid. All the time we'd go down there. And uh, one night a drunk driver hit Petey, crashed through and destroyed this like a hundred year old carousel. And the guy knew how much it meant to me because I would go down there all the time to ride Petey and he restored Petey. And he actually found, my, found out how to reach me and called me when he restored this horse, which took months and months because you actually have to get the horses regulated by some sort of carousel board in Tallahassee somewhere before you can have an operating carousel. And he let me write my name on the horse, not my name, but the horse's name, Petey. And uh, that was on the carousel for years and years. So I would go visit Petey all the time. Even as an adult, I loved the carousel and Petey. So this is kind of in honor of Petey, this little carousel ornament. Bye, Picasso Cat. Are you heading out? I'm so sorry if I'm missing you. Uh, bye, Picasso Cat. This old lady just turned 62 today. Oh, happy birthday. I didn't know it was your birthday, Picasso Cat. I need to go to bed. I will catch up on your video tomorrow. I can't wait to see when your tree is done. Yes, it's going to be so fun. I am living vicariously through Katie. I have no place to put up a tree and I've not had one in the last five years since the last inheritance. Oh, Nancy, I know you, you got to get all of that sorted out first. I know, but we are all thinking about you and I'm so glad you can live vicariously through me. That's wonderful. I hope this all brings you lots of joy, even though we can't be physically together for Christmas maybe this year. Hopefully through the Christmas videos that you see here on YouTube, it will invoke some happiness and good memories and uh, bring lots of joy. I love trees and lights. I'll put it up tomorrow. Yes. Happy birthday, Picasso Cat. And uh, Kendrick Joe said, the short time I have been here, you have so many great memories. Relish that. Thank you, Kendra Joe. Yes, I, I like to, to share family stories. I think that's really important and special. And I, I have to say, I'm so blessed to have gotten to know a lot of my family and sat down and been able to listen to all of the stories that they've had to share. And the scary part is you guys are seeing what is left after the things went to the auction house. This is the little stuff they did not want to deal with. Oh my gosh, Nancy, I, I just can't imagine how that is. Uh, yes, hi, uh, happy birthday to Picasso Cat, and Christy Garza just had a birthday recently, so we are going to put on this little ornament here, and I know it's late. I can't believe it is 1.27 in the morning, and I've got 52 people still hanging out with me, so thank you guys so much, and, it's, and that's Eastern Standard Time for me, so I appreciate you guys. I'm just so caught up in the magic of the aluminum tree. I don't want to get off the live. So I'm going to put this ornament here on the tree. And 
Let's see, let's do another Fabergé egg. How about that? We'll, we'll do another beautiful egg here. And I'm gonna put that, I'll put that here. I kind of think of the, the Fabergé eggs, much like the shiny brights, need to be kind of scattered magically throughout the tree. So I'm gonna do another uh, Fabergé egg. I'm gonna put, I think this next to that gold bell. What do you guys think? I think that's gonna look really nice. Uh, oh, it's only 10 something where you are? Oh, good. I wanna see that many people that are alive tomorrow. Yes, Angela. <laughs> um, there is a carousel in, in the mall in Syracuse. I love going there before, cause, oh uh, yeah, before Rona. Uh-huh. I loved going to the carousel as a kid. It was just so magical to me. The horses, the music, the fun. I don't know. I always loved it. And I still do as an adult, you know? I just can't. Oh, I'm glad you love the copper collection. Oh, thank you, Christina. Yeah, so another egg going on. Let's see, where should I put this, guys? Um, I want these to be sort of spread out. You know, maybe we need to do one on the front of this tree, on the front side. So, like, I'll put one here. But I don't know. That may not stay there. We'll just see. I think that's kind of fun. You can play around. And, yes, I have to put my little pepper on the tree. And I know this is an aluminum Christmas tree. It's vintage. I'll, I'll add more uh, shiny bright. But... I just love these. And you gotta have some special ornaments along with the beautiful shiny brights, I think anyway. So we're gonna do this with the pepper in honor of my dad. And let's put this up here on the back. I don't know if you guys can see the back. You probably can't. I'm tall. I'm not very tall, so I am on my tiptoes already, <laughs> reaching the top of the tree. Oh yeah, that looks great. I like the colors. I really like the colors. I think that's fun. And uh, should I add the Brussels sprout? Let me know in the comments. Should I add the Brussels sprout? I know a lot of you guys are like, oh no, Brussels sprouts, but I gotta add that, I think. What are we saying in the chat here? How tall is your tree? Yes, my tree is five feet tall and I am on a counter. That's pretty high. So yes, uh, it's tall for me. Definitely, I still have my kids' homemade ornaments. Yes, so I have to, to share an ornament story with you. So my mom has all the ornaments we made as a kid, and I'll have to get one from her house at some point and bring it onto the live. But basically, it's an ornament that I glued those little plastic. I think, Angela, you were just showing these on your live. Those little plastic beads in the different colors. I glued that to the front and I, you know, dumped a bunch of glitter on it. I was age three when I made this ornament. And on the ornament, on the back of it, my mom glued a little segment about what I was into at age three. So here's what my mom said about me. She said, Katie likes to say that she needs many monies for her blue jeans. And then she says, I, I doctor, you sick. Let me give you memison. <laughs> so that's what I said. Little old three-year-old me. Apparently that's what I said at age three. And at age three, my brother likes, apparently liked at the time to walk around the neighborhood and look for extension cords. He was really into extension cords and, you know, like the whole construction thing that kids are fascinated with. And so apparently my mom would take us around the neighborhood just so we could count the extension cords in people's yards. <laughs> So that's fun from when we were a kid. Uh, yeah, you said only shiny. That's true, Lavish. This one's shiny. It's, it's, it's glittery. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, let's see. I want one of the rotating stands so badly. I know. Wouldn't those be magical? Definitely. I st okay, I read that comment. Uh, oh, you're from California. Yes to the Brussels sprout. Okay, so we got one vote for that. Christy says, yes, I love Brussels sprouts. Okay. So um, let's see. We've only got one vote, I think, against the Brussels sprouts. Your Brussels sprout can be your pickle. Yes, or the hot dog. 
what do you think about the hot dog? <laughs> should I should I go crazy and put the hot dog on my tree? I might have to. That might be a, in honor of vintage Vinny ornament. <laughs> Our tree was white paper. I need to find photos. It was from 1965. Had the color wheels and the stand. Played music and turned. Oh my gosh! You got to be kidding me, Patrick. That's amazing. Uh, I wish I would still make them as a family, but my teens are too cool now to do it. Yeah, you know, that's a, a thing that happens when your kids get older. You kind of grow out of those traditions, unfortunately, but they're fun when they're young, and it's good to remember that. Was the spinning musical stand white with sparkles, Patrick? So Misty at Drifter Junker Vintage Hunter has another aluminum tree. I don't know if she's going to be selling it or not. But it does rotate and spins and plays music, I think, which is pretty epic. Uh, we never had a pickle. Oh, yeah, I know. We never did the pickle thing either. We did the mice, the mouse thing. And I'll show you guys. This is the book that I'm going to be reading on my channel uh, November 14th. But this is Santa Mouse. This is what we did instead of the pickle was Santa Mouse. This is a wonderful story if you haven't read Santa Mouse, and I'll be reading it to you all and sharing more about my Santa Mouse experiences as a kid. Uh, we never, okay, yes, I saw that comment. I love the hot dog, so yes to it. Okay, Patrick, so we are going to put the hot dog up next, and the hot dog is shiny, so I think it goes with the whole shiny theme, but I really think that the ornaments need to be shiny on the tree. And I'm not going to load the tree too much because I don't want it to get too heavy. So I'm not going to put, I would not like put one of these Snoopy ornaments on it or anything. I'll just display those someplace else in my house. So we're going to put the hot dog ornament on. I think, um, let's see. Well, where should it go? What do you, I don't know where I want this to go. Let's see. Uh, maybe right here. This looks pretty perfect. This backside. We'll do the we'll do the hot dog ornament because why not? You know, it's whimsical and it's fun. And we'll go ahead and we'll do the last of the Fabergé eggs. Now I do have more of these somewhere. They're just in the box and I can't find them at the moment. I'm gonna have to get on something if I want to do the top of the tree. Uh, but it would look good up there. Let's see. Um, well, um, I want to, well, let's put it down here. We'll, we'll do it right here. I think that's kind of perfect. And then they'll be spread out, you know, they'll be, they'll be happy. And okay, we got some votes for the Brussels sprouts. So I'm going to go ahead and put the shiny Brussels sprout on the tree. And it's not going to show up as shiny, but it is. It's got sparkles on it. You can see it a little bit. So we'll put the Brussels sprout on. You know, it's whimsical. It's fun. We'll put it next to the pepper. Oh, I don't want to knock, any, knock anything over. So I'm being really careful. This tree is like my baby now, you know. It's like, whoo, I'm, I'm, I'm babying this thing. And then we'll do the typewriter because it's fun, right? Love a shiny typewriter. Got to put that on. Patrick, this one could be in honor of you because I was on your deep dive. You were the first um, any other channel that I was on. So this will be in honor of you and the typewriter ribbon deep dive. So I'll put this on the tree. Um, let, let's see where I want to put it. How about here? I think I'll put it here. And I do want to make sure that these branches are in there. You do have to really shove them in, as Vinny was saying. What would Vinny say? <laughs> ah, yes. What would Vinny say? All right. Making sure that the branches are in. There we go. You kind of have to make sure they're clicked in, like you hear them click. So that's what we're going to do. Um, that's not going to work out very well there. So I'm going to put it, I think, down here, and I'm going to do the same, just making sure that the branches are in there, because I don't want this to fall down. You know, that would be a real travesty if that happened. Okay, there, that's a good spot. Well, maybe, I don't know. I think it needs to go up higher. There, 
Okay, we're good. Now I think that's pretty good. And, and then I'll do this one. So we're kind of sticking with the food theme. Someone's saying that Brussels sprouts rock. Who said that? <laughs> Brussels sprouts rock. And I love the hot dog. So yes, do it, Christy was saying. <laughs> A pitiful story. Uh, one year, I didn't have the heart to decorate my tree. My daughter, who was four years old, filled the tree with construction paper and ornaments. I still can't. Oh, Kendra, what a sweet story. Oh my goodness, I love that. And I'm sorry that you were going through such a tough year that year, but that's so sweet. Patrick, I'm I'm sure very few survived. Yes, images, Patrick, if you could find one, we would love to see, to see that. Bobby Marcantonio, which by the way, Bobby, I love saying your name. Other people on other lives love saying your name. But yes, Bobby Marcantonio is a fun name to say. We got a pickle as a wedding gift 26 years ago. Oh my gosh, that's so much fun. Uh, I only heard about the pickle a few years ago. Yeah, I didn't know it was existed until my brother's girlfriend said that their family does it every year. And I didn't know that. Patrick saying, if I existed until the 90s when my parents moved, it wasn't very white by the end. Oh my gosh, Patrick, I can imagine. And that thing probably got pretty dirty. My daughter has an ornament making party every year for her kids and friends. How fun. I love that. Yeah, you'll cherish all those ornaments years later. And Patrick saying, Santa Mouse was an Advent book for the huckster heckler, but we never set anything out for him. Oh, yes, we always set cheese out. We actually would put cheese in the tree. And then the Santa Mouse would leave us little tiny, like small stocking stuffer type gifts. Let me um, move this so you guys can see the tree a little bit better. We never did Elf on the Shelf. Yes, my mom wasn't big on Elf on the Shelf because, and I'm not really either. She she didn't like the whole idea behind it. And we both kind of think that the Elf on the Shelf is a little creepy. I'm sorry if that's a tradition in your house and you like it, but I am just not the biggest fan. Um, so we, we, we never did that. No, I, and I probably was also too, um, I was in the older group of kids that didn't really have it. You know, now, ever nowadays, everybody does elf on the shelf. Yeah, it is. It's newer. So you didn't do that as a kid either. Um, that reminds me, I got to go move the dang thing. Yeah. You got to keep up with it. Well, I remember. So one time I went over to my cousin's house and they were little at the time, I think five or six maybe and they were showing me their elf on the shelf well i don't know a thing about elf on the shelf i mean i knew what the basic concept was but i didn't know that there were rules right so i said oh uh your elf on the shelf whatever its name was said that you've been very good this year and they said oh, elf on the shelf don't talk now you can't talk to them that's a no-no rule I didn't know. I mean, you know, I don't do Elf on the Shelf. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I love Elf on the, oh, LOL, Elf on the Shelf, yes. Um, I'm missing some chatter here, and I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry I hate Elf on the Shelf. Why is spying good? Now the Elf on the Shelf movie is awesome. Yeah, you know, it's the whole idea of that it's constantly watching you. And that if you're bad, which my mom never liked the word bad, she never would say that you were a bad kid. It was more that what you were doing, your action was wrong, right? My mom never liked that whole idea of saying you're a bad kid. You know, so my mom would just sit us down and talk to us and say, you know, what you're doing is wrong and here's why. And, you know, we were pretty good kids, I have to say. We we did shape up and... Um, you know, so that's why my mom and I really don't care for the elf on the shelf. But if you do it, there's nothing wrong with it. That's just, you know, my experience with it. Uh, yes, we still do elf on the shelf. We have a whole family. And she was <laughs> pregnant last year and gave birth to two twins. Now they are toddlers. Twinkle, Jack, Frost, Twinkle, and Jay. Well, see, that's fun. That's a really fun tradition. Um, hi, Joni from Vintageous. Welcome, welcome. And uh, I need to check to check out shopping. Wait a minute. I need to check you out shopping. That will be great. Oh, yes. Um, oh, boy. Kendra, she is truly amazing. Old soul, even at four years old. Oh, that's awesome, Kendra. That is so awesome. 
Uh, Elf on the Shelf is creepy. Yeah, see, I just, I can't get into that. I'm sorry. I, you know, I'm not saying anything bad about anyone that does that or that's their family tradition because there's nothing wrong with having a tradition that you guys love, but it's just not really for me. The Santa Mouse was much more fun, I think. Uh, oh, hey, isn't tonight St. Nicholas night or is that tomorrow? We didn't do that one, but you know there are gifts for that too. Yeah, St. Nicholas night. I forgot about that. That was something too that I think my mom did growing up. That was fun. We were always bad kids, Patrick says. Yeah, and there's a, a story when, when I was young. Hopefully, are there any kids watching? Well, maybe I'll save this story for another time because I doubt there will be kids up at one in the morning. But I, I um, well, let me just go ahead and tell it, I guess. So when we were little, uh, my, my brother and I got to the age where specifically more my brother, I think that we started to to stop believing that Santa existed, you know? And my dad really wanted us to hang on for at least another year. And my dad always told us that even if we weren't, uh, my dad lives in an apartment. So even if we weren't home, you know, with a fireplace, that Santa would still be able to find us. Like, and even if we celebrated Christmas, you know, like if we were at Christmas Day, for Christmas Day with our mom and then we visited our dad later, he would always say, well, you know, Santa can find you anytime. Like he'll find you even after Christmas because he travels everywhere. And we got to that age where we started to kind of maybe not believe, but dad wanted us to hang on. So he uh, decided one Christmas that it would be really fun if he could make us believe that Santa was, was real. So he said, okay, kids, we're going to go get in the car and we're going to drive to the neighboring town and we're going to go look at the Christmas tree lights or Christmas lights. And there was this neighboring town. He lived in uh, Charlotte at the time and they had the most amazing Christmas light display. So we got, we were getting in the car and he said, okay, guys, now look, look at the window. Are the lights turned off? We really got to make sure the lights are turned off on the deck. We don't want the lights to be on while we're gone. So, of course, you know, us kids are looking and we're like, oh, yeah, the lights are off, Dad, the lights are off. So we get in the car. We're gone probably for several hours looking at all the lights. And when we came back to the apartment, all of the lights on the deck were on and the Christmas tree was lit. And there's all these fun Christmas presents under the tree. That was the year that I got a guitar. And I just was so thrilled about that. Oh, I got a guitar. I could be like Dad and I could play the guitar. And so that was just so much fun. And I come to find out years later, my dad had my stepmom's father go over to the apartment after we were gone and set it all up like Santa had come. And so we really believed, oh, yeah, Santa had come because the lights were off before we left. And we knew that Santa had come that year. And that was just such big fun. I don't know where to find my link. I'm still learning. Oh, Christina, um, you're a moderator, so you can share your link. Let me show you guys that for anyone that wants to know. So you can go, here's my channel right here. See this little um, dot right here up at the top, the dot? If you click on the dot, you can hit the share button. Will that show up? Probably not because it's a phone, of course. Yeah, there it is, share. And you just hit share and then copy link. So copy link and then you can paste it right into the live chat. So, excuse me, but that's what you can do. And Christina, I believe you're a moderator. So you should, yes, be able to post it. And I see Angela saying that she posted. So thank, posted it. Thank you, Angela. Uh, my daughter still does it for the 14 and 11 year olds. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, we never had a fireplace. Santa came through the furnace. Luckily, I didn't know how the furnace worked when I was a kid. Oh, yeah, that wouldn't have been good, Patrick, if, if you found that out. When the huckster helper was little, we would lift the floor vent out of place to make it look like that's where he came in and out of. Oh, that's such a sweet story, Patrick. That's so much fun. Oh, nice story. <laughs> yes, very sweet. 
I love that. What a wonderful experience he gave you. Yeah, my dad really did. My dad and my mom, I have to say, and my grandparents too, everybody worked really hard to make sure we had special Christmases in our house. And Christmas is always going to be a really happy time. And even if I can't see family this year, I feel like I've got family through all of you here on YouTube. And it's so fun sharing these stories with you, bringing back all the fun memories I had as a kid. And of course, getting to decorate the tree with you. This really is the tree of my dreams. I mean, man, it is amazing. So I'll add a few more ornaments and stop my rambling here because I know you guys want to see more of the tree. And uh, if you guys have a way, let me know if you guys have a way to get rid of ornament hooks that are tangled. Like how... How do you store your ornament hooks? Let me know in the chat because this is a mess. And I am a very organized person, but this always happens to me every year. I, I just don't understand this. <laughs> it's such a mess. It's like playing Jenga, you know, pulling them out and hoping that they all don't fall to the floor. I think I explained how to do it a couple of lives ago. Oh, good. Oh, happy to be content. Yes, Patrick, you are family. Everybody here is family in my book. You guys are all a wonderful family. We have such a great little community here on YouTube. And everybody is so nice and wonderful and kind. And you guys make a little family for everybody. I love that. We all know each other's names. I've said this before, but we've all learned our first names. We're on a first name basis. We all know what we collect. We all talk about the same things. We know each other's dogs. We know what's happening in each other's lives. We're all thinking and praying for each other all the time. I mean, this is just the best community ever. You guys are so awesome. What a great, wonderful little uh, group of people we've created here. Hi, Christy. Oh, you're saying hello to Deanna. And I keep saying hello to you like you have not been here the whole time. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm sorry, Christy. You've been happily listening in and commenting for hours now. Thank you. When we were when we were on the farm for Christmas, my dad would put hay out for the reindeers. Yes, one Christmas, I was convinced that I heard reindeers. I was a little kid. I don't know, probably six maybe. And I was convinced that there were reindeer on the roof. I was just so sure of it that I had heard the reindeer. And we would leave out carrots for the reindeer and then, of course, cookies for Santa. We always did that. I leave the hooks on that have spare hooks. Oh, yeah, see, that's perfect. Yeah, I leave hooks on, too, but a lot of these I, I got... Not these so much, but I got the shiny brights, you know, over the year. So I don't have cooks, uh, hooks um, for these. So let's put this uh, oyster ornament on, because why not, you know? Nothing wrong with being a little whimsical and doing something a little different. <laughs> so we're going to put the oyster ornament on. We, we've got this assortment of food that's going on the aluminum Christmas tree. But you know what's fun about that? is you guys are a food-loving community. We all talk about how much we love cheese, right? I need a cheese ornament. I don't have one. But yes, we all have a little community here that loves food. So that's kind of going to be in honor of the community. Uh, let's see. I saw, I think, some chatter here about someone going to bed. Oh, man, I missed it. Darn, this chat just keeps going. Okay, let's see. I need to go to bed fading fast here. I'll check out the finished product in the morning. Great. See you later, Nancy. Good luck with getting everything ready for your sale. Yes, uh, Katie and Christy have become good friends. Yes, we have. Everybody has become great friends here. Um, my grandparents had a reindeer on their farm, and they always had to explain that they weren't the reindeer. Oh, <laughs> That's funny, Patrick. I can imagine as a little kid going thinking, okay, that must be, you know, Rudolph or something. And why isn't Rudolph in the North Pole with Santa? <laughs> yes, I do. I consider everybody here family. Night, Joni. Oh, the reindeer. <laughs> that was not me, Katie. I have another hour to go before bed. Oh, golly, did I misread the chat? Oh, night, Joni. Not Nancy, Joni. Holy moly. Okay, you guys want to take an up-close look at the tree? How does that look? So we're, we're looking really good here, I think. I might put some red shiny brights on it, and then I'll patiently await those wonderful ornaments from uh, 
dawn, dawn bought some really awesome shiny brights for me tonight that are gonna really complete this tree. So let me show you what we've got here so far. So we've got this magical pom-pom tree with all of these amazing ornaments. Look at this. And let me show you the shiny brights up close. I don't wanna rip the microphone off of the table, but here's what we have going on. So yep, we've got all of this here. And then let me rotate the tree. But again, I'll be very careful, you guys. You don't have to worry. It's not gonna fall or break. I'm watching this thing like a hawk. You better believe it. <laughs> so here we go. Careful, careful. Ooh-wee, nice and easy. Okay, here we go. We're back to the shiny bright side. And I'll take you to show, show you the shiny brights up close because that's really the true magic is these vintage shiny brights. So that's what we've got. Oh, and the last shiny bright that I didn't put on the tree that I need to is one that I got from Patrick at Trusty Huckster Mercantile. He sent me this shiny bright from his Christmas sale that he had, Christmas in July. I got this from the two dot. Uh, bargain bin, Trusty's Bargain Bin. I keep wanting to say $2 holler, but that's Stephanie from Thrifting Adventures. And then Totally Tubular Treasures is Mary and Reclaim Treasures by Mary. So yes, this is cool. And I love the little starburst. So we're going to find a spot for that on the tree. Um, oh, it would be perfect right here, I think. Oh, look at that next to the, the purple indent. Oh, that's fabulous. Yay. Look at that. Oh, look, guys. That's just so cool right there. Can you see that? Oh, I'm loving this. Oh, my goodness. This is coming together. Oh, that's so fabulous. I love it. Love it, you guys. Awesome, awesome. Patrick saying, and let's get that beautiful tree back in the shot. How about that? I have fuchsia pink shiny brights in my sale tomorrow. I wasn't sure they were vintage because of the color. Yes, there are fuchsia pink that did come, but Patrick, those are really hard to find. From my understanding, you don't see those very often. And Nancy's saying, I have the Doctor Who one. Oh, do or, um, Nancy, I have the Doctor Who one. That's what Angela's saying. Let's see what else is in the chat here. I am trying to find more of the blue odd-shaped ornaments. I showed them in my first attic video. I have the same ones in orange, and I don't like the color. Yeah, you know, the nice thing is you can pick different colors in the shiny brights. I love the mix of vintage and whimsical. Thanks, Diana. And uh, Kelly Blanchard saying, I agree. What are you agreeing, Christy Garza? I saw, did I miss Christy's comment? I might have. Okay. Oh, thank you so much, Christy. You have such a soothing, soothing voice. If I drift off to sleep, consider it a compliment. Oh, thanks, Christy. You know, I think one of the things is when you first start YouTube and you hear your own voice, you think, okay, no one's going to want to hear me. You know, we all have that thing about our voice. We all think something's wrong with our voice, but it's so neat to hear all of you guys say you enjoy my voice because if you had asked me, you know, do you like your voice like a year ago, I probably would have said, no, I, I don't think anyone wants to listen to me, but it's so great that you guys do and are here and making such nice comments. So thank you. So any of you guys wanting to start a channel or you're concerned about your voice, don't worry about it. Just get on, be yourself, have a good time, and people will come. I finally got a feather tree, a repro, and all of my ornaments are too big. Need to start a new collection. Well, Patrick, that will give you a really great collection here. Uh, Randy, let me sit down, guys, for just a second here so I can see the chat a little bit better um, so that we can chat. And I still have a few more ornaments that I want to put on. So hopefully you guys can see the tree and see me. And I know that the uh, – let me see if I can do this to prop this up so that it's even because I know it's not even. Well, I think you guys are okay. You guys can see. Uh, Randy, to answer your question, no, I am not a reseller. I don't, I've done a few uh, sales, well, one sale with Patrick. Patrick had me on with George the Antique Nomad and Dottie Lynn from Triple S Mercantile. I was really honored to be a part of that. 
It was such a great uh, time being on with the Antique Nomad and, of course, Patrick and Dottie Lynn. So that was my first sale. I, I've never done any reselling, but um, there are several other people in the chat that are. Um, Angela isn't. She doesn't. She doesn't do reselling, I don't believe. Same. I mean, no one says that they enjoy it, but they haven't told me that they hate it either. Angela, you have a great voice. And I'm going to get some water here while I catch up on the chat. Patrick, I sold my great-grandparents' feather tree in the late 1980s. And when I was early 20s and had no idea that eBay would make the vintage Christmas market explode. Oh my gosh, yes. Uh, my grandmother, when she moved from uh, Texas to my dad's mother, BB, who we call BB, from Texas to uh, South Carolina, you know, she was not, I was not probably collecting as much vintage as I do now. And I bet you that she gave away tons of stuff that I probably would have really liked. So, uh, yes. And um, I think someone in the chat, uh, yes, you'll get to see the light. In fact, I'll do that in just a second. I'm going to sit down and have some water and catch up on the chat. And then we'll get to the light because that's really fun. I can't wait to plug that in. Patrick says, I'd still love to get a real one, but between price and condition, I felt more comfort doing the fake, but the old ones are gorgeous. Oh my gosh, Patrick, they are. But you know, vintage Christmas is just so darn expensive these days that it is really hard. I mean, I cannot believe still that I got a real aluminum Christmas tree. I just can't. It blows my mind. I mean, it's it's just amazing. It's the, the tree of my dreams, really. I had a cat and dog uh, fighting for my attention. Oh, yes. Well, Louie, let's see what Louie's doing. Yeah, Louie's still asleep in a ball. She's she's clearly not as excited about the vintage Christmas as I am. <laughs> uh, oh, Martha, no worries. Welcome. Martha from Vintage Conversation is here. I'm so glad you're here. I love to listen to everyone across the country with all the different accents. Yes, Trisha, and I love hearing your voice. Uh, I love the Seattle area. It's really a great place. And you were talking the other day on your live about going to Pike Place Market, which is one of my favorite spots to visit. No, we are buyers. Yeah, a lot of us are all buyers. We just love the vintage bug has bitten us and we love collecting. Uh, oh, yes, Angela has a great voice. George blew me away last night in the Xeno Music Time chat. He pinned down exactly what... I can't, uh, C-O-P-T, I live in, just from a few comments based on the history of the area. I tell you what, George, oh, city, okay, what city? George is amazing. If you do not follow George the Antique Nomad, you need to follow George immediately. <laughs> George is the best. He is the most knowledgeable on a variety of everything. I swear he's like a walking encyclopedia. And he's so nice and helpful to everybody in the community. He always answers my emails when I have a question about vintage. And he wrote the book on treasure craft. So he's super knowledgeable on that. And I mean, George is amazing. And I saw that he was having a music chat. And if you don't know what that is, Xenomorph is his tech guy. And he will have these late night music chats. He'll put the music chat on. So basically there's no video. It's just music. And you can chat away with your fellow friends about vintage and antiques and anything you want. And then after that live is over, it disappears. So it's sort of like this fun midnight uh, chat. The first one I saw was a Calypso lounge. And then they did uh, other things. So they had, I think last night, what music was it last night? I missed it. I was really tired. And I went to bed right after flipping and sipping with Fatbird Fines, but uh, I would have loved to have been in that. Uh, okay, because I'm just a buyer, not a seller. Yeah, Randy, we're, we're, I'm a buyer too. I don't, I don't sell, but maybe one day, I don't know. Uh, let's see what Patrick's saying in the chat here. I'm missing chat. The thing is with StreamYard, the chat just goes by really fast and you start missing things. You're never just a buyer in this community. We are all in it together. That's true. 
Patrick, that is very true. You're not just a buyer. You're a name. You're a person. You're someone that's involved in our community actively, and we know you by name, and we know um, about you. And so, yes, you're not just some buyer. You're not just like some eBay buyer that bought this item off of an auction. That's that's so well said, Patrick. Oh, hey, Lucid Curios. I hope you're doing well. I know that you're getting ready for surgery, I think, or did you have surgery? No, that's this coming Monday. So keep us updated. I hope you're going to do um, something, you know, when you start to get to feel better, because we love your sales on Monday nights after, I think they're at nine o'clock on Monday. Lucid has a great channel, but yes, we'll be thinking about you during your, your surgery. Louis says it's 2 a.m. <laughs> Yes, Patrick, it is. It's 2 a.m. here, and uh, Louie is definitely conked out for the night. She's been running around today, having a grand old time. It is my goal to try and get an aluminum for next Christmas. You know, I've been wanting an aluminum Christmas tree probably for about three years now. And again, as I've said before in many of my lives and in the chats, vintage Christmas just does not exist in Florida. And if you do see it, it's at an exorbitant price. So I'm really glad that I got this from Misty and Cheryl Hoskins. I tell you, that Cheryl was so nice. Cheryl Hoskins actually won the tree. She beat me out fair and square. It was the day that the chat was broken and things were not working on YouTube and my chat kept freezing and then I all at once would just pop up with like 40 comments and I just lost out. I did. I, I just, I wanted it, but I lost out and Cheryl said, nope. Katie deserves it more than I do. Give it to Katie. And I just was blowing away. I mean, Cheryl, oh my gosh, that was the nicest thing. Uh, along with Don Maserati, she bought me some shiny brights for my tree tonight, which was amazing on Pamela's sale. And then I got some wonderful hankies and I'm getting friend mail. I mean, you guys are just awesome. And the kindness and generosity in this community, it just blows me away. Randy, you are the yin to our yang. Sellers can't do anything without buyers. Oh, yes, that's so true, Nancy. That is very true. Uh, you guys are too nice. Yes, a very great community we have here. I couldn't do that. You guys are so good on camera. Oh, you'd be surprised. You know, sometimes I think you just got to jump in. You know, that's what I did during the pandemic as I said, well, you know, I'm here a lot. I can't go anywhere. Um, and I'm just going to enjoy being home, of course, when I need to be, because the whole world is. But I might as well do something with some of my extra time that I have that I'm not, you know, doing uh, stuff with woodworking or other things that I enjoy. And so I thought, well, I'll start YouTube. And it's just been a really fun journey since then. Kendra says, the TV is the TV on a channel for Louie. I guess a lot of people have those channels. No, um, I have a Google Chrome. I have a Chromecast, one of those sticks that you put in your TV. And so what I do is I leave it on um, in the evenings because usually I have stuff on the TV. And it rotates through pictures that people have taken. So one of my other hobbies is I do photography. And I love photography and I'm blown away by the pictures that people take in cities all around the world. And so I love that on Google Chromecast, when you plug it in, you get a cycle of all these pictures from photographers everywhere. It's the most amazing thing. And some of the photos from New York, oh, I mean, New York is my favorite city in, in the whole U.S. And, and those photos just make my heart so happy and wish I was in New York again. They put me right back into the streets in New York, and it's just so fun to see those. So that's what Louie gets to see. <laughs> um, true statement. I'm a learner, too, and sometimes a teacher, but, but buying is extra fun, LOL, and the friendship and the laughter. Yes, there's so much laughter in the chats. You know, Vinny makes us all laugh, and Kim from Oh My Vintage always comments, and Nate's got some fun things to say, and so many of you guys are so fun. I mean, all of you guys really are so fun in the chat. You guys make the chats just extra lively and interesting and funny, and I love, love, love the comments. I love reading the comments. It's so much fun. Uh, we need to do a stream yard where everyone jumps on so we can see and talk to each other in person. I know I would love to make that happen. I think Fat Bird Find is doing something fun for New Year's Eve. So 
stay tuned for that. I don't know what it is, but if you're a content creator here on YouTube, you might get to be a participant in that. And that sounds fun. I have to behave in the live sales. I bought a few vintage snowmen and icicles in the last few weeks, but I have that uh, heater to pay for. My budget for stuff for my Christmas is done. Yes, I know, Nancy. It's fun to get in the live sales. Um, but yeah, well, you got that heater to worry about. But hopefully the live sales you're doing will help you raise money for that heater, the heater fund. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, George knows so much. Man, he so does. Same, just jumped in like two weeks ago. Yeah, Angela, you know, one of the cool things is uh, I've been in the community, I think, a little bit longer than you have. And all of a sudden, you just jumped in. And it was so fun because I love getting to meet new people. And it's really neat that you started just doing the calendars. That's how I got to know you was I, I saw the calendar circulating. I said, oh, cool. Someone's doing a calendar again. This is awesome. We need that. That's such a big help. And then I'm glad I got to know you because it's been so much fun. So I love that. I have no idea what I'm doing on YouTube, but I put out videos anyway. Trisha, you have a great channel. I love watching your sales. I try to catch everyone that I can, but of course, sometimes at that time, I'm getting ready for my own live. So I have you on in the background and I'm listening while I'm, I'm preparing things for my live event. But I love your, your channel and it's so great that you also do the calendar as well because our community needs that. We need all the calendars and all the information about stuff happening that we can because there isn't a lot of that. And it really does help because there's so much happening now and so many new channels that it's hard to keep it all straight. So I really love when we've got that schedule to look at. Katie, it's so hard to believe you just started your channel this year. You are really off to a great start. I know, Jen. I feel so blessed. You know, I told my, my friend, I was like, I thought, you know, by this time that I might be lucky enough to have 30 subs. You know, not that subs are everything because it because that really is not the whole goal. The whole point for me of doing YouTube, of course, is meeting all of you guys, wonderful people and are watching me and following me and getting to know everybody in the community, but also just being able to share my love of vintage with you all. That's really what my intention for the channel was, but it's so cool that it's taken off. I mean, you know, I'm not huge, but I, I am really honored to be where I am. So I have to thank all of you guys for that. That is so true. Um, can I get a link to your channel? Yes, moderators. If you're in the chat, could you please put a link to Nancy at this Overstuff's House channel? And uh, that would be really great if you can do that. If you're a moderator, you can put the link in the chat. Uh, let me put a few more ornaments on and uh, I'll get some more water here. I, I think we're pretty good on ornaments for right now, but I do want to add just a few more. And I think that I will do one non-shiny shiny ornament because you, you guys seem to really love this fella. And if you missed him, here he is. Here is my little wooden German fellow. Hello, he's sticking his tongue out at you. <laughs> he is the funniest little ornament. Oh my gosh, I know what all of you guys are thinking. And I know lots of you are probably putting what would Benny say in the chat. <laughs> But man, he's just great. I love him. He's fantastic. So here he is. Boo. Hello. <laughs> oh man, he's great. So I think I'm going to hide him somewhere in the tree, sort of as a little joke. Uh, oh, thank you, Angela, for putting that in the chat. I appreciate that. I'm glad you're enjoying this live. Glad Vinny is not here for that, though. Vinny was here earlier for it, and he sure had some comments to say. I was I was laughing so hard I thought I was going to cry. <laughs> so let's put him on the tree. Let me grab some more water, guys, if you don't mind. This is going to be a very casual hanging out in my kitchen. You know you guys are just hanging out with me for for it all. <laughs> me going off screen and getting some more water here. Oh, yes, that's good. Okay. Now, let me get, I, there's a few things on the floor here I don't want Louie to eat, so let me just grab that, you all. I, I really got to be careful that Louie doesn't eat these little pieces that have fallen on the floor. 
those pep sheets um, that won't be good. Okay, that's up off the floor now. So let's hide him in the tree. Oh, night lavish mango. Hey, congratulations, Nancy, at this overstuffed house. 270 subs. That is amazing. Woohoo, Nancy, you got to celebrate. We, we got to celebrate that. That's amazing. Okay, uh, Melissa, good night. Good night, Melissa. So anyway, here is this little guy. He's going to go right on the tree. I'm going to put him somewhere because he's just so funny. There he is again. I can't stop doing it, you guys. It's just like, woo. He's just a party guy. He's having fun. So we're going to hide him somewhere on the tree, just kind of to be funny. How about right here? Let's put him in the back. No one's going to notice him until they do. And then they're going to wonder what's up with him. So he's our one non-shiny ornament on the aluminum tree. <laughs> so we got him. And I'll wrap this up uh, by putting on the rest of the shiny brights. How does that sound to you guys? You like that? All right, let's do that. So I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way because I think that all of this has been covering my microphone. Oh, and yes, I will be showing the light for all of you guys that have been asking about that. Let me show you the light. So we are going to light up the, the tree with this wonderful magical light. So let me plug it in <clears throat> and we'll light up, we'll, we'll light her up. <laughs> we'll get her all lit up. All right, let's see now. I am going to take your suggestions guys and don't worry, I will be taking the tree down. You better believe that. So let me get, I've got stuff everywhere because I've been decorating and there's just a whole bunch of stuff. Ooh, this is pretty, y'all. Look at this. Okay, it's probably going to blind you. <laughs> but, okay. Well, let's see. I'm going to get this nice and straight so that it sits up. There we go. Hang on, guys. I'm just getting something so that this sits up, this light, so that it will do what it needs to do on the tree. So we're going to do that. And we'll get it all set up and not. Okay, there we go. Man, that is some magic right there. Christmas magic. Okay, so let me show you. I'm going to bring the light to the other side. So let me take you around. Sorry again, guys, for we're on the move. And I got to go with my microphone. I'm going to carry it along so that <laughs> I don't yank it out of the computer. Okay. There it is, y'all. There is the magic. <laughs> there it is. Woo, that is some pretty magic. Look at this guy down here. He is working hard with that glow. Oh, my word, is that not just like the most magical thing you have ever seen? Oh, I love it, you guys. I love it. Oh, my gosh, it's so fun. Okay, so let's set you guys back. And I'm going to, I might move that light just for a minute so it's not shining in the camera um, so that you guys can see the rest of the tree. So let me do that. I'm going to let it just shine on the wall for now, and then we'll put it back on the tree. So, oh, oh, oops, you guys are getting a lot of random thuds because of the way that my microphone is tonight. So there it is. We got the light. And then what I'll do is I'll put the rest of the shiny bright on. I'll just sort of fill up the holes. A little bit with these I have and, and these are made in USA of course red shiny brights I think that they're yeah these are shiny brights there I thought that they might be the the uh, made in uh, not USA but made in uh, Poland but they're not they're they're the true shiny brights so we'll add a few of these to the tree just to add a little bit of color, because I mean, we got lots of color going on, but you know I like my red. 
So we got to add the, the red to the mix. And my ornament hooks. Oh, these already have hooks on it. And guys, these are the silver hooks. Can you see that? How perfect is that for the tree? Hey, Maria. Katie, you are better, doing better than I did on my last live. My light fell over in the beginning of the sale. Nancy, I saw that, and I'm sorry. You know, stuff like that happens. It is live, and unfortunately, things like that do happen. Hi, Maria. Oh, I'm so glad you're enjoying this. Yes, it is. Oh, man, it's fabulous. I'm telling you, show your glow, as uh, Tim would say, from over the years. <laughs> That is fabulous. Jamie, I'm glad you're still here and you're getting to see that. Absolutely beautiful. Yes, it is. Oh, it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Thank you. Yes, please, guys, if you're here, give this video a big thumbs up. I'm not going anywhere yet, but I, I want you guys to give it a thumbs up. I don't normally do that. Oh, thank you, Thrift You. I think this is Sam. So thank you, Sam. And yes, here's my vintage pen for the day. I've got a, this isn't going to show up unless I show you. This is a Christmas tree. It is Trafari. I think it's from, let me move you over here so you can see it. I think it's from the 1950s. And it's got red and green rhinestones with a little star on top. And then I've got my polar bear shirt on because that's festive and fun. So I've got that. Oh, it's Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Well, welcome. You're catching a beautiful aluminum Christmas tree here and some fun. Sam was on earlier, so it's so glad that both of you guys could make your way around. Oh, uh, thank you. Yes, this is a great hat. I love my hats. This is just so much fun. Um, uh, I'm glad you're here, Sarah. Thank you. So we're going to add this. Now, I will get some of my vintage ornament hooks, maybe. And change the ones that are green to silver, because I do think that's probably going to look better. And Sarah, if you were here right now, you would probably be decorating this tree to perfection. I can't wait to see your, your Christmas tree video. I have not gotten to see that yet, but I'm really looking forward to that. And, uh, or the video you did on Christmas decorating anyway. Um, I am so behind on physical videos. I get a chance to see pretty much all the live sales, but I really got to get busy on the uh, the videos that I have missed. I've caught up with Vinny's because Vinny's been putting out a lot of videos lately, and I'm caught up with him, and I'm almost caught up with Misty, and I'm caught up with Karina, Tarnished Treasures, but I've got to catch everybody else's. I'm just so behind on content, and I really want to see all of it because you guys find some amazing things. And I need, I'm looking for my box. Yes, there it is. Here's my vintage uh, shiny white box that I showed. Well, wow, that went a bang. I just dropped something. What was it? Let's see. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, I dropped a, nothing broke, guys. It's fine. <laughs> I, I dropped the box, and it's down here. And uh, I've just got a lot kind of in this box, and I need to get it all cleaned up um, out of this box so stuff doesn't fall like that. But let me show you this box again, because what I'm planning on doing, I think, is putting all of my shiny bright boxes oops, together. And this has my ornament hooks, but I'm planning on putting all the shiny bright boxes under the tree. So they'll be kind of like my presents, I think. That's what I'm going to do. And so I needed the ornament hooks out of this box. And I've got more of these hooks. So that's what I'm doing is I'm just putting the hooks on these and I'm filling in the tree where stuff didn't get filled in. So I just want to fill in the tree in holes that need, you know, uh, something. I can't reach the top because I'm not tall enough, so I'll probably have to do that after the live is over. I don't want to have to get on a ladder, you know. I just don't think that's very good. Okay, so we got that. And let me put on a few more of these. I, I think these red shiny brights are great. 
I see there's a hole by the Brussels sprout. Yes, I have a Brussels sprout. I'm gonna throw it, you guys that are just joining. Oh boy, I don't know that I'm tall enough to reach this. I don't wanna break anything. All right, carefully, ever so gingerly, as Misty would say, right? Ever so gingerly. We're gonna put this on the tree and we're gonna, oh, and we're gonna cinch up this ornament. There we go, ever so gingerly. <laughs> okay, so that's looking pretty good. And there's a few more holes, I think, um, on this side of the tree. So I'm gonna carefully rotate it again. And I know that makes all of you guys in the chat super nervous when I do that. But I'm gonna carefully rotate the tree. Carefully, 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 so I can get to this side. <laughs> I promise I'm being really careful. Nothing's gonna happen, you guys. All is gonna be well. <laughs> and we're just gonna fill in like this one only has one ornament and I think it really needs two. I might put this one down a little bit. Yeah, to fill in that hole there, that's pretty good. And Sarah, you can, you can give me a grade on this tree. <laughs> Since you are the, the expert, apparently, on decorating trees, I hear you're really great on that. So we're gonna add this to the aluminum. I'm trying not to crush the aluminum too much. Uh, let's see. I've never put ornaments on a tree that has the aluminum, so it's, it's interesting. I don't want the aluminum to come loose, you know? I'm just trying to be really careful of that. Um, we got a few more red ones. Shall I keep putting red ones on? Yes, be careful. Oh my gosh, yes, I'm being ever so careful. Let's put some at the bottom. See, that's where I think there's some holes. Let's put some at the bottom. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's add a few to the bottom. And then we'll get the tree in the final spot. How does that sound, you guys? Good? So let's just add a few to the bottom. Again, I'm just kind of going in and pushing in the holes, you know, the branches and the holes, because I don't want anything to come loose. That's my biggest fear. So all these ornament hooks are going to run me nuts if they don't get, get straight. They're all, you know, ornament hooks get all funky. I hate that, but I really can't complain because that's the least of my worries in life, you know? There's other people with bigger struggles, so I shouldn't complain about some silly ornament hooks, right? Okay, let's get this together. Oh, this guy is missing his top, so he's just going to go into a bowl. I don't have... Oh, so is this guy. He's missing his top. Um, oh, and I forgot I had this, you guys. Ooh, I found another shiny bright. Look at him. Isn't he darling? He's so little. And my mom, I forgot my mom gave this to me. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That might look really good somewhere on the tree. If it will hang. And I don't, I don't think it's too heavy. Oh, let me see if I can reach up there. Oh. Might be too. I don't want it to be too heavy now and fall down. No, that's pretty good up there. Actually, you know, I don't know that that's an ornament. I think it's for a chandelier, but it's beautiful. Well, guys, that's all the ornaments that I have, I think. Yeah, this box, this shiny. So I've got this shiny bright box to go under the tree. And I have this shiny bright box. I'm still trying to collect different shiny bright boxes. Again, I love the graphics on these. So we've got that shiny bright box. And then, whoops, there's that little shiny bright rolling around down there. Let's get him out of there. And then I've got this shiny bright box. Now, let me jump. I just, and these ornament hooks run me nuts, I'm telling you. They just get all bundled up, and they don't want to cooperate. They want to have a party, <laughs> as Vinny was saying earlier. 
I want to have a party. Okay, let's get them out of here because they don't belong, right? They don't belong at all. All right, goodbye. You don't belong in there. Go with your friends, buddy. Come on, get out of here. Oh, you just want to get stuck in there. You don't want to leave. There. Go where you belong. You belong with your friends. Come on, buddy. Okay, there we are. We're all straight now, I think. And I can put... Whoops. There we go. So I've got this shiny bright box with the cool graphics and the starburst. I have this shiny bright box to put under the tree. I've got this shiny bright box. And these are gonna act as my presents, I think. I'm pretty convinced they will look great. And then I've got this, whoops, got a stowaway trying to join the party. We've got Christmas lights here by Noma with the Bakelite. Well, I don't have the Christmas lights, but they were Bakelite originally with the cool graphics. So I've got that. And look at this little Santa man. He is just fabulous. Whoops. And then we've got more of the Santa on the side. So I thought these would be great as presents under the tree, I think. Uh, I've got to go to bed. Didn't think of, you're still going on. Hi, Nate. Yes, I still am. I'm just so darn excited about this tree that, you know, I'm still on four hours later. Good Lord. <laughs> Pretty boxes. Yes. We still have 37 people watching at 2.28 in the morning. Holy moly. That blows my mind. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes, of course. I sure will, Christina. And Katie, we had the same issue tonight. We used an old thick towel. An old thick towel. What what issue did you have? I'm I'm not sure, Maria. Yes, being very very careful. No worries, Sarah. Um. Okay, great. Kendra, good night. Jen, I know if one paw is up, it is good luck and good friends, and if the other paw is, it's good fortune and income. Be darned if I can't remember which is which. Oh yes, the waving um, cats. Yes. Okay, guys. Awesome. Okay. Oh, my God. I love the wall hanger. Yes. Uh, Nancy. Okay. Awesome. Haha. <laughs> Keep going, Katie, and you will rival Michelle at Comfy Coast Living. Well, it's no competition, but she is, she's the queen of live sales. And, man, I've been on four hours. Holy moly, y'all have been sticking with me. Thank you, guys. Let's get a sip of water here and we'll finish up this tree and I'll get it taped down to the table like all of you suggesting because I think that's really smart. So let's get this all going here. Um, thank you, Angela, for mentioning me and your story. Um, everybody's been sending me stuff on Instagram, so I'll look at that when I get done with the live. I'm sorry to drink some water, but my throat needs it. <laughs> okay, guys, let's get this all set up. I'm going to put the ornament hooks back in this bag, because if I don't, Lord knows they're going to get all over the floor, and then Louie's going to have to go to the ER because she ate an ornament hook. We don't need a repeat of the Christmas light situation last year. My dog jumped up onto the to the side of my door and pulled down a whole strand of Christmas lights and ate them. And I had to take her to the ER at four in the morning. So that was fun. But Louie's okay. Thank goodness she's all right. And I am just way more careful about that kind of stuff than um, I need to be probably. But I just don't want her to eat anything, you know, because she's my baby and I care about her. I'm going to throw some stuff away here that just needs to go because I need to make room for the tree. So let me, first let me show you my Christmas display that I have started. Now I'm going to be doing a whole series on it. So you haven't missed anything for you guys that have been wondering. So let me take you over here. I'm going to put all of the stuff back that I had where it was so that um, this doesn't get in the way. And then I'll show you the display that I have started over here. And then we'll look at the tree. We'll do more of the tree in just a minute. So, oops. 
I've got so much Christmas sitting out here, guys, it's insane. So let me show you everything that I've got going on over here in my little happy corner of my kitchen. Got to take the microphone with me so that I don't rip it off the counter. So here's what's happening in my little vintage Christmas display in the corner over here. Let's see if this is going to show up. So, yep, I've got all of this over here. Vintage Christmas coming at you. Got all my boxes, and I, I just put out some dancing Santas. And I've got the spaghetti Santa I got from Cindy at Mimi's Treasure Cottage, Japan. Got dancing Santas from Laurie, Blue Flamingo, and the Jingle Bells. And then we've got all of this fabulousness over here, including I've got Yes to make everybody jealous with the Scotch Tape Tens. Yes, I have a Santa gift wrapping ten. I think Misty just found one of those or got one of those from Michael Todd. But yes, I've got that. And we'll move along. I got more vintage Christmas um, in the display here. I'll be doing a video on this, and I also have my only Mercury bead uh, glass pick I got from Cindy at Mimi's Treasure Cottage, and sweet notes from you guys uh, with vintage Christmas cards. So lots of fun vintage happening over here, and I'll be doing a more in-depth video of that when things get going. <laughs> so yes, that's going to be fun. So let's set you back up here. We'll finish up the Christmas tree. We'll get it in place and we'll get the lights growing on it. And it's going to be really, really fun. So here we go, wrapping up the video for the evening, guys. Um, I'm not going anywhere just yet, but we'll finish up the tree. Damn, I woke up to get some water and I had left my laptop on and I almost jumped out of the skin when I heard Katie talking. I can't believe you all are still at it. I love you so much. I love you too, Pamela. I have to say that's kind of funny. That must have startled the heck out of you when you were watching me home. I mean, when you got up and then I was still there talking. <laughs> Holy vintage, yes. Oh, don't let Misty see you have that in the original package. I know. I had something I thought Misty would like, but I think she already has it, and she's purging her vintage uh, Christmas and Santa's, so I won't send that. Thrift you, Sarah. Yay. You are my favorite. Shh, don't tell Sam. <laughs> Nate, that's hilarious. I love it. I still have watching you and your beautiful tree. Thanks, Victoria. I'm glad you're here. Someone just had one of those little boots in their life today. I know. And this is a Holt Howard boot that I have, which is cool. Someone go steal that tree from Katie and bring it to me. <laughs> Sarah, no, it's mine. You can't have it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. I'm the only one overloaded uh, no you're not i've got vintage christmas now that i've been collecting it man i i am having a good old time with it and you know what i've decided this year is instead of spreading it all around i'm just gonna have one happy corner and it's gonna look like you know in it, the movie um christmas vacation when he says we're gonna look like the happiest bunch of da 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 that is going to be me. I'm just going to go all out. I mean, why not? You know, nobody's here. It's just me. I might as well enjoy it and just go nuts. You know, why not? Get the Christmas bug. Go crazy. <laughs> um, tis me. Good looking. <laughs> it was officially nice to meet you, LOL. <laughs> Thrift you is that, Sarah? Yes. I don't have shiny brights to sell Thursday, but I found some Christmas paper that are suitable for framing. Yes. Oh, Nancy, those are going to be fun. So, yes, someone just had one of those. Oh, I saw that comment. Let's see what else is in the chat here. <laughs> Kelly, Michelle, you're still watching me. Mom, look at the tree. Yes. So here, let me show you more up close of the tree again for since you guys are still here and 
and Pamela's here. So we got some whimsical going on. I've got some food <laughs> ornaments that are special to me, like that pepper there, that shiny pepper. Most of them, though, are vintage shiny brights. And man, I just, for the love of all things wonderful, I wish this camera would focus. There it is. And then we've got all of this. I got a wave to get the camera to focus. So all of these magical ornaments. Look at those. Those are my favorite, the spaceship ones. I just love those. And then we've got more food and some Fabergé eggs that I just love that were my grandmother's. And we got the light. So I'm going to put the light on it. Now I'm going to move this. So there's the, the magical light. And we got my London ornament. Yep, we got all of that right there. Beautiful aluminum tree. I mean, this is just fantastic, you guys. It is not doing it justice on the live at all. And then I will take you over here one more time to see my vintage Christmas corner that I'm working on. And I will do a video about this, but holy vintage is right when you see my vintage Christmas corner. So there's the vintage Christmas corner. Pamela, I got some of this from you. I've gotten some from different people. So vintage Christmas corner over here. And then let me show you my door. Now you guys are getting a speak, uh, sneak peep, sneak peep, <laughs> sneak peep. Wow, that's something for you. We've got, I let my dog eat the real baby Jesus and sneak, sneak peep. And what else did I say? I said something else that made no sense. So here we go. You guys are getting some real raw uh, stuff here. But here's my door. I haven't showed this yet, but those are the, the books I got from Venny. So we got some things happening here, too, that's fun. And my Dennis and Santa. Still getting used to the StreamYard camera, so I'm taking you guys around. Hopefully it's not too annoyingly dizzy for you all. So let's get this tree into place. How does that sound? We'll get it in place and uh, I'll let you guys see it in its final spot before I head out here. Not going anywhere just yet, but uh, hanging out with you all is fun. And I don't want to get off the live. Let's see what's happening in the chat. Uh, was, the, was the light? What is Vicky talking about? Yes, I must see the light. What light? Okay, hang on. Those are my kinds of hours, girls. I'll be there. Okay, I'm missing some chat here. Let me see what I'm missing. Okay, let me go back up a little bit. I need to be sleeping. Angelo, go to bed. You don't have to stay up. I'll be, uh, you can catch the replay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Let's see. I only want to find one scotch tape item. I want black and yellow. I can't find the black and yellow tins, and I've never seen one. Oh, thanks, Karen. Okay, let's see. What am I missing in the chat here? Hi, my God, Katie, I just refreshed. I love every single thing you have. I know you would, Sarah. I knew you would. It's your kind of items. It really is. <laughs> I knew you'd like it. Okay, let's see. Uh, Angela, oh, yes. Is Kelly saying something? Kelly, Michelle, I, I missed chat here. Um, Let's see. Oh, Nate saying, hi, Pamela, sweet pea. And then Nate says, hey, you sweet. And then Pamela says, hey, you sweet angel. Yeah, Pamela's the best. Nate, too. You guys are awesome in the chat here. Turn on the light for Miss Pamela. Yes, I turned on the light. So that's what you guys are talking about here. Yes, I've got, I don't have a vintage color wheel because they're too dangerous and they get way too hot and they're really hard to find. But I got this really cool light from Misty to go with the tree so it, it glows it shines this like really cool uh color on the tree here which is just so magical and it doesn't get hot because it's led which is really nice you can leave it plugged in and it's not a problem so i love that what chat am i missing I love you, Sarah, but you'll have to be at my late night live sale at 11 p.m. Yes, Sarah, you got to go to Nancy's sale. It's awesome. Um, okay, Mama, if you find one of these trees, please, please get it. I know, Kelly, now you're going to be wanting one because they are really magical. The best one was letting your dog eat the real baby Jesus. 
I know. I can't believe I said that. I'm just talking away, you know, telling a nice, wholesome little story about how we used to hide baby Jesus and then get him out on Christmas Day. And then I'm scaring all the kids out there. I'm up there with your frosty story now because, I, you know, probably some kids listening are going, ah, they ate the real baby Jesus. Oh, my gosh, y'all. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> you were here live for that. You got to hear it. Uh, Louie, her dog. <laughs> no, my dog, Louie. So my dog, Louie, did not eat baby Jesus. <laughs> no, my growing up, we had two Dalmatians, Buddy and Barney. And I think it was probably Barney that ate. Well, it might have been Buddy because Buddy ate a lot of stuff. Buddy ate. He ate a, a drank really a gallon of peanut oil once off the back deck after our turkey on Thanksgiving. He ate a whole package of Oreos. Uh, let's see, a whole pie that was in the back truck that my dad had. He ate a loaf of bread. I mean, Buddy ate everything, man. And, and he, it's amazing he lived. I mean, we were all very careful, but he had a way of just finding how to jump up on the counter and get stuff he wasn't supposed to. So he ate stuff but my dog Louie is an eater and I have to be really careful because she'll find things to eat and she ate my Christmas lights last year I had Christmas lights you know how I just showed you my front door with all the stuff attached to it that's up really high so she can't get to it but last year I had a full strand of lights around the door and she went munching on the lights and I came from around the corner and I heard this crunch 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 and I'm like Louie no and she had pulled the whole strand off the door and eaten the lights. And I had to rush her to the ER at like four in the morning and she's eaten wasabi. She jumped up on my dining table in my other apartment and got the wasabi. I don't know, Louie loves to eat stuff. So I have to be really careful about, oh boy, about what she eats. Cause you know, she'll find stuff. The pugs, it's a pug thing. Pugs, She's a pug, and pugs love to eat. They love to eat. It's just something with pugs. I don't know what it is, but every pug I've ever met apparently loves, loves, loves food. No, I'd rather be here waiting for this muscle relaxer to knock me out. Okay, good, Angela. I'm glad you're still having a good time. <laughs> Who ate baby Jesus? <laughs> Nate. <laughs> I accidentally said earlier in the live, I was talking about how we would hide baby Jesus. And I said, oh, my dog ate the real baby Jesus by mistake. I don't know why I said that. I don't know, but all the kids are going to be scared now. Sorry. <laughs> oh, what's going on here in the chat? Our dog used to get out all the time, and the one thing she stole was a whole rotisserie chicken out of someone's grocery bag in their driveway. Oh, my gosh. Sarah, yes, our, my dad left, so my two Dalmatians would ride in my dad's. We, we just call it the Durango because he had a, a Durango for years and years, and he left. He would put the dogs in the Durango. And they would sit in the front seat. Like after dad and my stepmom would get out and go somewhere, they'd hop in the front seat like they were two people sitting in the front seat. It was the funniest thing. And my dad, you know, would roll down the windows and just pretty much let them be in there for a while while they'd go shop. So dad went to the grocery store one day and uh, they went in and they got everything. They put it in the trunk and they realized, oh, shoot, we forgot the milk. We got to go back and get the milk. So dad went in to go get the milk and I guess Buddy and Barney had hopped in the trunk and they had gotten a bread pudding. And they, one of them, I, I'm pretty sure it was Buddy because he ate everything. He ate the whole bread pudding. And they, of course, when dad and Laura got back in the car, they were sitting in the front seat like, you know, like always, like nothing had happened. And they got home and dad's unloading the groceries and he goes, didn't we buy a bread pudding? Where, where's the bread pudding? And when they looked, the whole tin was completely clean. It looked like they had just brought, bought a, a brand new pie tin from the store. And they come to find out one of the dogs had scarfed it down. <laughs> I was hoping I would see you. Oh, hi, Butterfly Nurse. Tony, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> um, how can I say? Thrifty. 
I know, but Kelly is thrifty. Oh, yeah, aluminum trees are not cheap. I'm just going to say that. If you guys are looking for one, I, I got a steal of a deal, I have to say, from Misty. I'm, I'm really amazed that I got it for what I got it for because, it you know, these go for a lot more money online. But, yes, um, Mama, sh shut the front door. 225 No, ma'am, leave it at Skyland. Well, two twenty five is still a really good price for the aluminum tree because I will tell you, I saw one missing like three branches going for four hundred dollars on eBay. I've been stocking the eBay and everything. Yep, I have. Let me pull you down a little bit. I'm going to sit down for a second so I can read some more chat here because I love reading the chat. Well, it's bread pudding. Come on. Who wouldn't eat the whole bread pudding? Right, Sarah? I know I'm a big bread pudding fan. I would woof the whole thing down myself. Absolutely. <laughs> bread pudding and rum sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, Lucid. Man, that is the stuff right there. That is the chiz, <laughs> as people in the 90s would say. Katie, read Lucid Curious. Okay, what am I missing? I'm missing chat. I hate missing chat because I love hearing what all of you guys say. Uh, let's see. Um, good night, Mom. Love you. Double check your doors. Yes, of course, Pamela. Good night, good night. But please, yes, lock those doors up. Um, okay, behave yourselves. I'm going back to bed. Love you all bunches and bunches. Love you too, Pamela. You are awesome. Okay, Lou. <laughs> Lucid says, Sarah, we had a boxer hide an entire cooked roast in our leather couch as a kid. Oh, no, Lucid. Holy moly. <laughs> What'd you do? Nate, you ruined your clavicle? What happened, Nate? I'm missing chat. Oh, no, no, no. What did I miss? Nate, let me know. What happened, Nate? Are you okay? Patrick wants a button, too. A button. Okay. Yes, thank you so much. We all agreed we want buttons that say, Katie Dog, Katie Dog, ate a real baby Jesus. Oh, boy. <laughs> Patrick wants one, too. Yeah, I, you know, maybe that's a merch, a Christmas merch idea for me. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's hilarious. <laughs> I'm glad I caught it. You know, I was just talking. It's funnier that I, I recognize what I said. <laughs> what did I see about this 200 and something dollar tree? I'm missing chat on that. <laughs> I'll get you one Monday morning at 10 a.m. Well, still, that's a pretty darn good price, Kelly Michelle, because I, like I said, I've seen them go for way more. Time for me to hit the hay. Night. Big love to you, Nate, in New Zealand. We love you so much. You are awesome. Thanks for staying on as long as you did. Give your mom some sugar for me. She's so sweet. And your dad as well. Uh, thrift you. That might happen, Nancy. I want all of Katie's stuff. Man. Sarah, are you planning and coming down here? Because <laughs> um, I might have to, to ship you a little something. And I was going to mail you peanut M&Ms, and I heard you're taking a break from the peanut M&Ms. So I'm going to find you another treat to mail you, along with maybe something else special. Yes, I uh, apparently, my dog ate the real baby Jesus, and Nancy's killed Frosty. <laughs> so we, we all have some stories to tell. Oh, my goodness, yes. Uh, it's okay. I've seen in the chats. I figured out you had forgotten. Oh, okay. You're talking to Tony. No worries. Susan, time to turn in. Good night. Your tree is beautiful. Thank you, Susan. Night to you. Big love to you, of course. Uh, yes, Lucy, I killed Frosty. And yes, Kelly, that's not a bad price. No, it isn't, Kelly. It really isn't. Um, aluminum trees, they're just so hard to find now, I think, in good condition. And they just go for buku bucks. And I've never been able to get one, so I'm just tickled pink, you know, that I have one in my house. It's like, I can't believe it. I, it's like waking up to a dream, you know? It's so amazing. Uh, I've moved on to scotch -a -roos. Okay, it's a problem. Oh, man, I'll tell you what, uh, Sarah, I make homemade scotch bread every year. Uh, it's my great-grandmother's recipe, and I've taken on the tradition of making it now. My grandmother taught me, and I'll tell you, that stuff is a dick ting. 
I can't have just one. I got to have the whole batch. And that's the problem with it because it's, it's uh, time consuming to make. So there's only so much of it. And everyone in the family wants some, but I really secretly want to keep it all for myself and just whoop down the whole thing because it's so good. How many days sober from the peanut m and Sarah? <laughs> Yeah, how, how how long have you been off? Now, the real test, Sarah, will see if you can get off coffee, which I couldn't do either. I mean, man, I wouldn't even attempt that, but that would be funny to see one day if you said, well, I've been two days off coffee. I wouldn't believe it. I would not believe it. <laughs> Hi, Sarah from Thrift. You, have you seen that video yet? Yeah, you are going to die if you have not seen Nancy's video on She Killed Frosty. I mean, I have not laughed so hard ever. I mean, on a video, someone telling a story, I cracked up. And it was so funny at the end, Nancy said something about, oh, for the love of heaven. And the way you said that, Nancy, I just bust out laughing. It was so funny. <laughs> Angela, yes, honey, I'm a penny pincher. There are only a few things I'll go outside budget for. Yes, you know, I don't spend too much on my vintage, but I will say I will buy an aluminum Christmas tree if it's low enough. And this price was really ridiculously good. It's probably the most I've spent on a real vintage, a true vintage item, but it was really worth it. It is so worth it. Um, here in Cali, the four feet go for 359 and six feet go for 500 and 700 at the antique stores. Yes, Vivian, um, you know, my uh, friend Jamie from Mid Century Wasted was talking about how darn expensive Mid Century Modern is. She was just explaining that in California, the prices are crazy. Oh my gosh, guys, I got to plug you in because I just saw that the battery on my computer was saying that it's going to conk out and I don't need that. So hang on, let me get you plugged in. I thought you guys were plugged in, but I guess not. So I'm going to get you plugged in and we don't want any. Okay, there we go. We're all plugged in. So yeah, Nancy was saying that not Nancy, um, Jamie from Mid-Century Wasted was saying that it was crazy expensive. So I, I don't know. I mean, it's different areas, but I, I think Mid-Century Modern is really, really hot in California. It's the end thing because, of course, you've got big areas where Mid-Century Modern kind of took off. So, yes, uh, good night to Nate. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> People are laughing over uh, the, the whole Jesus thing. Yes, I know. Tippy, what list? My mystery buyers, uh, mystery buyers that never email me. LOL, no, you're not on the list. Yeah, you know, sometimes in the lives people buy things, and it's hard to know if they're trolls or not. And um, I, unfortunately, that probably happened to you, Nancy, and I'm sorry. And it's hard as a moderator to know because if they're bidding, like regular people, if they're not, you know, of course, if they're jacking up the bids or putting in random numbers that don't make sense, like obviously you can, can spot those a million miles away as being a troll. But sometimes if they just have a normal name like Steve so-and-so or Joe Schmo, and then you see their number, it looks legitimate. And unfortunately, sometimes they don't email you, which is a really bad thing to do. If you buy something from a sale, please email the person you want. And if you don't know the email, then, you know, message one of us and we'll, we'll get you the email. We'll let you know. There's the link. Yes, good. Good. Sarah's going to watch that. I need to go scoop up some from Franklin. The lady says they have too many trees. Yeah. Go get you, girl. Listen, you need to get one if you can. Okay, let me catch up on some chat. Holy moly. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, okay. Go back uh, to 43 for Lucid's comments. See, I'm missing chat here, guys. I'm sorry. I don't have aluminum tree money. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing my birthday uh, money for the tree. And that's what I did. This was my birthday and Christmas present to myself <laughs> uh, for this year. Uh, let's see. Tippy, I expected not to hear from some people, but never expected to be people that bought several items and offer ups. 
you know, that's a problem. They probably are just a troll, unfortunately, in the chat that just was betting multiple times to be spammers. Steven, welcome. For all of you guys that don't know Steven, he is on a lot of the record chats. He's on Adam's channel a lot, Adam from Record Crate. So say hello to Steven. Uh, there's an antique shop very close to us that specializes in mid-century modern furniture, and the prices are astronomical. We go to admire the furniture, but never will be able to afford it. I know. I have seen some Hayward Wakefield stuff, which is a big name in mid-century modern design uh designer furniture and you will see stuff go for crazy amounts of money it is insane what it goes for and you know i don't think that mid-century modern is very popular here um because we have that coastal theme you know a lot of people here live by the beach and they like to do the coastal and then you also have a lot of that like cutesy southern farmhouse stuff going on so i don't see a lot of mid-century modern here hi sandra pink elephant parlor i think you've been here for a while but i'll say hello again it's way long ago you won't find it oh lucid uh, let me know what you said i just said i hope you you got your dog baptized after he ate baby jesus oh lord well you know my grandfather my dad's father papa was a baptist minister and he baptized me so i'm sure that he could have baptized the dog <laughs> The funny thing about mid-century modern is, is it's enormously plentiful here in the Midwest, and we're always about 10 years late here in Iowa. Yeah, you know, one of the things that I've noticed, like Misty at Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter, she finds the most amazing, like, rusty, crusty advertising tins and pieces, and I don't see a ton of that here. I mean, we, I mean, I'm in Jacksonville, and we have three or four antique stores, and I do get you know, some of it, but I just don't see the kind of stuff that Misty and other people from the Midwest see. And I, I just, it's interesting, like George was saying, he likes to, the, the antique nomad, he likes to find things and then bring them back to their home, kind of where they started or where they belong. And I think that's kind of neat because there's certain areas that will have different things. And I just find that to be fascinating. So, yes, Sarah, I'd love to come pick where you guys are and where in the app. Of course, George is in Seattle. Uh, well, George travels all over the place, but Seattle, and I'd love to go, of course, into where Misty is. I mean, there's just so many places I'd love to travel. I watch to see if there are names I have seen in the chats, and if they are, I will make the effort to ask them when I see them. But some are names I've never seen, so I'm assuming they aren't serious. Yeah, Nancy, if they're new, you know, that's that's something, of course, that uh, you can, can be kind of uh, leery of. And then, you know, not to offend anybody, but you certainly can take a second name down. And just, you know, people kind of will need to understand that now with the amount of trolls we've been getting is just take a second name down in case. And, you know, you can always, of course, I think you already did this, but Misty at Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter has a huge customer book. So, of course, she will be able to give you names and, and email addresses. And Patrick, too, I mean, pretty much everybody in the, the group will be able to do that, uh, of course. But if, if they don't know, then definitely I think it was a troll. And, you know, of course, with different sales, different people learn about new people all the time. So at one sale, I think it was yesterday, I heard someone say, oh, you're a new name to me, because probably they hadn't been on that sale before. But a bunch of us moderators were able to verify, oh, yeah, that person's in the chats all the time. So I'll try to help you with that as I can. And it, and it is, it's just hard. You got to um, do your best. And of course, you can always offer it up again, and someone might really like it. And you have great stuff, Nancy. And yes, that's another point. Uh, well, not spend too much time on the trolls because I don't want to give them the time of day. But if you are on my chat ever, this just goes for me. Other people do different things on their sales. But if you are on my chat and you ever see any troll, even if it's friendly, if it starts clogging up the chat, please just go ahead and remove it. I have no problem with that. Uh, I know that sometimes it causes issues on other chats when you do that, but I'm not monetized and I'm not really worried about that. So just go ahead and, and feel free to take them out. They don't need to be here. <laughs> Good night, Christina. Uh, thank you so much for coming. And you guys have been here. Well, you know what, Lucid, when you get a troll, 
that means you've made it big in the YouTube world. I do have a second name for the Fenton piece is that person never contacted me and Misty did not have, oh geez, Nancy, I'm sorry. We'll offer it up again and see what happens. Uh, I picked up M's chair for $15. I'm not reading that right. Let me get closer. A Mayus chair for $15 at a local auction. It's in my office. I love Mints and Three Modern. My father was an architect, and we had the coolest stuff growing up. I wish I had it now. Oh, man, that's awesome, Sarah. Yes, wouldn't you love to have that stuff now? Like, I'm very fortunate that I have a lot of my grandparents' furniture and things because my grandmother saved everything. And I'm really grateful that she did because I, I'm able to enjoy a lot of it. And so is my mom. And, and it's just so special. But yeah, wouldn't it be cool to have that now? Of course, when times change and trends change, uh, people tend to get thing, get rid of things, you know. And of course, then people say, oh, nobody wants that old thing. And then it circles around and it becomes really popular. I remember when I first got into vintage, I called my mom up and I said, oh, I got a rotary phone today. And my mom's like... Oh, I remember those. Those things were a pain. We all have cell phones now. They're easy. Why would you want one? And, you know, I turned it into a lamp. If you guys saw my apartment to where you would have seen the um, uh, red uh, rotary phone that I got from Bell Electric, and I've made a lamp out of it. But I love doing things like that, kind of repurposing things and giving them a new home. Uh, nice. Uh, oh, meds kicking in. Night, Angela. I hope you sleep well. I'll see you again, uh, hopefully, sometime tomorrow. And uh, I hope you're here. Uh, oh, <laughs> thrift you. That's funny, night, nice, bratty. <laughs> yep, it's fun how that stuff uh, turns around. So let's uh, get the tree where it needs to go in its final spot. I'll get the light set up, and I'll show you all of that. I uh, have been a big tease tonight, I know, waiting, because I just love to be in the chat. I feel like like Pamela, you know, like Pamela talks about, she loves being in the chat. And I do too. I hate missing chat. And I bet Kelly's watching this and saying, man, if I were there, I'd get Katie moving. <laughs> I love you, Kelly. I love you so, so much. And it's fun to see that banter between you and your mom. It's just really great. So I'm going to move. So I've got some glass here. And I'm going to be moving some of my Fostoria glass that I keep on the counter here out of the way so that the aluminum tree has a home. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, Kelly's laughing at me because she knows exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> so we're going to do that. And I'm sorry for the loud noises, you guys. I just got to get this stuff moved out of the way so we can, can move the tree. And what I will do once I get the tree all set up is I'll set up my little family of mice. So here's a little warning for you guys that don't like mice. You guys can step away from the video for a moment. But here is my little family of mice that I will be putting under the tree as well. And I have quite a few here that uh, were my grandmother's. They're little German mice. These are all German, and they all say different. They're doing different things, like this guy, this little gal. i got to fix her glasses. She's reading a book, and she's got her little glasses on, and she's got her Made in Germany sticker. And then we've got this little guy. He's got his little teddy bear, and he's in his little uh, pajamas, sleeping, ready for a nap. So we've got him. They're just little felt mice. And then we've got her with the flocked, uh, yeah, it's kind of like flocked little wreath, and she's in her Christmas plaid. And then we've got this gal, and I think she's baking. She's like a Mrs. Claus mouse, but she's baking. She's got her little apron. And then we, have, I love this little girl. She's got her baguette and her little wooden spoon. Isn't she just adorable? She's just adorable. And then, of course, we've got this gal. Now, my grandmother probably really liked her because she's got a sheet of music. My grandmother was a music teacher. She was a beautiful voice. She had a great singer. Hemnol, so there's the little music. There's this little gal. we got her. So they're all going to go under the tree. And then this little wooden fella, he's German, too. And then I'll probably also put my collection of Japan Snoopies. 
I've got Snoopy's and I've got, uh, you know, the Snoopy gang. We got Lucy here and Charlie Brown with the Made in Japan 1950 sticker on the bottom. And I got several Snoopy's. So we've got Snoopy's here, one with the golf club and the little stocking. And we've got, let's see, this guy's playing tennis. And then I'll, and then I'll add, I've got like my German sheep made out of wool or uh, these are uh, Scottish sheep made out of wool and my little uh, chimney sweep for Mary Poppins. He's, uh, let's see what he is. Yeah, he's Steinbach. He's Steinbach, guys. Isn't he cute? He's just adorable. So I've got him. Uh, yes, they're really, really neat. Yeah, my grandmother knew that I love mice. And she, but she had these long before I got into mice, but I've always loved mice. Yes, it is already tomorrow, Diane. I know. I'm a chatterbox. Stephanie, what's your channel? I'm a music junkie and would like to check it out. Yes, Stephen, go check out. Uh, Stephen, I don't know if you have a channel, but Kelly, uh, you ought to check out a Record Crate. Adam at Record Crate, he does coffee and vinyl every morning and co cocktails and vinyl at night. And I've been a guest several times, but he has all guests talking about music all the time. And he's got a great guy that loves jazz. He's really knowledgeable on jazz. His, his name is, um, uh, oh gosh, I can't think of his name at the moment. Um, oh, uh, Sean, Sean. There's several Seans in our vinyl group, but yes, check Adam out from Record Crate and then Johnny G's Vinyl Treasure Show. He is awesome. And I'll, I'll tell you that again in the chat. Uh, I'm just in love with your stuff, Katie. Oh, thank you, Sarah. That means the world. Well, if you want to see more of my house, I did do a vintage apartment tour and you can watch that. Here's the Coca-Cola trays that you see behind every one of my videos. So I've got that and then I've got my 1916 Singer sewing machine and then here's all the glass. So I'm, I'm going to move this glass out of the way and then that way you guys can um, I can move the Christmas tree and you guys can see it in its final spot. So I've, I'll show you the glass as I'm moving it. I've got my Fostoria coin candlesticks and my Fostoria crown uh, glass piece here. I'm a big fan of Fostoria. And then I've got, um, this is so cool. I got these a, a couple of years ago. This is just gorgeous. These are Bohemian glass. If that's gonna show up, hello camera, focus. Bohemian glass, um, flashed, cut to clear. It's cut to clear, but it looks flash. So I don't know either one, but it's got the grape. It's really, really beautiful. So I'm going to move that just out of the way, and I'm going to get some of this bubble wrap moved so we can move the tree, because this tree needs to go back a little bit. So I'll get that. So we're going to carefully move the tree, and then I'll put it, I'm just being really ginger, as Misty says, from thrifted. Ooh. Okay, hang on a second, guys. So we've got, I forgot that I had a light. <laughs> Whoops. I have a light, a pendant light up top. So hanging down. So I can't actually move it as far as I want it to go. So that's okay. That's not a problem. I just need to get it centered, centered here. So I've got more glass than I'll, I'll move. I've got this. I think this is early American uh, pressed glass. It's got the Hobstar design with the cranberry flash. And I've got my other Faustoria coin candlestick. Uh, I did a video on all my glass, so if you want to see that, you can. Let me move this into the center. Ooh. Okay, there's that. Now, a lot of you guys suggested that I tape this down to the table, and I think that is a fabulous idea. So that's what we're going to do, is get it in the center, and then what we'll do is tape it to down to the table. You know, I'm just so nervous about this tree that I want it to do what it needs to do to stay put, you know? So I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in the center of the table. I'm going to use 
this packing tape, but what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll get some duct tape. I don't, I had granite countertops, so I really think that that's gonna be okay so that it, that it stays, because that's what I'm gonna do. Let's just put, you know, a little bit here or there. Not too much, because I don't wanna have to scrape it off the counters later. But, yeah, I think I'll just do this so that it stays. And then um, what I'll do is I'll put the white up on it like this, I think. And I've got something to shove in there so that the white stays up like it's supposed to. So there, the light's doing what it needs to do. So we'll do that. Now, what I do need is I need to get a Christmas tree skirt. I have one. I need to get it down. It's plaid, and I think it will go well with this tree. Now, I'm just making sure that it's sturdy again because we're, we're kind of using um, a regular tree base for the aluminum tree. So I don't want, I just want to make sure that this isn't going anywhere. It seems very sturdy to me, so I'm not going to sit and worry about it, but I don't want it to crash overnight. You know, that would scare the living daylights out of me. Um, the tree will be fine, but, you know, it's the ornaments that we don't want. And Vinny said I need to get a tree skirt on it right away so that the ornaments fall, but I don't think they will. Uh, if they, they'll land on something soft, so I will do that. Um, I'm not, I, I just need to move a few things out of the way. And then I can show you guys the final product. Um, let's see if I'm missing some chat here. I probably am. I've got more ornaments hooks here. Now, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do you think that I should add this ornament to it, the Saks Fifth Avenue ornament? Or should I put this somewhere else? Let me know in the comments here. I have all of my grandmother's Fostoria. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful, Diane. I have my great grandmother's, um, not my great grandmother's, it was my great grandfather's cousin's uh, Fostoria candlesticks, which are amazing. I love the look of that tree. Never had an aluminum tree growing up. Yeah, I didn't either. We all had real trees, but they're fun. Uh, oh, no worries at all, Nancy. Okay. And in, all, in fairness, it may be the mailbox. Oh, okay. Let's see. Um, I put a link in the chat, but I'm not allowed to. This overstuffed house, but see my comment above to find how to search for it. Very easy. Oh, Stephen, are you not a moderator? I'm going to have to make you a moderator. Um, to hear the show, search Max Mixie Cloud. Okay, great. Um, not yet. Thanks to me paying invoices 12 months late. LOL. Sorry about that, Nancy. Oh, you know, thrift you, that happens. Oh, yes, Kelly. You're so welcome. Uh, I'm just in love. Oh, yes. I, so I'm all caught up in the chat here. Good. Looks heavy. Put put it near the light. Yes, that's what I'm going to do next. So, okay. Um, I'm going to put this near the light because that's a really good idea. It will shine and it will uh, make a pretty rainbow pattern. So that's what I'm going to do. Yes, it is heavy. So I'm going to put it at the bottom. Okay, I think this is looking pretty good, guys. It's not its not perfect because I'm still waiting to do the top. I got to climb up there with a ladder. I'm just not tall enough for that. So, um, and you guys are seeing this kind of crooked because of the way that I've got you propped up here. Oh, 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 oh. Bye, Sarah. Stuff to create. Stop by the sale tonight if you have a minute promptly at 6 p.m. Promptly. Yes, Sarah. Promptly. Uh-huh. Yeah, that might be like two hours after promptly. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. I love you. Uh, I swear. And Katie, you're the best. Love you to bits. Love you too, Sarah. Bye-bye, guys. Uh, well, I'm not leaving. Don't don't leave. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Thrift you. Bye, Sarah. What? I forgot. And how in the hell? Sorry, I just said that. I just was so shocked. No, I forgot this. How in the heck did I forget this, you guys? Garland. Uh, 
Wow, I can't forget this. This has got to go on the tree. You guys, I have, whoops. Okay, so yes, we're going to put this green garland on the tree because it really belongs on the aluminum Christmas tree. And yes, it's the old kind with the little button loop at the end. So yes, it's perfect because it has the Christmas spirit. Yes, that's right. I have a lot of vintage Christmas in my sale today. I will be there, uh, Sandra, don't worry. So let's see, can I put a garland on an aluminum tree? How is this gonna work? Maybe I should have done this first, but I honestly kind of forgot about it <laughs> um, because there was so much sitting over here. Let's see if I can drape this. This is gonna be the most magical tree ever. <laughs> I don't want these to break now because you know aluminum Christmas tree beads, man, they they <laughs> they um, mercury beads anyway. They break just by looking at them. So let's see. Let me do this a little bit more methodically, and then guys, I gotta get going because it's getting late. But I'm gonna give you another glimpse of the tree up close. Don't you worry. Okay, so I'm gonna just drape this garland, I think, around the bottom half of the tree, which is gonna be perfect, I think. So let me get, I've never had an aluminum, uh, I've had, I've never had a garland like this before with the mercury glass beads. It's not aluminum, it's just a mercury glass garland. Okay, so let me get it here. There we go. We'll start it on the bottom and then we'll just drape it, I think, around the bottom. So this is what we'll do here. Okay. So, yeah, we're just going to do, I think, the bottom half. So I'm going to have to walk around. So let me set this carefully down and then I'm going to walk around. So let's add this. Now, this, you guys, came from Pamela Blanchard. Uh, so you saw Pamela Blanchard and Kelly Michelle in the chat. Oh, Louie, come here. Here, Louie. Here, Louie. Louie just woke up, and I don't want her to eat anything on the ground. So here, Louie. Louie woke up from the nap. And since I've got some packing materials on the ground, I don't want her to eat it. So what I'm going to do is put her in the kennel just for now. Okay, let's see. Okay, we've almost made it around the whole tree. How does that look? Is that some fancy garland or what? I know it probably needs to be a little more spread out. Let me do this. Let's see about... We're just gonna go all out, right? Cause I mean, why not, you know? Okay, so we've made it all the way around the tree. And let me get this garland all, uh, I think it connects to each other. You know how garlands can button. Let's see, this needs to go here. And then um, the buttons connect, you know? So I'm just gonna do that. Okay, how does that look, you guys? It's looking pretty good. It's a little bare, I think, on the front side. We, we definitely could use a little bit more fun. And I got to work on the garland because I don't know that it's where I want it to go. But it's something, and it's fun. And I what I do think, and I don't have, this is the last red shiny bright that, that has a top. So, um... What I need to do is put it, it needs to go on the tree. So it just needs to go somewhere in the front because the front just is missing some things, I think. And I've also found this shiny bright too. And since we've got kind of a food theme, I think it will be fun. We've got the, the grapes. And I forgot that I had that, but I need I need a few more in the front. We definitely aren't perfect in the front, but I'll be getting my front ornaments from Don Maserati. So thank you so much. 
who is still in the chat? We have 31 people watching. Awesome. Okay, guys. So this is going to be the final reveal for the evening before I go. I'm going to get uh, my Christmas tree skirt down. I have not pulled that out yet. I will be putting the boxes around as presents, my shiny bright and white ornaments, uh, light boxes. And I'm going to get all of this on my counter cleaned up. So don't worry, that's going to get cleaned up. I'll get my mouse family out and I will show you guys some more in a future video. And I'll be showing, oh, let me unplug you for a second. And I will be showing you guys this on Instagram as well. So here we go. Final review, reveal for the evening. Look at that magic. Woohoo! Holy moly, that is some fun. I bet my downstairs neighbor is probably already yelling at me because I'm walking around at whatever time it is now. And she's probably wondering what the heck is going on here. So here is the aluminum Christmas tree, all decked out, ready to go. Man, this is some fun magic, I got to tell you. I am like a kid on Christmas morning. You guys are getting a real uh, video here of my apartment. All right, here it is. Here's the light. It's got the light on it. And, the, oh, man, this camera just, hello, camera, get focusing. Do your thing. See, it looks more magical on the other side. And then you go to this side. Let me turn on the lights above the buffet. Let me see what happens if I do that. Okay. Is that an, oh yeah, that's much better for you guys. Look at that. But then if I do that, you can't see the magic. Okay, so here's the mercury glass garland. I got to work with it a little bit. It's not it's not in the right spot. Um, and I'm definitely going to be careful with these lights up top and the aluminum. I don't ever turn these on, so I will be careful with that. But, man, and there's our little fun hot dog. And can you guys spot the tongue out guy? All right, let's see if we can find the tongue out guy. He's He's fun. So... This is certainly not done by any means, but it is up and it is pretty fun. Loving it. Okay, where's the tongue out guy? Do you guys see him? Can you spot him in the video? There he is. Mr. Tongue out fella. Woo! He's tonguing out in celebration <laughs> of this magical tree. So I am going to show you this one more time with the lights out. There's our magical little light and, of course, Mr. Microphone there. And let me get this shut off so you can see it better because it's way more magical without the light. Yep. It is just like magic, magic, magic. Oh, what do you guys think? That is everything, right? Oh, you can see the lights. Holy cow. This is just so much fun. Ooh, I love it. All right, guys, let's pick up some comments here. Oh, hi, Lydell. Well, you're just catching me at a good time because I'm wrapping things up, but I'm glad you've joined me for a little bit of time. And uh, I see him. Oh, good. Yes, you see him. Yeah, he's hilarious, I got to say. He's pretty funny. I love him. Perfect. Yep, I think it is. It's pretty darn perfect. And it is just the most fabulous thing in the world. So I am loving it. Let's get that in the shot there so you guys don't miss the magic. Well, I am going to get going. Do not forget, tomorrow at 11 a.m., Patrick, the trusty huckster mercantile, is having a sale at the Rustic Fox Antique Mall. He'll be live from the Rustic Fox, which is fun. <laughs> And Nancy is saying, Katie, we are having a new game. Find the Vinny and Katie's tree. I love it, Nancy. I love it so much, Nancy. That is just classic. Yes, I love it. Okay, so that's the Vinny ornament for sure. We have we have everybody represented on this tree from our group, <laughs> Vinny included. So please go check out Patrick tomorrow, the trusty Huckster Mercantile on YouTube. You'll be having a sale at 11 also, don't forget, tomorrow there's a lot of great events coming up, including, uh, I believe, um, 
Mary at Reclaim Treasures by Mary is having a sale. She'll be having a sale is it at 3 o'clock p.m. The Peak Elephant Parlor is having a sale at 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't know if Cindy from Mimi's Treasure Cottage is having a sale. I'm not sure that she is. Of course, Thrift U is having their sale tomorrow with lots of great Christmas, as well as Sandra said she's going to have some awesome vintage Christmas. So you want to check out all of those channels tomorrow. And if I'm missing anybody, I'm sorry. The schedule just gets so full that I can't remember everybody off the top of my head, but I try to. And I hope you guys will have a wonderful night. Thanks for sticking around with me for, oh my gosh, five hours. I finally did something that is up to Michelle at Comfy Cozy Living. I can't believe it. I've matched her almost in time, but I love you guys so, so much. Thanks for being my family this Christmas. I hope you guys are having a happy one. Even if you can't be with family or loved ones, you will find some family and wonderful friends in this community that will help us all get through 2020. Remember to be kind. Do your one thing for somebody else this Christmas. I love you all. I'll see you in the chats. And for now, as always, stay in, stay safe, and bend you too. Bye-bye now.